Welcome. Day three, upper bracket semis. Only good games today. Only good games today. Welcome, everyone. Hope you've had a peaceful Sunday. Did I forget to pay out the Preds from the OCE Grand Finals? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. For those who missed it, um, <laughs> those who missed it, we had the uh, OCE Grand Finals this morning. Hit the OCE Grand Finals. The big man, the one and only Hunter, booked himself a ticket to the Esports World Cup. Always have a backup plan. That's an important lesson for everyone. Always have a backup plan. And Hunter had a backup plan. And now he's going to Riyadh. Someone put 250k in. It was, uh, if you didn't see it, obviously I'm always going to implore people to go back and watch the VODs if they miss any content or anything like that. This one was a roll. This one was a roll. <laughs> I don't know. What, I think about Oceanic. It's like Oceanic something. It's, it's like Australia and the Pacific region and all of this. <laughs> so it was it was super one sided. It was uh Hunter had a very stacked team. Are you allowed to watch my stream? Your stream on my stream if you want to watch Esports World Cup. Yes, dip. Yeah, really find it. Um So Hunter's team Hunter's team was pretty stacked. It had punk. It was punk, Akai, Top Dragon, um, Opener. <laughs> Uh, and they rolled them. They rolled them. They beat Kufa's team. Kufa's team in the bin. And they're going to get themselves a spot of the Esports World Cup. I mean, both teams Both teams had uh, Korean imports. Today's either going to be the reincarnation of Jesus or 9-11 for Treadheads. Somewhere in between, I reckon. I reckon Peps are getting rolled today. Any Peps believers? Any unwavering tread heads? Need Johan to live. I've got Johan on my team as well. Can we do predictions? Well, we certainly can do predictions. That seems like a very suitable thing to do. Games are starting in about 25 minutes. Yeah, I'm a yo hammer as well. Let me get... Let me do it so you can see as well. Let me kind of me. So let's see. So fantasy-wise, quick fantasy preview. Lock into my team. All right, so I made my subs. This is round two, all round two. Uh, the lower bracket yesterday were round two, all the lower bracket games only. And so I think I scored big with Seeker, big with Ariel, because they smashed Shikigami. Smash him out of town. And now I need Psycho. Psycho's my captain. I need a big performance from him. I'm hoping and praying for a Virtus Pro dub. A VP dub. And I'm hoping Johan, for the love of God, doesn't die every single fight and get annihilated. And that's my hope. In terms of the actual games we're going to see today... We got two fixtures from both regions, but they're, they're the upper bracket semis. So we're in good fixture territory. Prediction wise, it's a free O. It's a free O. That's my, that's my prediction. Prediction. That's my prediction. That's my prediction. Free O. This one, this one, maybe I'm getting hotter. A free two. A verse pro. Would you call it an upset? I say it's an upset, right? It's an upset. <laughs> you think Pep's take a map? I don't know. I don't know. You have sworn a spark, Captain Rajaro, Z's and Admiral. Z's and Admiral would have done really well for you. Really well for you. Sauna and Spark, I think you could be... you actually be looking for a good one. You're obviously hoping for the same as me and at Virtus Pro do the thing. Uh, we're two games in EMEA and two games in North America. If I can get... Where's my clicker? Uh, North America open as well. Uh, 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 all the way to the bottom. We'll get Toronto versus TSM. Now, TSM... TSM... We're claiming... 
they were going to beat Toronto. They were like, we that's fair. That's what we've got their sights on. They said they don't care about qualifying the Esports World Cup. They just want to beat Toronto. They're not beating Toronto. It's a 3 0. Come on. Come on, Cap. You've got to have confidence, right, going in. You've got to have confidence going in. But I'm not buying. I'm not buying what he's selling. I'm not buying what he's selling. And then M80 NRG. I think this is actually a really nice matchup for M80. I think M80 take it 3 1. And we get our cla the NA Classic Toronto versus M80 upper bracket final. NRG winning some NRG believers. I don't know. I think it's just a nice matchup, though. Collusion plays Sigma for most of it. You got M83 too. So, yeah, no lower bracket today. For people asking about um, predictions. Uh, or, no, sorry. For everyone asking about fantasy. So, that the lock for round two has already happened because these games happened yesterday. So, it's before these ones. Any changes you make now. And I'd, I'd, really, I'd really advise rec hesitating on any changes because any changes you make now are for... Let me use a different color. They are for these four games. Right? So any changes you make now are for next week's games. So you've also got to bear in mind there's probably going to be a patch right as well. So because there's going to be a patch, I would hesitate. See if we can get a bit of an inkling on what the meta will be. Who's looking strong? Yeah, lower bracket quarters aren't today. They're next week. Next week. Yeah, so any changes now are for round three. So if you did miss your window, like it sounds like Amari did, um, just bear in mind, you. Uh, yeah, it's for round three. So probably just hold on, hold on to those transfers. I mean, yeah, it's certainly goofy. It's certainly goofy for patch change mid, mid playoffs, but what are you going to do? Um, are we up the, the, we'll up the budget for the final round. So it? This, these last two games will be the final round, but obviously there's likely only to be expensive players left here. So I think we'll probably do the same where we'll get 120 from this final round. Um, but I think for, for this one, I think we'll be okay. Okay, to still to keep it going. Uh, can you make changes? No, it, it locked. Because the, the way the rounds work is to try and keep the games as even as possible. This is round one, and this is all round two. So because some of the games already started, they're already locked. Hey, Popple. Is Crook going to be back for lower bracket? Possibly, possibly. Some of it might depend on the meta, how much he scrims, or how much of a chance he gets to scrim with the team beforehand. Um, you may have messed up and done your round three transfers already. Shit. Maybe if you ask Toby nicely in the Discord, he might he might cop you a reset. Toby is the this is Toby's domain. I am merely merely the mouthpiece. So we're about where are we? Forty minutes out. We should be getting a clean feed soon. We can lock in for these games. Somebody asked, I feel like I skipped a question. If, sorry, for Arg, Arg Quan, if Ents lose to both Furnace Pro and then Twisted Minds, won't every other team need to finish higher to qualify? Yeah, so if, if Ents lose both of these games in your scenario, so Ents lose this one, and they'll go down to this game, and then they lose here, Ents are still auto-qualified. So then it'll only be the top four in that go through. So to be fair, Twisted Mind would still be in that situation. Because obviously if they win this, they go to that game, so they're fine. So if they beat Ents, they're also in. Um... But every other team, it means there would be, instead of having this fifth, this tiebreaker here from the two losers, which we might potentially have if Ents and SSG go ahead, we won't have that tiebreaker. It'll just be Ents also qualifying. Um, is Chase playing for Ents? Yeah, I, yeah he, I think he'll play today, yeah. So I can get you the official statement. Crimson was in the chat yesterday. So 
What they're trying to do right now is give reps to Sky and Chase to get them back into the team after being either not in the team at all really so far, Sky, or being on the bench for a while um, because of the Dallas prep, as is the situation for Chase. So I expect we'll see both Chase and Sky mostly today. VP have a shot? Yeah, I, I think VP might win. I think they really might win. What It actually complicates the situation, because if you think, I think VP were super happy to match up against Ent in terms of running into like a Ram Lucio or Sig Lucio type thing, give them a chance to play double flex, an awkward one for them to solve. But with chasing, with chasing instead, it means Ents have the dive button way more available. So I think we could really see Chase swap into Winston if they do pull out the double flex today here versus Pro. And I think from what I understand, there's not a lot of teams playing dive right now in scrims. So I think versus Pro, while Ents probably haven't scrimmed a lot of dive, versus Pro have also not scrimmed against a lot of dive. So it makes it a bit of an unpredictable matchup, a hard one to prepare for. So actually, potentially, if, uh, potentially an edge for Ents in terms of the comps available for them. In terms of, so a lot of it will come down to the draft as well, of course. We have to bear in mind, maybe I should make some, or maybe I should make some notes while we wait. So obviously we got Peps against SSG. Where are we going? Let's see. Uh, so the Gaming Gladiators, SSG versus um, Peps, SSG, Peps. So. These are, this is the banned database we're looking at now. So I may look at the numbers on the left here to see uh, Peps mostly banned Samoa. And Pick Oasis had relatively good success there. Mostly Pariso they banned. I think that'll be the same because obviously I don't think I think most teams don't want to run into um, SSG's dive. Um, but some Midtown 2. I'm going to sneeze. Is there any message about the fifth tiebreaker? Yeah, they'll do it. If they'll do it, they'll play a match for a fifth tiebreaker. I actually didn't sneeze. Mind over matter. Mind over matter. Everything's an illusion. Your mind is the most powerful. Only what you believe to be real will be real. Remember to always factor that in. <sighs> and then they mostly ban me out, so okay. And then on the SSG side of things, let's see. Uh, about 15 minutes trash bit for the matches. Uh, yeah, it'll be next week because they, they, they need to see how the lower bracket, you need to know the results of these games. I think to guarantee. I mean, if Ents win today and SSG win today, then we'll know. But we might need these lower bracket games to decide where if Ents and SSG are going to be above here. <laughs> yeah, the England matches at eight. It, sorry, yeah. If, if any, I was talking about the Overwatch matches in fifteen minutes. The England matches at eight o'clock. If anyone is here for the England match, <laughs> unfortunately, due to uh, the DMCA, we we won't be we won't be watching the England match on stream. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so mostly something to pull away. Oasis. What have SSG been banning recently? Uh, Busan, Nepal, Nepal, Nepal. Yeah, they used to pick Nepal, but they've actually shifted away from that now. Where are they? Picking Samoa, Oasis, Oasis, a lot of Oasis. Okay, or Oasis. We'll see if they go in that direction. Obviously, Peps like to do it as well. They're mostly Holly they ban. Pick Eichenwald. That was a good German accent. I won't be taking any feedback on it. <laughs> um, and then mostly Rialto they ban. Still want to play Rialto. But they do want to pick Route 66. Obviously, I think big dive advantage, right? Big dive advantage. 
Just don't have it on screen. <laughs> no Pete Crocane POV for England game. Yeah, football. Yeah, I, I can't believe they copied me, Lucas. I invent overhead cameras, and then all of a sudden, all of a sudden, everybody's doing it. The Euros, the fucking NFL, the NBA. Come on. No credit for me. Oh, you know what I want your take on? Actually, this one I am looking for feedback on. <laughs> Run Euro Preds. It will overlap with the matches, though, so I don't think we'll be able to, Mathene, though. You know what I want your opinion on? So we've been watching... We've watched two, day, two days' worth of games. We've watched, what, like six, 12 matches? What's your opinion on the observing so far at this event? God, I'm still doing notes while we do this. Not freaky enough. No complaints, to be honest. No strong opinions. Better than before from Winston Warlord. Zero thoughts because you've not watched any of it. Yeah. <laughs> Fine, I guess. I actually think <laughs> need more R shots. Uh, we're, we're going down a very freaky direction. Keep it, keep it frigid for now. No general complaints. Need more backs. <laughs> keep it frigid. Um, I think it's been better. I've actually been impressed with the observing. I felt we've had more overhead shots. We've still got a decent amount of POV in there, so we're going to see the pop-off moments. I think the Observer's actually been uh, really good so far uh, for this event. It's felt like a step up for me. I don't know if that's just... Um, if that's real. Yeah, I think they have been doing more third person. I think they have. Yeah, I mean, there's an option on Twitch to enable drops, which I just ticked when I first set up a channel. Um, so it just means, I think these drops are just for any Overwatch streamer, though. This is just for watching, like, Overwatch anywhere. I don't, they're not face it specific or anything, from what I understand. Change the title? Uh, it's just for normal drops, right? Everyone gets drops. Do other streamers do it? Am I behind the curb? Any droppers? Let's see. Doesn't say drops. No drops. Avril says drops. Fefe says drops. ML7 says drops. Kran says drops. Zergi. Tanuki. Time doesn't. That's Age of Empires, so that's probably why that one doesn't say it. Any Overwatch streamers? Padapan? Padapan doesn't. Fuck. Everyone's doing it. Fuck. That's why their views are high? Shit. I'm doing it. What's the matter? Square brackets? All right. <laughs> all caps. All caps and an exclamation mark drops. Just do drops. We don't actually have a drops command. That's a bait. Should I take the exclamation mark out? I'll just put drops in there. Done. All caps. All caps. Now everybody knows. Now everybody knows. Among Us drops. More exclamation marks. <laughs> now I don't wanna I don't wanna miss sell how excited I am. Oh yeah, I've actually I've actually now got three million viewers, it says. Good tip, Tatso. <laughs> They're actually going up. Use the check mark emoji. There's a 0% chance I'm able to do an emoji in a stream title. How would I do it? Tick. <laughs> Is it just colon tick colon? Braven's here for the drops. Welcome. Any droppers? 
Anyone getting droppy with it? Is that what they say? One of these expressions will be what the kids are saying. You can normally just stumble onto it eventually. <laughs> You're so droppy right now. Yep, I'm all up to date. Good. <laughs> no, no, man, Pino, I think you're the one who's out of touch. I've, rely I've heard it from reliable sources. Windows key plus full stop? No way that works. This is a trick. Oh my god, it lets me pick emojis? I actually presumed it was gonna... I presumed I was about to just crash my computer or something. But it let me pick emojis. <laughs> I've got the tick. Now we're cooking. Are there any other good emotes to add to my title? What about this one with a, like a wink and a tongue out? That one? That way everyone knows it's a good stream, I think. Everyone's having a good time because they're winking and their tongue's out. Maybe I'll use three of those. Yeah, now we're cooking. Yeah, definitely that one. Do you think I need it sooner in the title or do you think that's fine? <laughs> My age is showing? Yeah, how young I am. I'm 21. <laughs> Locked in. <laughs> yeah. Are you actually? Yeah. Why why the doubt? Let's let's explore this, Chrissy. What what exactly is making you doubt that statement? We are six minute outs from the games. You got no beard? You got baby face? Yeah, I was lucky. I'm 21, but my beard's come in full. <laughs> Wait, do we have a clean feed? Where's my clean feed at? The shaved head too. <laughs> Can I explain my team name here? Wait, hold on. Let me sort the clean feed and then I'll look at this. I think I know which one it's going to be, though. I think I have an inkling which one it's going to be. Uh, let me set this up. Where is it? Why won't it show? Wait, maybe it is showing, but I'm the client? Yeah, I'm the client. Fair. Fair. All right. Crazy that I was 10 years old and it's 20 as well. All right, what do you say? Where is it? Where am I? This one? Commander X and the Sex Kittens? What's there to explain? It's just me and the sex kittens. <laughs> yeah, I think this was the phase of my TF2 career where every team I was on, I would put my name in the team. So we had Commander X and the sex kittens. I think... Commander X and the Wannabe. I was in a 2v2 team for a tournament. And then we were actually the first... I was part of the first ever European team to play competitively in America at a LAN event. And... What was the team name? I want to say it was... It was like one superstar, five wannabes or something. Is it on here? GXL 2014. Oh, it's only got the top bit of it. 
God damn it. Yeah, it wasn't 2015. It was one before, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> but yeah, I just I just put my tip I put my name in the title. Is that not what everyone else does? <laughs> God took my hair to humble me. Why did they let you do that? Who's they? Everyone obviously agreed it was a good idea. Do you not think it was a good idea? Plus, think of the mental advantage. You lose to the fucking sex kittens. Ah, oh, shit. Now you're on the ropes mentally after map one. You drop a map to the sex kittens, what are you gonna do? Next we'll see you next time on the Commander X and Two Mid Coaches podcast. <laughs> yeah, it's a good idea, Alpha. I'll get the branding changed. I'll get the branding changed. <laughs> Were you actually good at TF2 or was it Sideshow? Sideshow was good at TF2. I beat Sideshow at a Lithuanian final um, at LAN. So I beat Sideshow at LAN, but uh, he played in he played in the division above me. Um... <laughs> um, so Sideshow was probably better at TF2 than me, yeah. But Sideshow was good at TF2. Sideshow played on the second best team in Europe. Yeah, we reset the bracket, and then both teams agreed not to play the decider and just let us win. Should have called it the Commander Sex Kittens. <laughs> Mickey Mouse. Psycho or Psycho? Psycho every time. Easily. What was I doing? Mostly Ban Samoa. What have they picked lately? Picks. Oasis. So I think they'll pick Oasis. Then. Mostly Ike. More Midtown lately. They've actually been banning Ike and World. Give me my pick midders. All right, then pick coal. Hold on, I'm nearly done with this. I just need to do three more teams. Fuck me. Keep locking out if you can believe it. Uh, is it my own stats? Uh, yeah, it's pulled. It's pulled from the face it data. Um, I say pulled. <laughs> just do it manually. Um, but yeah, it's my own. It's my own spreadsheet. You just realized that my stream is sideshow wet dream through the entirety of Overwatch League, but Blizzard would never let that happen. <laughs> it is my own sheet. I made it. I made it. Did I not? Mapino updates a lot of the data as well. But just because you work at a chicken factory, Mapino, doesn't mean you own the chickens. Think about it. You need to... <laughs> Have you heard of the expression own the means of production? I currently own the means of production. J-Town plus... Ooh. Plus Shambhali. Which one have I been doing more lately? I feel like I looked at something today. Junker Town more recently? Okay. Town or recent. Recently. And they're picking root, which makes a lot of sense. Surprised people let them pick root against them. <laughs> Mapino's a communist. 
Wait for DreamHack Stockholm. You're going to rob my spreadsheets at DreamHack Stockholm. That's your play, is it? TSM, mostly Busan. Big Nepal slash Oasis. So when we get to this TSM Toronto series, um, I really do expect TSM to actually maybe lean to um, more, more dive-based bands. Um, pick the Queen Street. Ban Shambhali. Pick Route 66 slash Rialto. Game starts any minute now, right? Wait, can I swap you to this screen? Get some highlights going. I'm still going to be filling in the data, though, so you're going to have to deal with that. Air shot! Oh, it's the OC highlights! Yeah, Punk's going to the Esports World Cup. Let's see it. Top Dragon and New and Punk. It was actually like, especially the DPS, it was like a DPS canyon. Yeah, plus they've got the best coach in all of Australia. Get him, Punk. Get him, Punk. The flick. Oh! No, not Gumba. Hunter. Whose first game? So it's SSG versus the Gladiators. Honestly, I actually feel like I can't... Every time I say the word gladiators, I just feel compelled to, like, hit something afterwards. You know? Cuffer's never going to land. Cuffer went to the World Cup. You know, Cuffer... I met Cuffer at the World Cup. And you know what he did? He would just refer to people as chat. So, that probably tells you all you need to know about Cuffer. <laughs> Maybe we don't. <laughs> Pugs out of the Esports World Cup? Well, he does like an Overwatch event, doesn't he? So Macy Band mostly Samoa. Pick Oasis. And then mostly Pariso plus Holly. Pick Midtown. Ooh. Midtown. Pick the Queen Street. Uh, 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 uh. And Shambhali. Pick. Yeah, so. Obviously, we have to bear in mind with um, M80s bands, their recent bands are way more, way more relevant than their um, historic ones. Because of all the roster changes and something. <laughs> Oh, Fix just won the coin toss. He's ranking up. We need Punk's data on coachable for double viewership. You know who promised us double viewership? Another, a different Australian. Uber promised us. Uber promised us double viewership. Do you think Uber's got that dog in him? you think he could double it? He could double it? That's what he reckons. No, didn't Uber say it? On the broadcast the other day. Oh, okay. Okay. Give him both one at the same time. Four times for viewers. <laughs> it multiplies. If it multiplies, we can get them both on.
How do you know what's happening on the broadcast? Uh, people just tell us. People just tell us. Uber said it too. Yeah, I thought they were both pretty. I think I thought Mr. X said it to Chris at LAN. But I think I thought Uber said it on the broadcast as well. Can I react to this now wearing a different shirt? Wait, how long do we have? Have we had the map bands as well? Two minutes. All right, two minutes. I can finish this quickly then. I can do it. I can lock it. I'm locking in for two minutes, okay? Ban. Busan slash Oasis. Pick the pool. Ban Ike. Pick Midtown slash Pariso. So, um, pick Esperanza. Rialto. Sometimes Route 66. Pick J Town. Let's do a recency check. So picks. Oh wait. Um, didn't pick Holly. Band Icon World. Band Icon World. Band Route 66. Route 66. More. Recently. All right. I think I've done it. Uh, lower bracket. No, lower bracket is next week. Next week for lower bracket. Next week, new patch, lower bracket. Freaky ass title. Just a normal title. <laughs> you want to come on, Pad Sander? You half our viewership? Well, should we get? We'll get Mr. X and Uber on first, and then we'll get you on, and then that should that should balance it out. Am I smaller than normal? Am I normally bigger? It's just cold. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Tiny needs to hit the gym. Fuck. I started working out again last week. I had fucking, fucking doms on my abs for like two days, which I think is a, a very big indictment of how... Um, How long it's been? Just zoom in on your camera. Just take it off. You don't want to see my face. Great. Doms. Yeah. Is it going to be a patch mid playoffs? Yes. Yes. Yeah, it was only my abs that were bad, really. Arms and everything, okay. It does, it does make it feel like you've done the work, though, right? It makes it feel like you've done the work. But when it lasts for two days, I think that's, that's an indictment. You just want the one, the one day. One day I'm back. All right, what am I reacting to? Where is it, Fix? Shh. <laughs> So, did it wait? Oh my god, oh, is it not updating? Piece of shit. Wait, hold on. I'm having technical issues. Wait, we're gonna take a detour. What if I press this? Turn that off. And then I press this. Oh, okay, we're back. I've solved it. I've solved it. It's not even the most one, is it? Let's see how deep this one was. <laughs> I was bigger. Yeah, I actually agree with a second me. I don't think yeah, it is too many layers deep. Yeah, not too many layers deep for sure. Like, Cannot. What a great group of fellas. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> it is a good group, though. I like it. Yeah, both. Yeah, all my upstairs neighbors, neighbors are good. The guys to the Big side time. as well, the upstairs. <laughs> Either side. Is this an echo chamber? Yeah, I think no. it might be an echo chamber. I think there's enough opinions. It's possible we don't have a lot of diversity in our opinions. Fuck's sake.
Yeah, the degrading camera quality, because some of them have been filmed like eight times. <laughs> the ones that get me, because sometimes I laugh, and then I just laugh at my own laugh, and then it creates this weird, this weird ripple effect. That just sets me off. <laughs> it's a literal echo chamber. <laughs> <laughs> Just me. Yeah, is it possible that really my egotism has been ex exposed on this stream? Because we talked about how I named all my TF2 teams after myself. And then, so far, half the content is just me watching videos of myself. Do I? Is my ego out of control? Whoa. Thank you, Quadri. Appreciate the tier one. Thank you very much. You expecting me to swap to the Sky Sports? I don't have Sky Sports. I'm not rich like you, Valerie. Valerie is the bourgeoisie. Wait, is bourgeoisie... Which way around is it? Bourgeoisie and proletariat. Any sociologists in the chat? Which one's the upper class? Which one's the lower class? Bourgeoisie of the rich? It's on iPlayer? Again, don't have a TV license because we're not all rich like you, Valerie. <laughs> Wish Valerie would stop bragging about all the money she has. <laughs> you won't snitch if you have to, yes. Hmm. <laughs> You don't need a license? You do! If I press the iPlayer button, the police will turn up at my door, Valerie. Stop trying to get me arrested on stream. Valerie's pretending to be broke now for sympathy. Don't believe her. She's rich. She's rich. Just fight the police. I'm... <laughs> if we did a bet, if we did a bet right now, on whether I would be able to fight off the police if they turned up at my door. <laughs> Which way are we going? Do I have it? <laughs> I win? Depends what comps they're running. Just close the door, they can't come in. <laughs> That's vampires you're thinking of, Winston Warlord. Are they Karen Barrage? <laughs> All right. Map pool. We're going in. I hear music. Oasis, Eichelwald, Esperanza, Surafasa, Junkertown. Not super divey, but still a bit divey. Peps against SSG. Psycho and Backbone both in. Haddy pointing out how toxic FD is. Tread saying he wants to farm stats. Tread a firm believer. Firm believer. No way we'll get a Rhine Mirror here. What GTA star level could you survive? I'm not sure I'd get past zero star. I think a day in Vice City would be too much for me. Alright, so no Sparker. Anyone got Spark in their fantasy team? Oh, I've got Johan in my fantasy team. He's immediately dead. Oh, he's been obliterated. He does not exist. For Johan, zero deaths is already in the bin. I do have Psycho, though. I do have Psycho, though. Are Valerie and Pad Sander hitting it off in the chat? I've got the Preds, don't worry. I got him, I got him. I think we're playing matchmaker. Why do you have Yoham? Well, I wanted to change it, but I accidentally locked it in. I accidentally locked it in. It was a Yoham blunder. A Yoham blunder. You have a partner? Why well, stop flirting with people in chat, then, Valerie? <laughs> I don't know why Valerie's become Valerie's become the primary target. I don't know why. <laughs> Do 
Just because there's a goalie doesn't mean you can't score. <laughs> Fuck's sake. <sighs> yeah, the sparker pick, not good. I mean, retake's okay. Entire <laughs> fuck. I've been exposed once again. Oh, well, nice, nice to be on a list, though. I'd rather be on that list than a blacklist. Wait, would I? No. <laughs> I would not. <laughs> Sorry, I thought about it for more than two seconds and I decided no was the obvious answer, actually. <laughs> I'll just say on the blacklist, thank you. All right, Zodial Blade in. Astro down. Peps are winning. By which I mean they're going to take a narrow percentage advantage by the next time this next fight starts. Only cage and barrage available for Peps. The best case for Peps here is they actually get at least three or four ults out of this, really. It was an expensive one. Lean forward. Uh, no, Crook's just been in Saudi Arabia. So he's just... They've been scribbling with Johan, so they're going to keep playing with Johan at least for this weekend. All right, the cage, the blade. The Kitsune Rush, the copy. They used four. They're going to win it. They're going to win it, right? But... They've got a bonus cage too. Apparently, apparently Zodia was a bit of a Genji one trick. Bit of a Genji head. Who wrote the stream title? I did. I learned about emotes today. All right, so B advantage for Astro, but this is such a more manageable situation now for Peps. If they can survive long enough, they'll get both support ops up too. <laughs> nice emotes, thank you. I thought I did a good job. Oh, I should put the match in the title as well. We'll do it afterwards. Oh, tr Hattie's just dead! They can, they can win without using the ults now. Yeah, SSG are just going to live where they can here. Oh, they can trade Naga. Still just going to live. Psycho might die. Yeah, he's... Surely Psycho dies here. They're actually juggling the touch for so long. Thanks, Robo Hobo. Backbone's Genji's fine. He's just a bit streaky with it, you know? But if he's on a hot streak, then we're cooking. Oh, Katsuna Rushin, Yoam is 1 HP, Yoam's dead! Oh! Blade over top from Zodial, but the beat from Astro will see him through it. Later beat now from FD. Psycho still has copy, Naga still has barrage. Tread getting ever closer to a cage, and they've lost Hadi again on the way in. Peps are going to take the first round. Psycho the copy. A copy cage, Jax. A CCJ. Backbone still trades one. It's not over over, but it's over, if you know what I mean. Hattie and Psycho there. Hattie's going to have to go into the cage to touch. Psycho and Astro touch in from the side. Astro's going to get in the cage. That was probably a mistake. Psycho's still here, but in a 1v5. Backbone's coming back with Blade, but I don't know if they can even touch. No! <laughs> uh, fair play to Tread. That one's funny. <laughs> Is Cash a... F oh... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. As you all know, I'm only 21, so I'm still going through puberty. I've got a late puberty. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, I don't think Cass is out, out of the meta, but I think double flex is better if you have the um, if you have the hero pools for it. And Tread just said, Sorry, forgot to write good luck, have fun, after they won the round. My ass is not 21? Prove it. All right, battle on the high ground. Genji Echo again versus Farrakas. Zodi will just with the instant two tap. Big Zodi. All right. Oh my god. 
Pushing 50. <laughs> Thanks for that first time message, Rua. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad that's what inspired you. <laughs> inspired you to type for the first time. <laughs> it's just, you just weren't having any of it. <laughs> Is there a, there's not a, Well, you just get zero points if you don't play the map. Uh, you just get zero points. I think the Echo's good. I think the Echo's actually really good. I mean, it's harder into the cast for sure, but I think... I think the Echo, I think what SSG are playing now, I think this is the optimal Metacom. In in Amalgam Mirror, I should say. Alright, honey swing from Zodial. Oh, booped in! Catch a psycho on that one. Oh, he's gone too deep. He's died for it, but he's done the damage. They go pick him up now. And I think the copy is super high value. I think the Echo matches up nicely into the Farah. I don't think it's much worse into the Cass than the Farah. I think the Echo and Farah are pretty similar. But I think the copy, copy Malga is actually massive. All right, Barrage inside. Does just one shot, Hattie. Oh, Magnetic Grenade. Oh my God. SSG on the ropes? Maybe it is going to be a 3-0, but not the way we thought. All right. Ult advantage coming back now for SSG. High noon cage, probably the play. Uh, more damage onto Tread, so he has to walk back. Landon's going to get beamed down as well. Now the cage comes through. Had doesn't quite have cage yet. There's the copy. Malga the beat over top. Now should help Psycho get to a second cage. They're going to have a second cage. There it is. High Noon still gets one. Blade over top from Backbone. Forces for TP. Gets one. Takes a slice of that Malga as well. I think they have the kills here, but it's still a dogfight. Landon not able to pocket Psycho through that though, but Backbone gets it. Astro's underneath. Backbone and Landon on top. It's a Lucio 1v1. In the Gulag underneath. FD got escapes for Gulag. A typical French retreat. Typical French retreat. And they end up being quite expensive, right? Beat, Cage, Blade, Copy. Only the Kitsune Rush coming up, and Johan's going to have it at the same time. Barrage. <laughs> Barrage. Potential swing factor here. Looking for it. Backbone has to try and save Deflect to shut down that Barrage. Oh, Hattie's going to take loads of damage here. They can soon rush back, but Hattie still needs help. They've managed to hold point. They need to touch it. Need to touch it. There we go. Backbone will get one touch. They back out. They're going to give for flip. Oh, they've had to give for flip, but Tread dies for it. Oh, it's not worth. Hattie will live, and they'll get it right back for free. Looking for stagger kills too. And this allows Psycho to get his ult. Oh, well, the Barrage turn. Barrage turn. They catch Hattie. They catch two. Care Barrage. Not enough care. Nago even with a cross map rocket. Can they touch? Can Psycho? Psycho's touch is so hard. Copies for cast. That's not going to help him touch. High noon as well. Oh my god. It's a Pep's world. Should we get some Fefe on the go? Where is he? The Fefster. US, on met toujours mes stations en favori. <laughs> oh, they got the casters on it. <sighs> oh. Alors là, c'est le premier round des serrés. Avec sa joie de détail. Celui-ci, y'a pas de. Wait, do they not have a warm up scrim? Oh shit, SSG in shambles. You finally want a pred. Chris couldn't find a scrim? Shit. Zodial differential. 
Yeah, I thought Zodio played really well. We were talking... Was it yesterday we were talking? Maybe it was day one we were talking about Zodio a little bit, actually. Because I feel like Zodio had his kind of breakout appearance, right? Where he was like, oh, this guy's actually really good. But to get himself into the elite category of hit scans Needs big performances in the big games. Consistently, right? And that's how you establish yourself as in the elite, you know? But he played well against Quartz, didn't he? Obviously, that was a bit of a disaster all around for TM. But I think the last two times I've seen Zodio against Quartz, it feels like Zodio was actually had for the upper hand. Yeah, we can hit some stats. We jump in ship. I mean, always going to be a bit of an SSG believer. But an upset would be fun. FD God 22 and 2. For people who were here yesterday when Astro popped in, Astro was saying that he thinks FD God's probably the second best Lucio in EMEA. Yeah, just, just better. I mean, better stats across the board. It was actually quite one sided in the end. Nine deaths for Hadi. Huge problem if you're losing your Malgan that much. Psycho dead a lot too. I mean, everyone kind of dead a lot comparatively. Naga, it's still 14k damage for Naga. Yeah, Zodial's maybe the best. 27 and 4. Actually, FD's actually. FD's is probably the best. Oh, pardon me. Yoham, decent stats. 16 and 4. That's why I picked Yoham. Unfortunately, I picked Yoham and Psycho. So I'm in like, if I win, I lose. And if I lose, I win. I can't, I can't just win-win. You think FD God is the second best Lucio? FD God above Gala. Astro, FD God. And then I don't know, actually. I don't know who's third behind those. I'm not saying Zodial's better than Quartz. is like overall. But the last two games they've played, Zodial has done better than Quartz in those matches. Obviously, some of it's team, but I think a lot of it is impact. Oh, yeah, it's probably Massa in third on Luce for the Lucio thing. Moth clears. <laughs> I think Moth is, Moth's probably uh, too, busy, too busy at his desk job. Hehehehe. <laughs> Why aren't they playing Cast Map? Well, I think this is the version of the comp. I think I think one thing that's true with the um with like the Malga Echo Genji Kiri Lucio. I think this might be the best version of a comp against the Falcons comp. You know, they play Venture, Genji, Kiri Lucio. I think the Echo outvalues. I think the Echo beats this version of a comp. But I don't think it feels as good into the Cass Farah. Why aren't they playing sitcoms? Well, we'll wait. We'll see what they play here, right? Um, the nature of SSG. I mean, Chris has always had this philosophy. Or if you never go down, um, don't go down in a series playing the same comp. Did Psycho still do good? No. Bets are open right now, Kira. Open right now if anyone wants to bet. SSG Silver favourites. Yeah, I also had Psycho Captain, which is looking maybe like a backfire. Psycho and Backbone still in. Malga locked in spawn at least now for SSG. Obviously, the nature of having Psycho and Backbone in is the hit scan swap is a little bit less on. I mean, Backbone does have a couple of good hit scans. Widow especially. I don't really know about... I mean, the cast obviously won't be anywhere close to Sparkers. Dying on their sword so far. We'll see. We'll see. But it depends if they think the BAP can survive, right? I mean, the BAP into the Pharah probably decent. But then, obviously, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. the yeah, pocket's yeah, a little bit harder. Well. All right, SSG listening. Fighting. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, anyway. Blue. Cas, yeah. pick one man. Yeah. Same combo. Ready? Three, Sorry, Cass, Sorry, Cass. Two, one, pick one man. 
Kaz, 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 Kaz. Kaz, wipe Stop Mog left, Stop Mog left. Mog left, Mog left, Mog left. Okay, Kaz, I want to take the left with Jamie. Okay, just shoot the left together, ready? Three, two, one. Alright. Pause, 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 I mean, fucking hell, right? I don't- wait, I heard them say pause, did you hear them? <laughs> I heard them. Why so slow? I don't know. Oh, sorry, I missed a question. What was this one? Uh, where am I going? I can't find it now. You think Quartz and Yubi should leave TM? No, I, think it would, no, I don't think they'll ever leave TM. I think it's more likely they... They would just... They would be at TM no matter what, I think. A dreamy YouTube of KSA Quartz, Kev FD, God, Vigi. I think not Vigi. SSG having issues. Well, apparently they didn't have a warm-up scrim, right? Uh, they lost that first map. They needed a pause here. It was backbone calling for the pause, but we didn't hear why. Oh, they lose Hattie, but they trade everything for it. Backline from Peps will live in the log cabin. All right, a clean first point, actually. Apparently pauses are down through phase six and there's a bit of a delay. That's why the whole thing with energy and timeless. Yeah, but I shouldn't change it, right? It's just, a, it's not still just a reaction time thing. All right, Zodio with the opening pick. So they'll be stopped at the gates for now. Hmm. <laughs> All right, counter pick onto Naga. They'll get the free cart push. Pep's going to reset on the high ground here. Hello. I need more daylight. Daylight! All right, so while the Malga obviously can't get to the high ground, again, Gieco can actually try and snake their way underneath, harass Zodio from behind. They're going to high noon here. Hadi should be able to get out, I think. They're going to swing with it. Disengage looks good for SSG. Can they turn this into a top push, maybe? No, not quite quick enough to beat him up to top. Might go there anyway. All support ults on the board. DPS ults there for SSG2. Hadi comes in with the slam. Doesn't find it. Kitsune Arash over top. Astro with the beat. Barrage inside. Eliminates Hadi. It's a one-for-one -one trade, though. Kitsune Arash, FD God has the beat. They're trying to burn through it. Now the blade over the top. Forces for TP. Cutting through. Slicing and dicing. FD's gone. Astro with the final blows. Copy Cage in play now from Psycho. Yo ham. <laughs> Yo ham trapped. Zodial trapped too. They'll get these kills relatively late as well. Was he not able to drop jump off because of a cage? Does the cage prevent environmentals? Or have I just made something up? It does. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's good. All right, Cage coming back now. Hadi doesn't quite have Cage yet. Suzu back later. Cage about to be dropped. They just burned through Tread. Even with Cage, how did Hadi just live for? He just Tread just lost that trade so hard, even with a Cage advantage. Yeah, you get hung for a few seconds. Fuck. <laughs> a real brutal addition to the game from Blizzard. Jesus Christ. All right. High noon up for Zodial. Astro nearly has beat a massive beat advantage in reality as well for Astro too. Honestly, Max, I'm not trying to stop you squeezing your hog. They get the cancel. Cancel with a beat in. On the back foot now. Tread's going to have to concede all the space. As is, as is your back. 
Tread back onto point. They're going to Kitsune Rush out here. Kitsune Rush match, matched by Landon. Trade Astro for Johan. Probably a worthwhile trade. Another slam comes in. They hit it. Blade over the top now from Backbone. They're trapped in the cage. But Backbone will cut through everything. Psycho with the copy cage. Beat over the top. But it's just a backline beat. Just a backline beat. An SSG. 3 minutes 10 seconds. Not to be messed with. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not trying to stop you, Max. Carry on. No one can stop you. It's your meat. Keep on jorking, as my granddad always used to say. Uh, is Johan Crook or did Peps get a new player? Uh, no, Johan is their backup flex support. Crook has been in Saudi Arabia uh, for Saudi League. Um... So he's had some internet issues. So they've actually been scrimming with Johan more over over this last week. Um, so they've decided to keep playing with Johan since they've been doing all their scrim practice with him, which I think makes sense. He strives to one day love Overwatch as much as Hunter does. Who doesn't? Obviously, a polite round of applause for Hunter as well. Booked his ticket for rehab. Nice one, Hunter. <laughs> Just woke up. I mean, it was a pep sweep. Apparently, SSG, for, for no warm up scrim for SSG. And peps just look better. They won all the alt trades. Had he died early a couple of times, which should be relatively illegal. But SSG with a, a powerful response here. Riyad? Riyad? What am I... Don't make me say it more times. I'll get lost in the source. Riyad. That's how you say it. I'm pretty sure. I am a man of culture. All right. Tread's going to get one shot. That's not how you want a fight to start. Riyad? Riyad. Riyad with the lads. That's what they always say. I said Riyad. <laughs> not Riyad. Oh, it's for H. It's for H. It's for discrepancy. You thought he said rehab? Well, the two aren't mutually exclusive. I guess you are probably way more likely to have some kind of Alcoholics Anonymous situation in um, in Saudi Arabia, though. That's that bit's probably true. Early <laughs> Susie for tread. Zodi will be opening pick again. Swing out. They're doubling down. They're trying to trying to make a play here, Backbone and Jamie. They do get tread back. Zodi was picked the other side. Catches Backbone. The hunt is on now. Backbone's in trouble. And they'll get first point off this. What's next to do in Rehad? Rehad? I think it was... I actually have no idea which one's right anymore now. It's mainly just Shisha in Saudi Arabia, from what I understand, though. And that's like the social thing to do instead of hitting the pub. Long week. Go hit the Shisha. <laughs> then, go, then go home and jork it. Yeah. All right. Kitsune Rush comes in. Blade over the top from Backbone. <sighs> Gets one. It'll be enough. Two for one trade. Oh, actually, high noon. Two for two trade. Riyad for Riyad in the Riyad rehab. <laughs> Don't give me tongue twisters. I can barely handle the normal English sentences. All right, Kitsune Rush versus Beat here. They're going to start with it. It's quite early, though. They might just be able to get out of this one, SSG. Turn with copy if they need it. They're all kind of low. Just trying to stabilize HP now. More pressure. Cage comes in. Hattie's going to die before it, though. The cage just at least go off. They might still be able to win the fight. They'd be over top. Backbone and Psycho. Try to accept his fate. And SSG will get the stop and go back to holding the choke. Barrage Cage now available coming back for pets. Psycho has copy. So now you probably copy the Mauga still here, right? 
copy the Malga, get a couple, another cardiac overdrive going. Gives you a decent shot in the cage, but if Naga just uses the shield of the cage as well, they're going to get on Hadi. All eyes. There's the barrage coming through. Second Malga absorbs some of the damage, but nowhere near enough. They do just burn through him, but two ults for one. And a trade onto Naga as well. <laughs> Alright, coming back out. Blade, Kitsune Rush. FD God has the beat though. Oh, Psycho's gonna get caught. I wish. Why does everyone I put in my fantasy team just trade constantly? Hiding on point now from Zodial. Trying to ride it through. Oh! Did Backbone not have deflect? It's a wild swing, and oh, this map is actually far from over. Was he just slow on the deflect, maybe? Because he wasn't booped or anything from what I saw. Backbone was jorking it. Ah, oh, that explains it. Keep your crazy ideas to yourself, Hunter. I'm actually a fan of this comp, the Echo Genji. I mean, it's probably better against the Venture... The Venture, um... Venture Genji version. Blade over top from Backbone. Cuts through a lot on this blade. It is a double support ult from Peps. Hadi has cage soon afterwards. They've got to care in this Naga barrage. They're trying to double down onto Hadi. They'll kill Hadi before he gets in that cage. Backbone trades tread, though. It's a good trade. They'll still have to concede point space. But they come back now. They should be able to stabilize. <laughs> Naga lurking in with Barrage. Cage available. High noon to swing initially. Oh, the barrage catches Astro. Oh, the damage has been done. The cage will do nothing. Peps are capping this one. Desperation. Kitsune rush. The copy won't last very long. All right. They'll get some staggers back out here. Hadi is there too. Backbone's got an emergency May. Slam comes in here. Forces him out. And they've actually somehow stabilized off that. The copy was enough. How did they not clean that up quickly enough? I feel like I thought Psycho should have just been like one shot, really. How did they get that recontest? Alright, can soon they rush in. They might still be in trouble here, SSG. Astro nearly has beat. Backbone's one HP dies before it. Psycho dies before the beat as well. Wait, was that an Ajax? Am I blind or was it an Ajax? Must have been, right? Tread confirms it. All right, let's look at both of these situations, right? Because we're going to go to an overtime round. Because this immediately kill Astro. Cool. Trade two for one, but they now have no DPS. Hadi is now dead. It's just two people alive. Kitsune Rush comes out, but Landon dies immediately. Psycho gets the cage... Oh, he, oh, he just lives for so long. Then now Backbone's out on May. And the May stalls for, stalls for ages, right? Let me get everyone else out. It's actually a 4v4, right? Because Naga's not quite back yet. And then where's the beat, Astro? Astro's on point right now. Oh, he barely even gets it off. It's a violent moment. It's a violent moment. Stomped out of it by Tread. The tread jacks. How does this affect SSG's Tennessee? In the bin. In the bin. <laughs> There's only one Frenchman left. <laughs> yeah, but what a Frenchman, eh? Yeah, Astro was in chat yesterday saying he's literally never Ajax in his life. So if you if you were to believe if you were to believe Astro, that's his first ever Ajax. But there might be a little bit of porkies going on there. 
All right, we're into overtime. Less time for peps, but anything can happen. Anything can happen when you headshot Landon immediately as well on the turn. How many times has Zodial done this in this series already? And this attack will go for a little bit more now. You gonna trust Astro on that one? <laughs> All right. Pug's point can't recontest. <laughs> it's Icon World KSA. It caps faster. That's just for rules. That's what happens in Germany. All right. Really quick high noon as well. They're trying to play aggressive before this. Don't quite have it yet. Doubling down. Super deep in. Zodial separated. Johan with the TP to pocket. Nagar has found the trade as well. Now the high noon. They kill the high noon before it comes through. Nagar is one. SSG might be stopping it right at the gate. Still trades. Tread now alive. They can stabilize too. Is he any chance of a cardiac overdrive? He has to run away. They actually have time as well. We're not in overtime yet. Oh, we're on a we're on a coast. We're on a clean feed, Hutchie. Stop it at the gate. I thought they had enough trades. I'm lying. Classic SSG cope. <laughs> Surely SSG will stop it now. They've got ult advantage. Zodio is on the Genji. But SSG have five ults. Beat's going to come through to match this Kitsune Rush. Landon doesn't quite have his own Kitsune Rush yet. Cage comes through. Blade. Copy. Loads of cardiac overdrives here. Kitsune Rush nearly up for Landon, but they lose Backbone before it. Now the Kitsune Rush comes through. Treadle surely die. He's getting beamed. Pin trade. Barrage over the top. How much can Naga get? Just one? Just one. It's not enough. Backline and Psycho on point. Should be able to clean up here. Zodio can get one more touch. No, he can't actually. All right. Something to play with for Peps. Get a blade kill. Did you see how many ults were on the load? <laughs> yeah. He was slicing. He was slicing. Send Spark in. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if they do just swap for comp for next map. Because this is... This is obviously it's closer than the fucking Oasis was. But it's still a struggle. Proper got five every blade. <laughs> Don't think that's 100% accurate. You can't tell whether this is SSG or Green Fortnite. Why did Green Fortnite well, why would Green Fortnite the team to catch a stray in that one? <laughs> she gaming on my gladiator till I peps? Great. <laughs> All these poor unqualified North American teams. <laughs> All right, three minutes to salvage this map. Otherwise, SSG staring down a reverse sweep situation. <laughs> yeah, answer. If you're looking for a, um, a less crowded ap a atmosphere to watch the game in, there's probably a good stream for you. <laughs> oh, it's more crowded today. Fuck. All right, Psycho with the opening pick. Where's FD God going? <laughs> FD God is not going out. Do they recontest with four here? Naga's gone Echo as well. <laughs> Two minutes left. Kitsune Rush is equal. They're going to swing out behind them here. They're going to fight before gate. Zodio has found many an opening pick so far. Can't find the finishing blow onto Landon Verbo. They've stalemated it out. Hadi's going to swing now. Catches for sickies. We'll reset again. Kitsune rush nearly up for Landon. Astro's beat. Look how much quicker Astro's beat is from everything he got as well. And Psycho with another opening pick. One of the first fight. One in this fight. Now SSG are going to swing. Tread is on the back foot. No HP. They'll get that kill. 
And they get it without using any ults too. No trades either. They fought before the gates though, so they still got to wait for the gates to open. <laughs> Thanks, Valerie. <laughs> we'll get them. All right. Now the big ult trade. Only a minute, 20 seconds left as well. They're going to hold forward here, actually. Hattie's going to run out. SSG going to try and disengage to the low ground. They do get it. Might be an awkward place to fight now. Hide and drop. He's going in. Zodiel's in. He's killed Astro. No B out of this one. The copy's cancelled as well. What outrageous high noon drop. <laughs> this guy was born with no fear. <laughs> the problem is they've won the fight too quickly. <laughs> there's still another reason. There's still another full fight to happen. 4v4 ults and peps are going to spawn with this. All right, back to the choke actually. All right, big ult trade. Naga has the copy. I think Copy's the better ult than Blade in this situation. The double cardiac overdrive, maybe a second cage. From the low ground, it's difficult. We're definitely last fight now. Naga has respawned and is lurking in the castle. Do they know where Naga is? They do now. Tread's going to drop on point. Cage on point. Kitsune rushes. Traded. Copy. Malga comes in now. Hadi's super low, but beat comes in. FD God's beat is later. It does go off. Backbone's trying to slice through everything, but there's just too much health. Peps are going to hold it. The second cage. It's 2-0, Peps. Oh, my God. <laughs> the comeback. Hattie Fury. Fuck. See, who was down in the Echo before? Who was down in the Echo before? Echo Believer, mate. The second Malga. The second Cardiac Overdrive. What's the play now? Because obviously that was super close. Winnable, right? Overtime fight, all of that. But do they just swap the comp? What map is next? Let's get a map going. Esperanza next. Do they go dive or something? Ugh. I'm pretty sure they just played... Um, Do they go Sigma, maybe? Sigma, Sparking on Cass. Let's get a scoreboard check for that. <sighs> I mean, it's for frontline. Yeah, like 14 deaths for Hadi. Super high. Especially for Amalga. 41 and 10 for Zodial. Really not too shabby. Really not too shabby. Yeah, obviously there was an overtime round, so everyone's death is like the lowest deaths on the server was Johan with seven. And that's why I put Johan in my team. <laughs> but yeah, the Malga Mirror is not the one. Can we get Chris on the stream? He might. He might be in the middle of a situation right now. Yeah, we'll get the we get the upper bracket from both regions today, uh, craft wise. So four games total. Yeah, Psycho still did pretty well. Forty and nine, nothing to be sniffed at, huh? Backbone thirty-seven and ten. Twenty-one k damage. Yeah, they're winning. It's, they're winning. I mean, it's hard to tell exactly because so much shit fucking happens in these Malga trades. But they are winning this frontline trade more than they're not. Why Psycho and Backbone? So they can do Echo Genji. Hmm. <laughs> Hey, Musket, you can't say that. You're too young. No, Musket. No. You leave Hunter alone. <laughs> Barakree seems better. I'm still not... I mean, maybe another Genji Echo. Like, my current thinking is... Thinking... 
I think the Genji's good into the Pharah Knight. Decent matchup, can deflect for Barrage and stuff. So I think if we look, if we go back to the start, where it all started with the Venture Genji, right? The Falcon's comp. I think Genji Echo. Let me, how am I writing it? I think Genji Echo is greater than, that's not a greater than sign. Greater than Genji Venture. And where does the Cas Farah fall into this though? Because I feel like, because this in theory is better than the Cas Farah, right? Because the... I'm not going to write it as CP. As the Farrah Cass. <laughs> because the Cass just dies. <laughs> right, that's the theory, right? Captain Prash mentioned. Yeah. <laughs> then the Farrah Cass... Does ba is it BAP now they actually want to go with? If they go BAP, Cass, BAP, Cass, Echo. I'm kind of just saying fucking heroes right now, right? Any real coaches in chat? Whoa. Sparker on Cassidy about to pull of a generational performances. You think Spark's coming in? Can we We should get a match check, shouldn't we? Let's see. Have they confirmed roster? Oh, thank you, Ryan. Appreciate the prime. Thank you as well, Zero. Double primes. Is it Gent? Whoa. Are we getting double sound band? I think we are. I think we are. <laughs> Fuck. All the trains have arrived at the station. <laughs> um... I don't think it is map dependent. I mean, obviously, the, the idea with the Genji Echo over Genji Venture, I think, is true. But the problem is that they're not playing Genji Venture, are they? They're playing Farah, Farah Cass. <laughs> yeah, does anyone... Thank you, Jeropi. Hold on, let me see if I can fix these sounds quickly. We'll see if Nat does it. Yeah, has anyone got a better read on the DPS matchup? Game started. Oh, we're about to start. All right, back right in. Same comps. Same comps. Does the Farrakhan counter the Genji Venture vote? Have we actually seen that happen? Oh my god. <laughs> yes. Naga's been playing well, and that's about as bad a start as you can get for Backbone. It's World Cup all over. Well, people were asking about the stakes. I guess for SSG, it doesn't matter as much because it's just money. I get the qualification no matter what. I mean, it doesn't. Just... It just... <laughs> you're 100% you're right, Copax. But you have to, you have to realise you want to know what people usually do. So when they do something different, it's interesting. Right? <laughs> That's the idea of you do want to establish what the patterns are for a team. And then you get to know if they're acting within their normal realm or if they've changed something or if they're doing something different. So 100%, I think most of the time in series, Chris does swap the comp. But now, they clearly aren't swapping it for a reason. Do you think it's just good versus the Sigma? You think Pharah's just too strong in the mirror? All right, disengage on the Kitsune Rush. Perhaps we'll get a few more meters, but I don't think I can really get it around. Ash yeah. SSG going to take the high ground, maybe? They're coming back. Be in here. Can they catch him with this? Counter disengage. They've gone slightly different ways. Turn with High Noon. Backbone's pushing it. Tries to go behind. Can't get out. High Noon counters for Kitsune Rush here. Psycho's stuck behind as well. Zodio's got eyes on it. FD God there as well. They've lost Nagra in the front, though. 
Back to a 4v4. And they'll meet on the corner. Copy Malga comes through. Traps in the cage. Beat through. Oh, it's just, oh, it's a terrible beat, actually. Trent doesn't get it. Oh, was it booped? An Astro gap? Astro with the denial. I mean, that looked like it was going to go really bad for SSG after they lost to the high noon. They lost to the high noon while pushing with Kitsune. So now, holding forward with Blade. Cage Barrage, though. So I don't necessarily have to try and play a disengage fight. Or at least try and get a lot of ults out. And there's the Cage. Barrage over the top. Nowhere to go. Yeah, I felt like SSG were pretty happy just to take that one. No two ults off the board. And now they're going to have Blade nearly beat coming back versus Kitsune Rush High Noon. They're holding close here. They didn't get the Twisted Minds in the round robin too. Are they ready for it? They're not ready. Kitsune Rush, they're going to try and run out. F Astro is not making it out of there. Pep's in full control right now. They'll get the cap off it too. <laughs> How can you win in a meta where you have to kite versus French players? High noon swing is crazy again. Oh. They managed to get out of this one. Oh, magnetic grenade. The DPS are so low. Psychotron at Duke and Dodge, but Nagra will catch him. Beat from Astro now. 4v5 beat. They need kills. They're going to blade for it as well. Oh, can't find anything. The ults are wasted. Peps have left. Peps are out of there. Now they're coming back. Kitsune rush available for Landon. Might still just be another disengage. Peps going to do it again. Can they get Nagger out of this one? Yeah, Nagger's over wall. They've just disengaged it again. SSG can't get close to Peps right now. Every always is being kited. Psycho now has copy. Kitsune rush in. Hadi's going to kite the other way. TP to him as well. Hadi's getting burnt through here. Needs pocket back. Force back around the corner. And Peps are going to flip the map. We'll get a reset here. Support ults not quite there yet for anyone. FD got the closest. Psycho does have copy. High noon swing again. Oh, copy from Psycho. Stomp. Doesn't get it. Astro gets barraged in the back. It's a one for one trade only though. Now Hadi with the cage, but no one's in it. Psycho's cage. They're in that one though. And all right. They win the fight. But just messy. It's back and forth. Blade and Kitsune rush close for SSG, but already a cage and beat again for Peps. I think cage beat should deal with that. They've come round behind them here. SSG realize Psycho is on point. They're going to force them back. Are they just going to flip the map, maybe? Oh, the, the Pedo's actually nowhere close to flip the map. They're just going to play underneath. Naga's going to get so much damage. They can soon they rush, but Landon's so low. They're just on the low ground. Oh, SSG seem confused where they get the fight. They do trade it, but no Kiriko. They can just keep Zodio on this high ground. There's no way to really stop him. And they're going to they're gonna yoink that robot. Free behind here. Counter pin comes out, but yeah, they just need to play for trades if they can. Die on robot. Genuine question, why aren't they playing Spark on Cass? Oh. <laughs> Astro and Backbone when Peps kite another alt HTTPS <laughs> colon slash slash twitter dot com slash. Oh, is it not going to read out the entire URL? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kitsune rush in, cage to stop the disengage. Beat back now from Astro, blade over top. Trying to hunt him down, but the cage limits backbone. Gonna cut through Trent instead, there's the barrage. Only gets one though. A numbers advantage now for SSG. Just be dying on payload here, Peps, but they've got a mighty lead. 
Long way to go, just under three minutes. Psycho has copy, Landon has Kirio. Beat High Noon on the other side for Peps in a little bit. Our SSG frauds? Yep, the only relevant conclusion is complete frauds. All right, the map flip is coming in from Peps. For Pe They've still got to push the robot away, so we're going to end up underneath him again here. Another difficult situation to fight from for SSG. And Landers is dead again before the fight. And these low ground fights are killing him right now. It's easy for Peps. Copy Cage comes in from Psycho. They get one trade out of it. They're just trying to force this. They've actually killed three. How are they doing it now, the Cage from Hattie? They can get Cap off this. How did they turn that one? Landon not required. Further, further evidence that Americans are unnecessary. They did have to use a lot for it. Kirill back from Landon. Or coming back from Landon. Beat and High Noon available. Will Peps disengage this Kirill? They like to run away. Hadi, oh, both Malga's low. High Noon swing now. Hadi's going to try and get out of there. They're going to flip the map, maybe. Zodia was there. Care to peek? Oh, my God. They swing into it. They're super low. And the robot's going to start moving away from him. Peps are flipping the map. They've robbed the robot. They're chasing the fight now. This has given time for Johan to get Kiriot as well. Astro have beat. So all the support ops in play. As SSG finally stop the payload. And we'll get a repeat of first fight. But only with a minute left on the clock. Kitsune Rush comes in. It will be mirrored now. Trying to trade back. Hadi looking for the slam. He's awfully low. Beat over top. FD God still has beat. Naga still has Barrage. A much later beat. Nez for Barrage. It kills Hadi. It kills Landon. FD God was able to hold that beat for so long. They clean up on point. SSG will get one more shot. To keep themselves alive. They've got the ults for it to be fair. Double DPS ult versus Cage should be enough. But that's only one of a couple of maybe three fights they need to win. Holding on to the high ground, making it as hard as possible for SSG. Pep's in such a good situation here, holding the high ground all the time in the world. Even messy fights already favour him. Dread's going to start it with the cage. Psycho with the copy. Second cardiac overdrive. Blade over top. Both DPS salts here. High noon in the back from Zodial. It's a one for one trade, but Malga advantage for SSG. Psycho still walking forward. Might be able to catch FD God. Does catch FD God. They still have to care. Zodial's on the high ground. Look at the HP. SSG have no HP. Landon's one. Psycho's one. They're all dead. It's just Haddy. Has, has to stay on the payload. Has to drop the cage. Johan's got the Kirill. They think they can 1v2 him. Hadi just needs to live. Hadi's killed Johan. Can anyone touch? Oh, Zodius moved the robot closer. It doesn't matter if they don't touch. Oh, Holy shit. Pep's comms. Let's go. Go. Best in the West. Oh, let's go. <laughs> Best in the rest. Yeah, Best in the West. <laughs> Hey guys, Gaming Gladiators, we're, we're here in your comms right now, the desk right now. This is an insane oh upset for you guys. It's Jake here. I'm, I'm, that's an incredible upset for you guys. What, what does this mean to you guys? Yeah, we're here with you right now. We're all here, we're listening in. Hello. Oh my god. You guys, like, did it's you see this coming? Did you feel like you were going to win and in dominant fashion? But, yeah, yeah, I actually thought today... Yeah, Close for you. I, I have a feeling today we're going to win. And we actually yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 everything. Uh, I, lost yeah. my rank, I lost all my rank games before. That means you're going to win official, so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I did too, I think, so... I mean, that was dominant, though. That was 3-0. Like, did you expect a tougher series? Or, like, you, you were just dominating throughout? No. I'm not gonna lie, it's the best cap in the world. Christopher's a clown. Yeah, <laughs> <sorry>. <laughs> we are pretty good on the, on the meta, so yeah, we kind of expected to, yeah. to have a good match there. So. Were you yeah. were you surprised to see the lack of hit scan on the other side? Do you think that would have given them maybe a bit more of an edge? 
Zodio just gaps Sparker, to be honest, so it's not really yeah, going to be a difference. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, Tread's full of, full of gas today, isn't he? check is wild to me. Yeah, I don't know why he didn't switch to anything. Thanks, what, Ironic. What about, what about the, the, the Hardy theory on the Mauga? What's going on there, Tread? <laughs> The Hardy theory. What, what's the Hardy theory? You, the Hardy theory is when you get to attack first in the overtime round, you win, even though you have less time or anything. You just win. <laughs> no, it's not oh, attack yeah. first. It's, it's just about the time yeah, tread. Yeah. That's the this Hardy guy's Hardy. an idiot. Hardy's a smart man, bro. <laughs> I mean, offense first is always better. So there's a reason why we pick it. You know what? How to defend after your offense? And, and also, <laughs> tread, yeah. tread on Eichenwald. They're just like, oh, I stopped inting and we won. Was that? Was that the key? <laughs> yeah, Bags Hunter, mate. Actually, that that's the close to that, to be honest. Yeah. Oh, yeah, true Gumber, actually, yeah. True. <laughs> that's a fair point. I'm looking forward to seeing Christopher. Okay. Personal. We gotta apologize. We all we didn't believe in you guys. We thought Space Station would be the stronger team. I mean, they yeah, were yeah, the we best team in Europe. Hey, I, gave you one map. I gave you one map, guys. What the hell? <laughs> yeah. well, I mean, I mean yeah. they were the best team in Europe, right? We saw it in Dallas, but now you guys have completely blown those rankings. It's actually an unbelievable. It's like a it's a massive upset. I mean, that, that's an incredible. Yeah. This is a big moment for for Overwatch history. No one has really challenged either of the top two teams, and now we've got a third serious contender. We got Virtus Pro on the other side of the bracket, so I think the E region. Yes, is SSG versus so Quick. More, yeah. Uh, interesting and competitive now. Crimson's right. They're just clowns, yeah, I guess. They're just clowns. <laughs> All right. Sometimes, sometimes it'd be like that. You know what? Best in the West. We heard it in your comms. It was a very impressive performance. We hope to see more. Is SSG still so part of a big free? Right now, what a victory! What a day! What a match! Thank you guys so much and congratulations. Thank you. 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 That was GG Pebs. They're winning. Oh wow. So yeah, so what is this? So fucking GG up here. Gladiator is on top. Been a while since anyone said that. SSG on the bottom. So what does this mean? I guess it depends what happens to Ents, right? GG's tread. Congratulations. Can't ask for more than that. Does that mean they've qualified? It depends what happens in the Ents game, right? Because this is, this is top three. And then, yeah, actually, they're top three no matter what, aren't they? Because even if GG lose this game, they go to the lower bracket final. And even if they lose that game, they still finish top three. Right? Yeah, exactly. They've done it. You bet on peps all three times, fair poop. No way. I can't hear you, Rene, talking. What are you saying, Tread? Need a full review of this game? Yeah, well, I guess it's the DPS thing, right? This is what we were trying to solve a little bit in the break. Is the Farrah Cast the optimal then in the mirror? But does the Venture... Would the Venture Genji kill the Cass? In theory... Why isn't Genji good, though? Can you explain that, though? Because it looked pretty good at the... It looked pretty good at Dallas, did it not? Because remember, Falcons won the mirror against Crazy Raccoon as well. White people come, that's the problem. <laughs> Goomba's the only one who's actually offered a counterpoint here. Right, so that's... Because <laughs> this is what I mean about the comp, right? Because you have to think... Falcons won. I can, I can check for comp if you want. But I'm pretty sure Crazy Raccoon played Farrah, no? Did Crazy Raccoon not play Farrah Cass? Or am I tripping? Thanks, Salah. Appreciate the, appreciate the tier one. Because if we go to the comps, it was Malga Genji Venture. Did they really play Tracer Echo the whole time? I oh, mean, they played Farrakas here, right? I mean, they did they did win, but this Oasis was like the biggest dogfight, right? 
And actually, one of those was the Roadhog map. So the Farrakhan was 1-1 in a super dogfight. They played in the upper bracket final. They played Genji Cass here, mostly. <laughs> when did they put Sparker in? I'm not sure why they didn't change it. I think historically he's always changed it, Chris. When the series hasn't been going their way. They clearly felt it was winnable. They're also clearly wrong. <laughs> Is that document public? Yeah, if you press, I want to say exclamation mark database, maybe. Yeah, there we go. Thank you, Fitch. Because I guess the real question here, right, is about... Because um... Pep's 100% played better, right? But how much of it was played better? Or was it just a comp thing? I guess that's a really hard question to answer, right? Yeah, but it's not... It's... Is that not a danger itself? That's also like shit analysis as well. Just go, oh yeah, they won, so therefore everything they did was better. You think it was mainly comp? Maybe. I mean, the Pharah just seemed to do so much, right? But I think the Echo should feel fine into the Pharah in theory. And the copy's so good, right? We saw it because we actually saw Peps win a fight because the... The Echo just matched up so nicely and the Echo ult beat the Genji ult in that situation. You think Farrah great and Echo? Yeah, Pep's disengaged too good. Yeah. Surely that was a bigger factor, right? Uh, if if it's needed, Goomba, based on other fin like because obviously if SSG or something finish fifth, it doesn't matter. They just qualify anyway. But presuming SSG and Ents get top three still, um, there'll be a there'll be a fifth sixth tiebreaker match, like another best of five series, um, if it goes to that. Is Cass Echo too ugly? I don't think there's nothing wrong. Because bear in mind, Peps actually ran Cass Echo for bits of it as well, right? Because the Echo should do loads of damage to the Pharah as well, right? Not to the Pharah, sorry, to the Malga. I think I'm, I'm more likely to believe, like, the... Um, the Genji isn't as good into the... Obviously, the Genji isn't as good into the Echo. But I don't know, I feel like if the Genji match up into the Pharah, it's pretty reasonable. <laughs> yeah, the Genji deflects in Cardiac Overdrive. Deflect the Barrage as well. Because it's really hard to deal with Barrage in that type of comp. Beta kill the Cass. Yeah, well, I think... I feel like... When we watched... Um, when we watched it at the Major, it was mainly Genji and Venture... It was obviously mainly into Sigma, but Falcons just kind of won the mirror with it as well, right? But they just didn't let the cast live. Because that's why Lip was going like Tracer and stuff, right? And Tracer and Sojin and trying different things just to try and live. Why wasn't Sparkin? I, I think it's, I don't think it was a uh, like availability thing. I think it was a comp decision. I think that not trying that hard is like nonsense, you know? Like, as you turn up for the match, you're going to fucking try, you know? <laughs> I don't think I, I don't think it's a trying thing. Like, it'll maybe be like, there's like less stakes for it on them. 
I mean, Chris is welcome to come on if he wants, but I think there's also a level of respect here uh, <laughs> of um, ways to handle loser interviews, right? Do you agree on the decision? I mean, obviously, in hindsight, it seems bad. But I don't know how... I don't know. I'm not really anti the comp. I don't think it... Was it really... How much of it do you think really was a comp gap? And how much was it... Like, on Esperanza, if you... If you disengage fucking, like, six of the enemy's ultimates, is that a problem? Because think about some of these fights on Esperanza as well. Where was it? Like, these low ground fights? I know they technically won this one, but look, is it this one? Look at the starting position here. It's just she won the previous fight, and this is their starting position in the next fight. Right? And this happened twice. This happened twice on Esperanza. <laughs> Like, uh, I don't think, I don't think a comp solves, like, this, this is a hard place to hold no matter what comp you're on, right? Have fun, Joby. Yeah, in general, in general. Oh, sorry, you're responding to someone else. Respond to Goomba. All right. <laughs> Goomba on the hate train. All right, round three stats. I mean, it's closer, right? It's closer. Astro on the most deaths. 24 and 5 for Zodio again. You think it's a Tread head different? Yeah, I mean, they disengaged all the ults, and it felt like Tread was pretty consistently having HP advantage. Um, how long from the patch? Is it normally Tuesday? Normally Tuesday for the patches. I don't know if they've announced it anywhere. <laughs> All right. Do I have time? I need to go get another drink before the next game starts. So, if Mapino, if you're here, start for Preds. If not, the patch is Thursday. Oh, okay. That's like, fuck it. The, the, the game's a Friday. The pa is the patch really Thursday and the game's Friday? Because that's fucked. <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay, yeah. Mapinlo boot up a Preds. I'm going to run an ad and I'll grab a drink. And then we can figure out this next this next series. <laughs> the new season is Thursday. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Thursday patch into tournament. All right. Be right back. That's the problem for the future, I guess. Fuck.
got a wagon wheel as well. Here's a new theory. Is it possible... The problem... Cass is really good, obviously. But... Genji Venture beats Cass. Because I felt like that's what we say. That's what we felt in the major, right? But Cass couldn't get value. That's what Lip felt as well. But versus the Echo, obviously the Cass has a nicer matchup. But versus the Venture, the Cass has a rubbish matchup. <laughs> against the Venture. Why not play Genji Venture Bat? Yeah, because that's what Falcons ran a lot, is it not? Because Fielder played loads of Bat. It does have jam in. We're, we're jammy. Let me update. The, oh, I was updating the stream title, wasn't I? Um, so we are at Virtus Pro versus Ents. Who's winning this one? I feel like it was more bat than that. I feel like he was really bat filled in the major. I can fact. We can fact check it. Where are we going? I know it was pretty, pretty 50 50 in the final. Wait, this is a Malgamira. He was all bap. This Malgamira, he was all Kiri. But this Malgamira, he was all bap. And then here, Malgamira, he swapped to Kiri. And this was. This was obviously against um, Winston instead. Yeah, most of the carry was against Winston, though, not in the mirror. Map draft is done. Let's get it up. Oasis, Iconwold. <laughs> Oasis, Iconwold, Esperanza, Suravasa, Shambhali. Can I quickly record one? Um, can't meet him. And they said they want to reintegrate Chase back into the team after being benched for so long. I don't know if they have like um greater optimism at getting him to the esports World Cup. Maybe it's an event that has like bigger, bigger pool than the um, what should we call it? Bigger pool than the Dallas Major. I mean, that's probably true, right? <laughs> I mean, what Crimzo has said is he wants to he wants to reintegrate Chase because he's been benched for so long. For the same reason, we see more Sky now as well. He wants to integrate the new players, or well, the the new player in Sky and the bench player in Chase. One. One. I think it is. You think Crimzo's lying? I mean, Sky's probably better at Kiri as well, right? If they're in this version of the meta. So now we're going to see Ash. Ash from Shockwave. So Tree was doing this a lot. Tree was doing a lot of the Ash. I mean, Verdus Pro have done it a bit as well. But this comp, this comp is really, really similar to what a lot of M80 have been playing. Because I feel like the Ash should die. But if... I don't know... Or... There you go, the Ash is dead, to be fair. Gala gets two. They get flipped back here as well. Sauna's still around, it's just Kayan. I wonder if, like, um, the Ash and the Cass should be super vulnerable. But versus Ents particularly, you, I think you know Kai's not going to swap, right? Kai's not going to go Venture. He's not going to go, like, Farrah or something. Yeah, I think my prediction before the game was 3-2 Verdus Pro. But I think it's more likely to be a 3-1 than an Ents win, honestly. Alright, this is the swap though that is going to cause Verdus Pro the problems. The fact that they have Chase in means they can go Winston, which is something Ents haven't had available for a while. 
They force them all out, though. Support ult's coming up now for Ents. Sorry, I locked out for a second. They've managed to kill Kanael. Rajaro is solo as well. He will die. Oh, Pulse Ball wants to... Can they trade it? Carla can get the Mega. They can stall it out at least for a while. Sauna has to recall. We're going to give up for Flip here. Use both support ops for it, though. The trade's still okay. Now Bob to force point. Gala doesn't get caught here. They turn on Chase Primal to keep going. Catches Gala with that one as well. And now just be a full reset. Ram swap now as well. Hey, Clive. First time chatter. Long time mod. Hope you're all right, bud. Hope you're doing good. Yeah, Clive's a TF2 legend. Isn't that game audio? Yeah, do you need it louder? Is that better? Mod since 2012. Yeah, I'm doing good, Clive. On my Overwatch train now. Still play I've still actually I've actually started playing TF2 again though. I'm back. I'm back on the pub grind. <laughs> <laughs> when are you guys picking up TF3? I think I think we're past the age range, Goomba. You would take one look at my date of birth, Goomba, and say, I'm never playing competitively again. Alright, overclock now from Kai. Just burns through him, actually. Easy one and done for Ents on this hold. When are we bringing TF2 to the channel? <laughs> we'll see if they're going early here as well, actually. Sauna misses for Pulse Bomb. Gala dies. Force back for now. They're going to have Bob to force point. Sauna can probably get the touch. Ent's going to reset. Oh, they're forcing Sauna out. Sauna's in trouble here. Has to recall. Manages to get recall back to the high ground. And get out. So we can get another touch for a little bit here. Shockwave's going to die here. Bob is touching, though. They try and focus down massive, but they just go past Bob. Ents have killed for backline. Rajaro and Bob will regroup on point. But Rajaro needs help. Nearly has Annihilation. 95%. He's not going to get it. And that'll be first round to Ents. Sauna can't get another touch. And just like that... The Bob ditch Rajaro, I know, right? He needed the fucking help. Needed for help. Yeah, if he gets... Honestly, even if he just gets the Annihilation there, it's maybe doable. Does Rajaro play Malga? I feel like I've not seen it, but... My guess is he probably has played it at least a bit. I guess it doesn't really suit a lot of the comps that they play. Word of the street is Rajara has a pretty mean Sigma. But obviously, um, obviously doesn't match up very well into the Winston, hence why he went Ram. Alright, high ground now. Just playing the opposite side. Again, the nature of the matchup is the Sigma team wants space, distance, make the Malga run, but it's a pretty enclosed map. So Chase and Kev can make things happen. Chase is going to go there. Just sweeps him away. Oh, God, I might get caught. Magnetic grenade connects. Pocketed through it, though. Sky is one. I think he caught a rock there. Rajara going to swing back onto point. Don't want to give for flip here. Shockwave peeking quite aggressively. He's going to run into... Oh, he's going to run into everyone. Shockwave needs all the help in the world. He's going to need a lamp. Doesn't get the lamp. Kai on point, though. Sauna might be able to trade this one, but the pocket's there. But oh, Kev's just, just demolishing the backline in the meantime. They might get... Yeah, they're going to get the cap here. Sauna has to recall. Rajaro will be able to get out. Sauna's probably going to die here. There we go. There we go. If they win a fight, can I play easy for Ents? That's too much easy for Ents, you know? Sometimes you have too much of a good thing. 
All right, coming through. Early lamp force as well. Shockwave so close again. They managed to get out. All of Kaneo's cooldowns used now. He's going to window. No ults just yet for Ent, so they're going to disengage this one. Pulse bomb. They catch Chase lower. Chase got... Chase was not getting out of that one. Should just be a free flip here. Kev's going to duck down and get the Mega, but he's... Hard. he's well, he's one bar, actually. Free flip off the back of that there. They catch Kev as well. This guy should be able to TP out. No? All right. More free kills. Do you get banned for last place in fantasy? <laughs> Not officially. We can add that rule if you want, though. All right. Slam comes back in. Rock onto it. Chase is super low. Flux over the top. Beat goes off. Oh, but Chase doesn't get... Chase is going to die through it. Kitsune Rush and Beat both use there, but the Flux does so much. They'll get all the cleanup kills here as well. Good Flux from Majaro. And what was that? That was both support ops and a blade. Huge swing fight here. In theory, the Ents comp should have a better ult, but not if you lose with all three of those. Rock onto Chase again. He has to run out. They're just going to disengage this Bob. So they're getting that one for free. Now, Cajun Overclock nearly coming back. Sauna. The only one with ult on Vertus Pro. Can they all close as well? Shockwave's got the early kill, though. Massa might have a... Massa is in a pickle. But boot Gala goes for it, but he dies for it. It's high risk. Shockwave is in. They get another trade. Pulse Bomb won't connect. Rock on to Chase. Chase is low, but he's going to regroup with Massa now. Rajaro's just trying to run and hide and live. Sauna's there too. I thought they had control of that situation there, Vertus, bro. I don't know why Gala went for that boop on Massa. Like, Massa was out of position, but Gala was 1 HP when he goes for it. I guess he gets dinked on the way through from Kai or something. And now they're pushing back into Cage. They do have Window and nearly Flux. Walking back up. Overrun in. Rock behind onto Chase. They're trying to get out. Matrix now from Rajara onto everything. There's the cage. Window back. The cage has blocked most of the window though. And Gala's going to get caught. They managed to disengage this. Sauna was forcing point. Which pulls Ents back a little bit. Still have a flux here as Rajara. But Massa now has beat for it. TP force out of Sky. Kev's killed Sauna. Sky's 1 HP. Sky is so low. Surely he dies. Rock to finish it. B comes back now. Rajaro still has Flux. Will Matrix and regroup. Gala's low. Doesn't get out. Flux onto the Malga. Chase needs help. He gets Kaneo. He dies though. Shockwave stuck underneath. But Sauna's with him. They can re-push. It's just Kai and Massa right now. They're going to start forcing the point. Dynamite onto Sky. Chase is back on Doom now as well. Forced all the way out. Last fight. Ents nearly have Blade on Kevster. Shockwave's going to have Bob for point. But Bob can make this Blade really awkward. Sauna's going to die first. Rock catches Chase. But now he's going in. Kaneo's going to jump up. Kev's on top of him. Lamp comes out. Kaneo needs more help though. More help. The Lamp's still alive. Kaneo's running away. Kev just chasing shadows. Meanwhile, Bob is getting the job done. Kaneo's still alive. Oh, they shoot deflect. Kaneo lived for so long. He still dies. Well played to Bob. Bad blade from Kev. Kaneo with a great escape. And Vertus Pro tie us up. All right, this map, in theory, is one of the more open ones, so should favor the sync composition slightly here. Don't expect any changes. I don't think we're seeing any Roadhog. No Roadhog this time. Both teams... Roll out the same side, but don't want to take the close fight there, Verdus Pro, so they just take the opposite side of the map. 
Shay's gonna close some of the distance here. And they're just trying to keep the keep the space here, Virtus Pro. Keep that back line moving away from Chase. Just lock Shockwave in a position where he can keep shooting. Kai's gonna slide in. Shockwave's gone onto the Dildo though. They've lost Sky on the way in. Shockwave is one. The pocket's coming through now. Richaro needs help though. They've split on this disengage. They've all ended up in different places, but Sauna's picking them apart from behind. Free for Sauna. And that should be enough. Mate, no one, everybody calls it dildo. If you don't call it dildo, <laughs> you don't know what you're talking about. All right, Winston now. Still lands on Kaneo and onto Shockwave. They lap out here. Chase has got them all, all zoned. But again, Sauna in the back line. Sauna can't stop getting value. The Ents back line is dead. Chase with a desperation jump in and they're going to lose this fight. And they're still so far away from all these ultimate Ents. Because Sauna's been doing so much to the back line. They've not been charging their ultimates. They're not going to have them for this fight. They're going to be holding forward here versus pro as they often do. They're going to make this walk up a nightmare. Have to bubble early to Chase. That's going to be a full reset. Now the bob into spawn. Kai gets for trade though. They can just wait out the bob here. Gonna be three rails as well. That dink onto Kanael forces it back. They're still trying to move out, but it's Sauna again on the back line. Is he gonna get both of them? Forces for TP. Support ops nearly available. Sauna will get back to point. We'll get topped back up. Shockwave should be back by now. We'll be a 5v5 as this gets Sude Rush comes in. Rajaro trying to disengage it, but Window helps keep him safe. They've had to give space on point, but Sauna was still touching for a second. Now the rock onto Chase. Defensive bubble. Chase has primal to keep going. They're going for B, but it's not in time to save Kanael. Rajaro is hunted. He's looking for it. He gets Massa. No beat still. 82%. They've lost Shockwave in the back, but Sauna and Rajaro were on point. Chase with one more jump in. Trying to... Worried about Pulse Bomb. Sauna's got it all. Sauna and Rajaro live. Now it's just Kevster and Verdus Pro are going to take the first map. Sword is just obliterated the backline right now. Sword of Great and Kevster. Well, look at the evidence in front of you, huh? Look at the evidence in front of you. You just quadrupled your money? God damn. Day one sauna believe. <laughs> Goomba's trying to find it. Goomba's found the angle. All sauna needed was zero coach. Oh yeah, can we get a we can get a scoreboard check. Commiserations, Chrissy. Sometimes you just lose the war to the French. Universe theory. Things were going too well for you, were they? You have to lose so England can win? It was actually an act, an act of patriotic good. We just saw SSG perform. Now that's an angle. Um, is there a spreadsheet with replay codes? Yes, but I can't remember the command. Mapinlo will surely... There's two separate links. One for EMEA, one for... It's not replay codes. It's something else for this one. Mapinlo will remember. Oh, Wilder will remember as well. There we go. Yeah, two separate sheets. Um, what are we saying? Oh, yeah, numbers. Numbers, numbers, numbers. Shockwave having relatively minimal impact, did die quite a lot. Gala on nine deaths and Kanael too. The backline was being got to. But really it's all about Sauna, right? 28 and 7. I mean, I mean, Kev did go 29 and 7 as well, to be fair to him. But it felt like Sauna was having so much individual impact on that backline. line. 
I couldn't remember what the command is, the thing, though. I couldn't remember. That's why, that's why I have a team, a team of beautiful slaves to carry the slack. <laughs> it's a conspiracy against Twisted Minds, and <laughs> that's the new theory. <laughs> yeah, what are the bets saying after that? Are people still... Its first map was 75% in Ent's favor. Obviously, remember... Where are we going? Eichenwald? Oh, fuck. Verdus Pro, always so good on the payload maps. Or especially the hybrid ones, mostly. You think we'll get some Alari on the go here? It's scarier to do the Alari versus Chase. Because Chase will just go Winston. Uh, no, it was Entz's pick for Icon. So Verdus Pro actually came in with second seed from the round robin. So this is a VP map. Entz map. VP, Entz, VP. Actually, really surprised that VP went to Shambali here, actually. That's an interesting choice. Why did they do that? So, Verdus Pro banned Route 66. They avoid the dive map. Makes sense. Entz banned Junkertown. But then Verdus Pro picked Shambali instead of Rialto. Interesting. I guess they think it's because they can't dive on Shambali. You don't think they have a Rialto? Do they normally ban Rialto? Let me find... Where are, the, uh, where are my notes? Oh, wait. I need for I need the ban thing. Where is it? Bans. Nope. Bans. B -b 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 -b. Oh, they're not going to be called Virtus Pro, are they? They're going to be called Ataraxia. No, they normally ban Shambali. They've picked Rialto a decent amount. So a really weird map 5 pick, actually. Um, really weird map 5 pick coming out from um, Verdus Pro if we get there. Alright, what are the bets saying? 55% VP? Alright. 10 seconds left if you want your bets in. And Alright. Is it going to be an Ents and SSG lower bracket kind of day? Did anyone have that on the cards? How close was map one? Pretty close. No grapple kill here. And the Alari's in. All right. Double flex Ash versus versus the Malga. This is obviously the sort of comp you'd love. You'd love for Kai to have a venture or something on as well. But yeah, map one was pretty reasonably close. Could have gone either way. Sauna just did loads on the final round. And our Chase is taking so much damage. Gala's going to take all the space now as well. Damage from all the sides. Chase will just go down. They're just obliterated. I did not see the FD God tweet. Link it if you want and we can, we can take a peep after the game. I think Six just too good right now. <laughs> Do you mean a GG pep? Yeah, that's what I meant. All right, Chase makes the Winston swap as expected. Kev sticking onto the Genji. Genji always nice into the Ash. <laughs> sort of be uh, get a helping hand back to high ground there. Rock onto Chase. Chase is kind of low. Sora ops not to go for him. And this captive son is nearly up for Gala. Flux and Bob as well. Chase going to jump up a choke. Just going to bubble off the Sigma here. Rajaro will get out. Rock is avoided by Kev. Captive son now available from Gala. No deflect for Kev. So it's free if he can find the connection. Can they trigger any of the explosions? Kev is one. Sauna's pouncing for the kill. Sauna gets the kill. He dies for it though. One for one trade. Kitsune rushing. Gala's going to have to try and jump out of this one. He does get out. But ends of regroups on the high ground. We have a chance to go again soon with this Kev Blade once he's back. Your seeds are locked, not just for placement. I think your seeds for the Esports World Cup, you mean? Yeah, I guess that makes sense because of how you qualified, right? So this tournament is purely financial for you. 
the Cope's now over, right? B over the top. They're going to keep going. Flux doesn't connect at all. Kev with the blade. And they've decimated him with beat blade. The defensive Flux doesn't doesn't defend him. But Sauna's got the payload so far. I wish Sauna was this keen to get on the fucking objective when he was on London. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he learned. Maybe it just takes a while for Blessing to go through. Rock is good, but Rajaro is still like, oh my god, Chase has been obliterated. Bob, window. A rock connects. Sauna wants a pause. Relatively, relatively okay pause timing, right? Right? Not too bad. One, two, three, four. But it's not, it's five, it's not great, it's not great. <laughs> but it's, it's, a, it's a marked improvement. You've seen enough, then chase to the front lines. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> I'll make, I'll make the call. I'll make the call. Oh yeah, we can look at that FD God tweet now while we, while we got a sec here. Huge win for FD God, let's see it. Let's fucking go! That's... <laughs> I'm never doing accents again. The best the best West team plus we qualify to Esports World Cup. I'm so happy. My team is so much better. GG's. Happy for FD God. And hard coaching staff diff. Oh! Lorena got over Chris. Speaking of a coaching diff... Crimzo's literally losing to an empty chair. All right, only pulse bomb now. Savannah's pro are a little bit low on. They're low on the alt economy, but they're good for picks. And they're good in the time bank. Kai's going to overclock back, and Vernus are probably going to do. But no, you have to walk away. Somebody stop Sauna. Jesus Christ. Hey, Rajaro says TP. Did he mean to just say P? I don't understand. Anyway. Maybe Sky didn't TP or something. All right. Doom back now. Pulse bombs are missed from Sauna. Rajaro's going to get punched. They're having to try and take a back step here. Rajaro has Flux coming back though. Kev nearly has Blade. They need a bit of magic from Kev. He's on the back line. Lap comes through. Trying to peel with Flux. Doesn't find it. Rock though. It's good. Huge rock from Rajaro. And it's a C9. Sword has got the point. Score. <laughs> Oh my god. Initiating match. I mean, Kev got rolled as well, right? Yeah, we can look again. Because he got. Because he. Does he miss the flux here, Rajaro? Because he tries to peel the blade with the flux, right? They Kitsune rush aggressively. They try and flux the blade. Oh yeah, Kitsune rush on point. This forces the back set from Vertus Pro. Then the blade to try and finish it from Kev. Oh no, Rajaro just fluxes, then he turns back. And then Rock! Oh! Shuts down Kevin. Sauna's just on the point. He re they force recall, but Sauna's... He sees Sauna here now. Then Sauna's going to have his recall force. Yeah, they force Sauna's recall. Massa... Like, Massa chases and marks Sauna here. Then Sauna recalls, but Sauna recalls back to the fucking point. He's given the old... He's given him the swim. <laughs> <laughs> Outrageously good recall. <laughs> Alright, so now it's going to be super high damage. Torp from Sauna. Ash, Bap, Ilari. It's for shooting squad here. And they're going Malga Genji Tracer. So Kai doesn't yeah, Kai doesn't really have a venture with him. Hasn't learned the hero. Why isn't Cloud playing? Have you seen Sauna today? 
Rock doesn't connect from Rajaro, but Gala's got one. Full pocket. Oh my god. They're not getting close to him right now. Kai just get one. Chase is going to come in for the trade. Trying to pocket the bat through. Peel is good and wow. So if Sorter is playing well, Cloud just doesn't get to play. That's why they need a coach. Hey, Goomba. I think they have an opening. Slide on in there. <laughs> All right, Chase gets a blue raid on the way in as well. And it's not looking good, is it? Not looking good. Is Torb actually decent first point? I don't know, really. I mean, it's not the greatest point for Tracer, right? I mean, it's not awful. They've done it for a while now, and it seems it seems to go... It seems to go well enough. It's just a simple comp diff again. <laughs> Slam... Oh, Chase is taking so much damage on the way in here. Now the captive sun. Oh, it's caught everyone. Chase is going to explode. He's going to be low. Flux over the top two. Oh, it's a whiff, actually. It won't matter, but it just means it's... What do they use? They use Bob in that team? Kai's going to get a trade and live behind. Or maybe live behind, not live behind. All right, Molten Core and Window. If you really want, you can come through the window. But they have Beat Blade to deal with, so it's probably going to be more defensiveness, Molten Core. There we go. Just try to find some cum to stand on, but it doesn't stop Kev. Sauna in trouble now. Kev is low, but the damage has been done. The Beat Blade combo is enough. Now expect Sauna to swap. Yeah, there we go. Gala's going to go Lucio as well. Is he? Or is he just speeding people out of spawn? He's gone Life Weaver. All right, let's see, let's see it. Let's see it. They clear chase off high ground. Spawns are raining down from above. Petal above. Are they Life Grip Shockwave out of the cage? Rajaro still needs help though. Rajaro needs help in the cage. The lamp is there for him. Rajaro's booped him one more time. He's still getting pocketed through this cage. Rajaro's now on the low ground. He will finally get taken down. But they've still got a lot of control on this high ground here. Knail falls. Shockwave's still up top. Kai can't get him, but Kev can go for him in a second. No healing, so Vertus Pro will slow it down. The Spanish Chio. Shockwave getting himself on a pedal. Oh, Kev's down. No one can get Shockwave now. He's just on a pedal for free. Forces for TP. Bob comes in now. Sky in trouble. And the Bob finishes chase. What a good game Bob's been having so far. Shockwave does end up dying for this because he falls off. It's still messy. It's just a dogfight, but... They're finding the kills. Oh! Kevil fall. Two minutes left on the clock. And look at this. Four ults for Virtus Pro. One of them's pulse, so, you know. Both support ults coming back and a blade too. They're trying to come underneath. They do the rotation. They're going to run into Rajaro here, though. Rajaro, I don't think he's only going to soft hold it. They've got Kai in behind. Chase coming up top now as well. Kev's going to regroup with team. Petal up top. Gala's going to get out of that one. Rajaro holding close. Chase tries to go through. Kaneo avoids it. Drops down. Now the flux over the top. It catches two. Can they kill three beat? No. Tree to play around here. And Kev's taken care of once again. Will not get to that blade. Rock onto Chase. He's going to be super low. And Sauna is cleaning up. Stand under the tree and everything will be okay. Sixty seconds. 
Glad my voice has given you a semi Clive. Miss you too, brother. All right, coming back with Blade. Ents have had a struggle in this series so far. Need a bit of Kev magic. Zero ults on the side of Virtus Pro. Got to factor in life grip. Got to factor in rock. Oh, the rock! He's still going, though. Still gets the kill. Chill out, Rajaro, mate. Now onto the back line. All right. They've done it. They've done it. They've done it. They still have another fight to win, and now they only have a pulse bomb. Shockwave's about to have Bob for this last fight. Still so much to do. Remember, they're still staring down a three minute 20 time bank. But one thing at a time for Ents, they need to find a way to win this fight. If there's a time to find a pulse for Kai, it's right now. But this Bob, so hard to deal with. Chase is going to go in. Big cleave, but he's in so deep. Can they find the kills? The lamp has done so much. Kill the lamp. The pulse bomb's been eaten as well. Bob is just in the corridor, but they've just been shredded. Massa and Kai versus an entire Virtus Pro squad. And the Pulse Bomb just for decoration. Victory. 2 0 Virtus Pro. Wait, what did he say there? Okay, lol, let's get some substitutions. No. <laughs> Rajaro with a friendly suggestion for old for old Crimzo. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> Alright, let's have a look. We can look at next map is Esperanza. So a better map for dive, right? A better dive map. We can take the scoreboard from that. But uh I'll warn you now if you're an Ents fan, look away. Ten deaths apiece for Chase Sky and Kev. Not much more a Linwise between them. 31 and 3 for Rajaro. 24 and 3 for Gala. Get the fins in. Is it ghost ghost and vest time? Crimzo said he wanted to get the boys integrated with the squad. But do they need do they need a change here? Esperanza now, though. It's diveable, right? If Surely it's diveable. Uh, what do I want? Remove break. It's crazy to think that Gaming and VP came in last minute before Esports World Cup and now potentially have top tier teams with zero investment. <laughs> I mean, they must be... They must be... They're fucking dreaming right now, right? Because realistically, when you, especially like when you sign, maybe Ataraxia, I think we're actually truly hot property, right? Like they looked good all through the round robin. But Peps didn't look any particularly impressive in that round robin. They finished what, fifth in, fourth in the end? Thanks to that last win and that Twisted Minds win in the last week. But they didn't look like, whenever they played SNG and Ents historically, they just got rolled. I don't think, I don't think anyone saw that Peps win coming. Alright, did we get a roster confirmation here? Still Sky and... Still Sky and Chase. Looks like no subs either way. Ends believe it till the end. Gifua is unwavering. What are the bets saying? Still 48% for Ents, actually. Still a lot of Ents believers. People will not waver on the Ents bets. The Scrimbox are speaking for themselves. Great entertainment. Thank you, it's me, Sims. I mean, it's... Said there was only going to be good games today, right? Not wrong. <laughs> Not wrong. Not what we expected. I mean, I thought Virtus Pro could win, but I thought it'd be a little bit tighter than this. 
You're all in on Ents? Oh, Ents believers on Esperanza. Oh, the bets are proper 50-50. 49% for Ents, 51 for VP. It's tight, 20 seconds still. Is TM qualified to EWC if Ents loses? Uh, no. No substitutions either. Does this mean they're going to play dive still, do you think? Uh, is this just Ents? No. Oh, there was an original problem with the prize pool meant that you didn't get any prize money for third. But there's different versions of the prize pool based on if you already have qualification. So it's no matter where you finish, even if you're already qualified, the higher you finish, the more money you get. All right, it is dive. Ash, Bap, Lucio, Sauna will be going Tracer after the TP. All right, Sojin, Tracer. Tr Sojin, Tracer. Chase on Winston. Relatively slow first fight. Will be the nature of the game. Who would you sub? I mean, I would be. You would just get in. Get in. Um, just go back Sigma, honestly. Just take. If they just probably want to play this, take the mirror, I think. Obviously, they might go double flex, but they can't do that on some maps. So just take the Sig mirror. Yeah, Goomba has a point now. It's just nice to change the matchup, right? Whether you think it is actually better or worse. But I think just take the Sig mirror. It's something you have played versions of before. It's really good for Vess. You've got the BAP guy to come in. Alright, coming around the corner. <laughs> Kai is in? I think traditionally you normally put the Winston in first, but Chase is actually going to use Kai as bait, get all the kills. <laughs> Sauna still killed the backline because that's just what Sauna does these days. Free for Sauna and Rajaro is moving the payload. <laughs> PG on Kai's PC. <laughs> Yeah, it, oh, one, all, all the conspiracy theories about sabotage and TM, one, they're just nonsense off the rip. But also, it doesn't actually make, it doesn't actually work that way. If TM lose to Ents, if Ents lose, they still just need to be quick to qualify. All right, Bob comes in. They've killed backline again. Oh, Rock catches Chase, but he's got Primal still. And Ents will take this one. Just kidding, Rajaro on point. They should be all right. Chase still has plenty of HP. <laughs> this is why we should have played easy for Ents. <sighs> now, I, I don't, I don't think we should play. I don't. I'm not accepting any of these teams not trying or they don't care. Like, obviously, I'm sure they wouldn't have. There's like a. There's probably a gap in prep compared to Dallas to this. But 100% SSG and Ents are still trying. I think don't take don't take the victory away here. Um, like, they're in, they don't have that edge right. I would accept that Ents and SG don't have the same edge as they would going into Dallas. But the idea that they're not trying, I think, is, is like, it's like the wrong phrasing for it. Um, it's like, uh, you don't want to take it away. Take it away from, um, you don't want to take it away from Peps or Virtus Pro, you know? What do you mean by experimenting in their free time? I don't know. I, I agree that they don't care as much, but people were saying the phrases, oh, I guess they don't care about this, which is bullshit. Like, do you really think they load into the lobby and aren't trying to win? They don't go in with a game plan to try and win the series? I agree it won't be the same. It won't be like for 110%. <laughs> they won't, but yeah. Oh, Chris says he didn't try. Fuck off. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. 
Sauna loves some point. Are you seeing this, Chris, as well? Sauna has missed a fucking objective. Why couldn't we get through to the young man? <laughs> All right. Kills are good. They can pick up the payload and get it rolling. Maybe you just ask that coaching. It's really possible, Pat Sander. We shouldn't rule that out at any point. <laughs> it's just a cloud coaching gap. Well, the facts speak for themselves. <laughs> All right, Primal up next. Chase is going to get Gala, which means Gala's not going to get to this beat. Chase has just killed the backline. Suddenly, these dives are starting to hit a little bit, aren't they? Bob on point as well, but they'll deal with this no problem. Wasted Bob. Do Verdus Pro consider changing anything because they can't live? Would a cast help the backline a little bit more? Probably. The shockwave stick in the ash. Shockwave's going to get staggered out again. Is Chase a bit of Winston and Kellen? I don't know. I'm still a Kellen believer. Overclock. Oh, sorry. Overclock coming up soon for Kai. But like, again, Gala's just dead before anything happens. Didn't see exactly how, but stuff happened. <laughs> Kellen is a felon. Well, that's true, but that doesn't mean he's not good at Winston. <laughs> All right, Kev's just killed Shockwave. The backline is just dead at the start of every fight here for Vertus Pro. Oh, the Flux is a whiff as well. It's crumbling. They still kill Chase, but they've lost the lead. Kitsune rush. They want a clutch here, Entz. Questionable decision. Window back. The Ops will stalemate each other. Stop with the overcocks and tildos. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know why Sky Fox wasn't necessary. Kai with the overclock now. Oh, Shockwave is in, in. The beat is late. Um, I think you're right, though, Goomba. Nat. This map, this map is the most winnable on dive. But then they've got to go to. It was Shambali. I forget which flashpoint, but one of the flashpoints. Both of them really hard. But one problem at a time for Ents, I think, at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Toronto. <laughs> All right, Brig is for swap now. Bat Brig still on the Ashfo. Primal in. Doesn't quite get it, though. Rajaro will live in lamp. Stabilize for now. Kev with the pulse bomb. It's a miss, though. They're coming in. Chase will get caught. They'll get the pushback. Pulse bomb wasn't necessary. But they get the job done. Mainly thanks to that chase kill. And now it's Virtus Pro who have to come back for the first time probably in this series, really. <laughs> Kitsune Rush beat available for Ents. There's the dive onto the back line. The Brick's not helped him live. The Bob's not helped him live. They trade Massa for it, so no beat is coming. Kai's anchoring points are a little bit split here, and they just find themselves getting pulled back to the payload there. Motivating the robot. Still trading. It's just really messy right now. Chase will die on point. One and a half minutes. Kept hold of. Didn't use either support alt there either, so they still have support alts. <laughs> All right. Oh, okay. Yeah, the backline. Backline just dead again. Just a magic pick this time from Kai. They deal with Sauna as well. Burst Pro can't get anything going.
Ends in pole position to actually take this one. Five ults coming up for Ents too. I mean, Verta's probably pretty full bank too, but... Bubble on the choke. They're going to rally out. Chase doesn't have Primal yet. He's going to double in. He's going in for it. He's going to get a big Primal here, potentially. B comes through. Chase does get it. Chase still has his Primal if he needs it. Probably does need it. There we go. All three of the big ults invested here. But a worthwhile investment. They'll win the fight. 15 seconds left. Now Kai has overclock. Sauna has a pulse bomb. Mass is going to get caught here. They're going early with it. 4v5 coming back. Touch is possible. They deal with Sauna on point. I think he did give a touch. No, he didn't give a touch. I thought he got it in time. He didn't. And Ents are back. Just about. Just about. Um, do I think the Genji Venture Malga is good for spawn holding and breaking? Yeah, if it's a good spawn hold spot, I think it'll be really good. And for breaking it as well. So it's just a good engage comp. It's very aggressive. You always get trades. All of this. Um, so let's take Esperanza. So this one swings back a little bit, right? Swings back in Ents' favor. 20 and 4, 21 and 4 for the Ents DPS. 27 and 5 for Chase. But yeah, you look at Kanael, 8 deaths, Shockwave, 9 deaths. Really put through the ringer a little bit. Can I wish you a happy birthday, Eid, and a happy Father's Day? Yes, yeah, Smithsonian. Happy birthday slash Eid slash Father's Day. What a special Sunday this is for you. <laughs> Rory's really forcing this cheer through. So Suravasa next. All right. Do you, I mean, Suravasa's more diveable than... Um, it's more diveable than New Junk City. But it's still really fucking hard. Um, is it true that I'm playing Winston tonight? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, to be fair to someone, we just both... We both trialed for the spot. And I just outplayed him. Not his fault, really. Just the only, I just left Cass with only one decision, really. <laughs> All right, enjoy, Smithsonian. Hi, Jay. All right, Suravasa. The only Western wins that career level. Thank you, Mapinlo. Mapinlo knows. Mapinlo understands. Who's been doing the best on each team? Um, well, Sauna is the obvious choice. I think Sauna's been doing a lot, as is Rajaro. Um, the last map was a better dive map. We played Esperanza. Um, and Chase, chasing, Chase looked really good, right? Uh, much better one for Chase. On the Winston. Yeah, I mean, someone does look good in these games, but I'd like I'd like to see someone pull off those same level of performances on a rainy away day in a Suravata quick play, you know? It's all about what you can handle. <laughs> Best NA tank ever. It's just super, right? I think that's an easy one. Who are the contenders? Hawk, Kalud, Super. Space. There's one, but you can't say their name. Derp is not derpy. It's not derpy. Rhino. It's not Rhino. It's just super, right? Just super. Gator. That's top three, do I think? I think... Hawk, Super. Reiner over Kaluge? I don't know. Reiner over Kaluge? I feel like it might be Kaluge. I feel like Reiner was really good, but it was proper flash in the pan, though. 
Like a half season on Glad's, and then it just, then just poof, poof, disappeared. But yeah, super number one for sure, and then probably, probably Hawk Venkaluge. I know Hawk is Hawk's reputation is maybe not good right now based on recent performances, but in Overwatch League, he was actually so good. 100% Hawk was the best Western tank at the time during, like, Season 5, I think. Flats number one? Incorrect. <laughs> it wasn't Emon Giva. <laughs> what happened to SSG? I think just outplayed, mostly. Outplayed. A billion disengages. Some really poor choices of fights for SSG. Is it punk? <laughs> I mean, he does, he does have citizenship, right? He has dual citizenship punk. All right. Let's see it then. All right. It's May. It's Ash. And that's an immediate kill. Ents are going to try and force the dive again. Doom this time. But it's not off to a great start. Interesting with the May here from Sauna. Rock onto Chase. I mean, rajara has been hitting every rock. Hmm. All right, Kev is gone. Another reset needed from Ents. Dive doesn't win here. I think it's still the right choice though, right? If you're Ents, not to, you're like you don't you don't want to take the Sig Mirror here. You don't want to Malga against this because that's failed. I mean, obviously you could ask the question: Can we not put Vess in and Sig Mirror? But if you're if you're gonna keep chasing Sky in for whatever reason, this probably is the right choice. Maybe you make an argument for Winston, of course, over Doom, but. Kev's to shut down again. Kev's are not getting close here. Ents' dives not looking anywhere near as scary. You got a League of Legends tournament coming up. <laughs> You're the last game as well, right? Last game against M80. Might be a long one, yeah. Where are we going? Point D. Winston now. Boop is good. Chase is going to lose every single piece of his HP. Easy boot for Gala. And that'll be an easy fight win. Strider Nation. Chasm Believers. Chasm is kind of wild on the ball. Yeah, Vert's probably going to be dreaming. Just a window and a... Kitsune rush in now. Richaro taking the back step. Rock is good. Chase can jump again afterwards. Still has bubble. Boop is marked by Gala. Pulse bomb now into Richaro. Lap saves him, but just for a second. And the Mayolt freezes nothing. All right. Both support ults used, but successful. Gala didn't get a chance to get that beat off. Did he have beat? He just had beat. Just wasn't able to get it off. Now Overclock and Primal, the next ones for Ent. So, their success on Esperanza, they found the kills. Kinael died, Shockwave died even more. Shockwave now going to go cast to try and prevent some of those deaths. Flux to start it, Chase is going to jump out, but he's going to get caught. He doesn't have Primal yet. Oh! An easy kill, and now Vertus Pro can take the space on point. Shockwave and Rajaro will swing for free. They've lost Tauna in the back, though. Kai wants to clutch, it forces a beat. They still need to kill Kai. Killing Sky will do, though. Kai still lurking behind. They're in all corners of the map right now. Ents are making it messy, and it's good for dive. And they pull it out. They had to give a flip, but they'll win the fight. Chase will, <laughs> Chase will die again, but he does have Primal for the next fight.
Yeah, May Ultimate Kitsune is hard, but at least it stops them using the Kitsune Rush as much. Even if you don't freeze. Obviously, you'd love to freeze someone, but if it stops them using it, it's not the worst trade in the world either. All right, chase onto Shockwave. Just have to use Bubble. High Noon available soon. This could really minimize Primal damage. Pulse Bomb from Kev is no good. Now the Window back. Mass is going to get Suzu'd out of that one. Chase still has Primal. He's going to try and go through Window now. He goes through it. Take an old Kanael for a ride. Will be forced away. Doesn't give a juggle. The high noon shoes him away for now. Now the beat engage comes back in. They're all over Rajaro. He's bubbled off. Lamp saves him. But for a second, Pulse Bomb Suzu again. Suzu's good from Sky in this fight. Keeps everyone alive and ends. They're not quite done yet. 1-1 on, on, on Suravasa. <laughs> I can't put the England game on. <laughs> I'll get DMCA to hell and back. That's that's a whole different level of establishment that I can't take on. For football mass media. <laughs> Toronto won't tell. <laughs> All right. Dives have started to heat up a little bit. Now the Kitsune Rush push. Rajara going to try and get out of this one. Kai slides up with him, but the disengage looks good for Vertus Pro. Gala, no! Headshot into Disruptor Shot. Kai finds the pick. Rajara will flux back now. Catches a Winston. Chase will dive in this one. Vertus Pro can now swing again, but they do lose that early control. Kefta is in the back, causing them problems. The Shockwave's just all over point. The Rock connects as well onto Massa. Pulse Bomb is lamped. Kaya's got the overclock going. They're going to peek now with the shield. All over Kai. They shut him down. Let the glasses reflect the football on my screen. <laughs> exactly, Pineapple. They've got eyes everywhere. All right, beat nearly available, but Virtus Pro have an overwhelming bank of ults here. Coming around the corner. Amp in. Sauna gets dealt with by Sky this time. He's been such a fawn in their side this entire series, but not this time. Shockwave will swing with High Noon. Chase will be able to DP it. But I spend more time here, Virtus Pro. They still have window, they still have beat, but now Chase is going to keep going. Doesn't quite have Primal yet, but Massa has the beat. That keeps them over. They focus down Rajaro. They can just flip the point here. Virtus Pro will wait. They won't go without their tank. Wait, did Garner beat him that? I thought he was just holding beat. I th yeah, I thought he was just holding beat because Rajaro had died. What the? It's just full bubbled, isn't it? Oh, it's just full bubbled. Oh, oh no. I thought they were going to hold... Uh, yeah, I just thought they were going to hold B after, like, they thought, like, ah, oh, Rajaro's dead. I didn't even realise they used it. All right, now Chase still has his primal. Backline will be put under pressure again. Now no beat, no high need to get him out of trouble. And here comes the primal, but Chase is kind of stuck in the room. Can't find anything, but Kai can. Where's my quality? Hello? Hello? Can I get some quality? There we go. Ends back on point. They'll focus down Sauna. They can stagger back onto point here, but it's really hard for VP. Oh, can they all get some pick, actually? But Rajaro's too low to flux. Gala's on point now. Chase is awfully low. Shockwave can kill him here, maybe. But Gala's dead on point. I don't think they can touch. Yeah, they'll die on the way to the touch. And Ents, one round away from sending us to a map five. <laughs> Kitsune Rush, overclock available for Ents. Beat coming just around the corner as well. When Vertus Pro, when we've had success against dive type comps before, they've always handled these big ult combos well. They need to do the same here. Flux used. Catches for Winston. Chase. So low after this. Can they find the kill? Shockwave's got it. They deal with the Kitsune Rush this time and they'll get the first flip. 
We should be able to catch Kev as well. There we go. <laughs> I don't know. I think that new MAC Ross is scary still. Still scary. Four ops on the side for VP. Still a beat Overclock coming back. And maybe start with Overclock. B if they get in trouble. Chase needs a bit of help. We'll get rocks. Kev dies first. Beat from Gala catches everyone this time. They're all safe from the Overclock and they're pushing forward. Versus Pro not quite done yet. Beat coming back into a window. And they've got Primal as well. Retake should be very possible. Very possible for Vers, uh, for Rents here. If they can do it for one, that would be ideal. The window's early. Can we just disengage it? No, Massa's beats, but Chase has jumped back with Bubble. They can't push with the beat. Massa and Chase make different decisions. Chase is now 1 HP. A disaster for Rents. Kai still gets betrayed, but it's not enough. Rock on to Chase one more time. He won't get to Primal. Sky being forced to take a walk off. 2-2. Two, two. And oh no. Chase still has Primal. Rajaro not with not with Flux yet. And we'll go to point E to finish it. <clears throat> Faces will run into each other on the flank. Trying to rotate towards point. They should be able to get to point. Chase has got a big dive there. Forces for Lamp. Can Primal someone afterwards? Kneo is so low. Can Chase find the kill? Kyle do it for him. And the Primal is good. Ents get the important first cap. On this crucial last round of Suravasa. Kitsune Rush now available for Sky. DPS ult's just around the corner for Ents too. As this Kitsune Rush comes in, expect Rajaro to try and use it on anyone trying to get value out of that Kitsune Rush. Shockwave has the high noob potentially to disengage too, and Gala might have a beat as a bit of an insurance policy later in the fight. As long as he can get to it, they're going to just rotate straight to point. They catch Kai actually, now the high noob swing. They're going to Kitsune Rush on it. Chase is in trouble. And they were just not ready for that at all. They just catch Kai. And that'll be about as easy a retake as you'll see. Oh boy. And it's looked like they'd wrestled it back, but it's far from over now. Probably overclocked to start for Kai, beat to keep going, but so many ults to match from VP right now. Kai has a rail. Pressure onto Rajaro. They force him back. There's the overclock. Flux comes out. They're going to beat through anyway. Kai's going to try and go backwards. Avoid this beat. Massa nearly has a beat of his own. Pulse Bomb's a miss from Sauna. Now the beat from Massa. They need kills on this timing. They need to go through this window. Disrupt a shot will do a lot. It kills Kanael. There we go. Ents have done it. Back in control. One fight more on Suravasa. And they go in Malga Venture Tracer. They need something fast. They need to get the touch. Chase has Primal. Virtus Pro have nothing. Coming through. Sauna needs. Sauna didn't get the touch. Sauna didn't get the touch. Someone else needs to get it. All right, they're all there. They're all there. Shockwave will regroup on point. Chase can finish it with Primal here and send us to a map five. He's on Kaneo right now. Wants to force those cooldowns. Here comes for Primal. Separated them out. Focus on to Kanael. Two kills already for Ents. Gala will be the next target. And we're going all the way. Yeah, we can take a look at that beat again afterwards. Yeah, because Kai's going to overclock. Gala is... Because they flux here. Just on the Winston. Gala's going to beat, but the beat just... 
I mean, Akash, to be fair, Akash is all of a backline. It's not the greatest beat, but I mean, Rajaro's fine. He's just flux Winston as well. Yeah, but I mean, the solo flux on the Winston should be fine, right? As long as they kill him. But Chase is going to get Suzu'd out of it. I mean, they all have cooldowns still, right? Yeah, I mean, I, I think the bigger problem is, like, this beat here. Like, I always feel beat versus overclock. Like, if they overclock and you beat back, it's just shit. Like, I feel like... Like, if you look at the position versus Pro in now, do they need to beat back? Is Shockwave dead? I've... Can we not get him out? Because they... they still have Lamp and stuff, right? Like, who's Shock... Shockwave's not dead to anyone. I think he's fine. Obviously, like, Shockwave's now walked in trying to get beat value, right? But if he just takes a step back there, he's probably fine, I think. And then Gala just matches Masses B, and then they're okay. Because now they just have this beat push, and they can just go through the window, and it's, yeah. Chase able to do so much. Yeah, and you can pulse for Flux as well, that's right, yeah. Uh, how does the Esports World Cup still have so many shit viewers? Did Somebody told me they were doing better today, right? Were they not, like, at a thousand or something at least? What are they at now? 2k right now? Climbing! At 850 there, almost 3k altogether. Not too shabby. Plus for four people who are watching on YouTube. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, because I think I do that as well, right? Like, does anyone else watch any other esports? And if they watch other esports, do they... Do they actively go and find out about events? Or do they just happen to see the channel live, you know? Like, I follow, like, the ESL CSGO channel. And it's like... And the Blast channel. And it's like, oh, they're live! There's an important tournament on. I'll watch a bit of that. Um... But I don't actively follow the CS scene in terms of, like, the upcoming calendar and stuff, you know? I just see it's live. Yeah, or they should at least, like, host it or something. Just send the broadcast to there as well. Host it on all three channels. Yeah. Because I think, obviously, there will be... Because I think most of the viewers you get are the people who are actively seeking it out. Um... But I think most people, there's like an, obviously a much larger swelling that are just quite casual. <laughs> EWC at 5% of calling all heroes. Happy pride. I mean, it's a mighty gap. What is that? Like a 45k gap? <laughs> I mean, calling all heroes also had way better marketing though. Way better promotion. Uh, it just, it, the points only update at the end of the round, Frosty. So the whole round needs to finish. So today's will be updated at the end of um, at the end of the games today. 30k on VP. All right, Shambali. All right, so this is actually really interesting. We talked about this a little bit when we have a map draft, right? Shambali is the map that they normally ban. So this is Asraxia's bans. Out of the 14 bans they've had, 12 times it's been Shambali. Twice it was Route 66. But now they have... Now they're playing against Chase. They're so worried about Dive. They want to play Shambali because they think it's a hard map to dive on. <laughs> Sub Claudian and play my Mason Ryan. I don't think we're seeing a cloudy appearance today. Could Ents not also just go Ram here as well? 
Ram, Lucio, Bap. Ten time seconds for so bets. Comms listening. Like fucking two orts every time. So yeah, 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 every yeah. time. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, I thought we'll get the holy cross. Fucking do it. Oh. Holding cross. Okay. I think Ash. Uh, let's wrap first. around if they're holding. Hold. No, no, no. Six, six, six. Six. Ash uh, is wrapped. Okay, just push the card and bam. Ash goes right. Ash goes right. Bottom. I can shoot the Ash bottom. No, 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 no. Yeah, you can, you can. I'm trying to go in. I'm trying to go in. I'm in. I've got rocks. I'm still in. Still in. Look for face. Look face. Look face. All one. All one. Just randomly rocked me. He was not even aiming at me. Fucking idiot. You fucking tell him, Shice. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Okay, okay, go for fun. Yeah, just push back, push back. Push back, push back. Wasn't even fucking aiming for me, bro. Guy's just fucking lucky, man. Come on. Wasn't even aiming rock for me. <laughs> if anyone has played or worked with Chase before, 100% on brand. All right, they get the card to corner though. The trades end up being good. Kai trying to swing wide here. They want to force the tracer out first. Sauna will be cleared. Can now about to have window. Kitsune rush soon as well. Chase going to take... But space high ground drops down onto Rajaro now. Bubble onto him. They put a lot of pressure. Pulse bomb onto Chase. Suzu is good from Sky. Rajaro is so low. They have to lamp him. But this Kitsune rush is about to come through. And they're low on cooldowns. A window. Kitsune rush. The window's good though actually from Kaneo. But he can't keep Rajaro up. No. Getting pulled in different directions. Gala's going to beat forward now. They need kills with this beat. But Mass has got the later beat back. Doesn't catch Chase. But they're still okay. Chase and Kev have done the work in the back line. They will fall. And Bob will C9. Just touch once, Bob. Come on. What team was I on with Chase? I was on back in... Um, what was it called? Flash Ops. I was on XX Oblivion for like... It wasn't very long. Like a couple of weeks. Just to help him out. And that was the first time I met young Chase. Liked him a lot. Good player, good attitude, bit of a fucking moaner, but who isn't? <laughs> Is that how they won the tourney? No, you're thinking of X Oblivion. <laughs> All right, Prime Liver back, but the Flux is not going to convert any kills. Ents can regroup, go again soon with Overclock. Gala's made the swap to Brig too. Name a tank player, he doesn't moan. Good shout, Warm. Good shout. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why. He did swap Cass on um, Suravasa, so I'm surprised he's not done the same here. They're all low around the corner here, though. Kitsune Rush is used anyway. As long as they live, VP will win. Rajaro in so much trouble. Rock won't connect. Now another jump in from Chase. They're doubling down. Chase and Kev. They connect with the back line. Sauna needs a lot of trades. He has recall. Shockwave is still in. Sauna's got another kill. He's getting full pocket from Garner too. And Sauna will just stop the payload. Chase and, yeah, Chase and Massa can't find the kill. And there is a beat coming back now from Massa. But Rally and Window to help him survive it. Maybe even of a bob if they need it. <laughs> They're playing Ash because Bob is cool, doesn't miss and isn't afraid of anything. All true. All right, dive in from Chase this time. Kev's just going to get caught early again. I feel like you never seen this from Kev. I feel like this is a, this is a series I've seen Kev just die first in most on these engages. So they'll get a free stabilizer off the back of that. Beat and Primal coming back. But Vert is probably going to have a couple of extra ults. They've got the Bob and the Flux now to deal with this dive. 
At the start of the map, Kai talks about engage disengaging a lot of these olds because they always try and over try and invest a couple. Let's see what they try and do here. Bob comes through. Rally used as well. Beat in. Are they just going to live? Here comes the Flux through Primal. The Flux is a whiff. Kev's just hit the pulse in the back line. Gala is primaled in. All the ults to try and survive it from Vertus Pro, but they survive exactly nothing. The Flux is a whiff. The Rally doesn't help. And Ents might just be back. Two minutes, 45 seconds. Rajaro making his way onto Ramatra. Kitsune Rush versus Window. Shockwave sticking the ash for now. Trying to gatekeep the backline here. Chase will just bubble him off. Force Rajaro back for now. Does have Window Pocket though, so we can hold the space. They get the window out for free. This is what Kai was talking about. Always knew Kai was the brains of the operation. Just kite these ults. They kite it. Now they have a free Kitsune Rush push. Going in. Aggressive Kitsune Rush on the back line. There it is. Gala's going to get zapped into oblivion. The lamp comes through, but it saves nobody. Oh, wait. Maybe it does save. Can I was, <laughs> Can I was going to walk away from this one for a second at least. But no trades. The payload will move. Overclock and Pulse Bomb there soon. Kite in the ults. Very good, Sam. <laughs> mm. 10 minutes to England play. And we'll finish just in time. Dynamite around the corner. They try. They do just take a big step back. Gonna wait for this overclock before they go. They nearly have beat two. Rajaro desperate for this annihilation. He's had to use form. Still a few percent away. Pulse ball onto Rajaro. Still has block though. Lamp comes through. Did actually need to lamp in the end. Now the overclock. Rajaro still 2% away. He doesn't get it. Dies on 99. Now the beat over the top. Nowhere for Gala go. <laughs> nowhere, for, nowhere for Gala to go. Nowhere to hide. And it's a full cap. Full cap with time to spare for Ents. Chase with a clean up primal. Wasted lamp. Could have done if he if they save that lamp there. He gets to 99%. He gets the annihilation off. And it's all very different. It's all very different. Initiating match. Thanks for the drops. Yeah, I think they're just the standard Overwatch drops. But drops are drops, eh? Three items. I don't know, is it just... Someone was saying, is it just Battle Pass tiers or something? But yeah, Battle Pass tier skips. But alright. Dive was the answer. You're giving even worse drops. <laughs> you get up to five? That's chill. Who gives a shit about Battle Pass? <laughs> Not me. I'll tell you that one. That will be a free piece of knowledge. You think the sprays and souvenirs are worse? You guys will be more of experts on this than I am. Just finished your Hashimoto Goon title. Thank Commander X. <laughs> I don't know what most of those words mean. But we got a VP listening. Uh, they're gonna be on the same. They're gonna be on the same. 100%. Yeah. Yeah, they're not picking. I can just push point for a bit. I think Monkey goes right. Yeah, Monkey goes right. Yeah. I can swing top left one time. Bubble. Yeah. Bubble. I can swing. Yeah, I'm just going point. I can grab top. I can grab top left. Yeah. Here we go. Three, two, three, two, one. They wanna point. No problem. Shake, shake, shake after. No one, 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 one. Keep shake, keep shake. Monkey, shake, shake. Shake, 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 Keep burning, keep burning. Yeah, behind you, yeah, behind you. Out of the air, go in, 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 go in,
Okay, Leute. Soll ich doch mal. Go, soll ich, go, soll ich, go. Nice, even. Gut, Karl. Karl ist nicht so easy to get away there. Like, I could go, man. Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. Oh, the payload's moving. Kill him, kill him, kill So we're getting a lot of kills again. It was just Gala. Gala too slow to move. Lots of ults coming back up now. Richaro has gone. Ramatra. Two minutes off the clock already. Bubble on to Richaro at the choke. Forces them back. Clears them. Slow at the back. Dive comes through. Chase is priming the back line now. Boot back in. Wants to force Rajaro in. Chase is low. And now the Bob to help him force point. Chase is going to go one more time. Kitsune rush in to help Chase. Chase has to touch as well. He catches Shockwave here. But Ramatra still going strong. They should, they should be able to force over the line here. This guy will get one more touch, dies on his way. Kyle plays his life. Fantasy head's going to be grateful for that one. They have to use Bob, they have to use Rally. But I think still a relatively, relatively okay ult trade. This next fight's going to be difficult. This part of the map is probably the best defensively for Dive as well because you have that window on the right hand side. You can see um, where Kev is going through now. Now they're going to beat in. Catches everyone. Overclock in the back as well. They do window, but they're just getting crushed. They lose Chase. Not quite over yet. Sort of might be able to get a trade or two here. Make it awkward for them, but no, just for one. Coming back now with Annihilation. No ult for a second here. What are they skying over guys? Uh, they, the what Crimzo said when we asked him was he wanted to get wanted to get Sky used to playing with the roster because he's not really played with it yet. So obviously they're already qualified for Dallas, so they are experimenting with the roster a little bit, getting Chase back into the team after being on the bench for a while, um, and getting Sky in as well. I think there's a real chance that having the Winston's really good to have available against Vertus Pro, and obviously Sky's Kiri is probably better than Ghost as well. But speaking of all that, Vertus Pro have made a switch up. Venture Tracer Malga. What did I say? Qualify for Esport World Cup, I mean, sorry. Yeah. Uh, we don't know. The expectation is Chase can't go to Saudi Arabia. But obviously, I imagine Ents are very much going to try again. All right, there's the engage. Slam over the top. Kai still gets the pick, though. Trying to chase him down. Kai is low. Oh, the boop is good. Saves him from the clobber. The end's backline survive. Inverters pro. They can go right side this time if they want. Yeah, clobber's the actual name, I'm pretty sure, Crispy, of the melee. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta save him from the clobber. You better be booping that clobber away from your your players, Crispy. Oh wait, <laughs> Gala's gonna get back on the map. This primal is so scary. Kitsune rush as well. Rajaro low tectonic shot coming around the corner, but they've lost everyone. Shockwave's gonna burrow. Won't be getting out. Going for a trade instead. We'll be forced to walk off. And Vertus Pro. Running out of time. Alright, Kasune Rush beat Cage. Surely this is an old situation they can win. The Cage so good against Dive. Overclock in, Shockwave's gonna die. Oh no! No beat! I mean, they've actually lost this fight so quickly, it's fine. <laughs> Alright. Redo, redo, wind it back, wind it back, <laughs> wind it back, one more time. Huge old advantage for Vertus Pro. No way they can lose in this situation. Arendt's just gonna go early again. 
Ooh, Kev's to force back. Burrow underneath. Here they come. The boop doesn't quite catch Shockwave. Now the KGM, they're all trapped. Massa has the B, but he probably saves it for the recontest. Yeah, the payload's gone back enough. Gala will get the touch. They're trying to stall out Massa here. Massa is the one with the ult with the B. They force him to jump off the edge. All right, one more fight. Double support ult available, though. Tectonic shock soon as well. Double support ult coming back for Ents, but so much nicer for the Malga team. Bubble's going to go. Gala still has the beat. Comes back, gets it off, catches everyone. Now the tectonic shock coming up for Shockwave. Chance to finish it here. Doesn't even need it. Oh, they're not quite done yet, are they? Not quite done yet. Does Chase... Oh, Chase has Primal. I was going to say, is there a world where Chase just goes Malga now? And they take the mirror? Hi. But he's got Primal, so I guess he keep a Primal. I'm getting flashbanged again. This goddamn sun, when will it ever quit, hey? So primal and Kyriolt versus Tectonic Shock. It should be enough. Kev's just got Echo as well here. Kitsune Rush comes free. Tectonic Shock. Making it hard to stand on this one. Chase is going to go deeper with a bubble. Has the Primal to keep going as well. Shockwave for Boop is good. Massa is all over Shockers at the moment. They'll bubble it off. They haven't used it. Pulse Bomb's good from Sauna though. Oh, Chase is going to have to save this one. And they dogfight their way out of it. Oh, important trade by Kev actually. Both the backline died here. So they can get a certain amount of free meters. But they're going to have to take a little bit of a dip back and catch their supports. Gala's pretty close to beat. Rajaro close to cage. But look at this. Kai, Kev, and Chase. They're closer to ults. Verdus Pro needs to slow it down. Ents need to go fast. I don't know if Ents will know, though. The ult track might be that they have it already. Chase is going to primal now. Overclock two. If Kai can find kills here, it'll end it. Copy Malga comes through as well. Gala's trying to juke and dodge. He's booped in. Gala will not be getting beat. Kaneo nearly has Kitsune Rush. Rajaro has Cage. Slam onto point. Rajaro is so close. He needs Peel. Doesn't get the Cage off. None of the old for first bro come through. No Kitsune Rush. No beat. No Cage. End send it. End send it. We start playing the game. It's just the freest game ever. Yeah. <laughs> that was noises. That's Kev. Yeah, the fucking OA is actually just almost through the hole. But uh, we're, we're coming in to, to see how you guys are feeling. I mean, that was almost a huge upset, but you guys smashed their dreams, brought back the reverse sweep. Is it, what's the emotion right now? Is it relief? Are you guys excited? What are you feeling? This is so fucking triggering. <laughs> Wait, you, you can't say that. <laughs> you'll be all right. You'll be all right. You'll be okay. Don't worry about it. It's all good. <laughs> but you guys found the solution. What, what, what was it? Where did it come from? Was it a player? Was it was it the coaching? Who gave you this? Like, where did you guys? What did you guys adjust to come back in the series and win so decisively after map two? Yeah, their tank is pretty, it's pretty bad. Their tank just... is pretty bad. We just Thanks, guy. Factor, to be honest. I think, yeah. <laughs> Stop trolling. Those are good answers. <laughs> Kai, yeah, did we, we just came like together after map two. Yeah, yeah. Right. Kai, so did you feel like the game is just easy as fuck. Yeah, uh, I mean, you had a bit of a tough time, Kai. You were saying every time you tried to overclock, they just used two ultimates to like shut you down. Was it? What, did you feel like targeted that series? Not really. I mean, it's just free. You just you just kite away. Mm. Like just walk away, mate. Ultimate economy. So. Two for one, baby. Yeah. It's, it's yeah, yeah. easy mass. I mean, that's fair. Yeah, that's fair. fair. Uh, guys, uh, generally looking at the meta right here, uh, you guys were heavily relying on those dive comps. Is that just where your comfort zone lies, or do you feel like MAGA is the thing people have to be wary about right now? I mean, it's just just a Mickey Mouse meta, to be honest. Every bad team is just winning on this like meta. Like, just look at Paps and Space Station. Like, they got killed. <laughs> like, Jesus. Pets have caught a stray. No credit to Peps. I mean, why have Peps caught a stray in this no one? Peps is good. Peps is good. Yeah, I don't know why he's playing Peps. Yeah, I don't know. They're just catching strays, man. <laughs> How do you feel about a matchup Seriously. against him? <laughs> Dread's fucking hey. limping off with a fucking bullet wound. He wasn't now even playing. Be yeah, you know you, you talk it. smack on him. Now, now, they're, now they're coming for you. <laughs> yeah, this, this is gonna age really well. For now, though, we let you celebrate. Thank you guys so much uh, for having a quick chat with us. Thank you so much for uh, all the action that you brought onto the server. It was a very exciting match to watch, and we can't wait to see more from you. Congrats. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thanks.
Enz gets the dub in a... Yeah, I mean, Kenny was right. It, was a, it is a top tier idea. I think they still should just leave it like 10 more seconds of the players amongst themselves. I think they still come in slightly too soon. Honestly, like 10 seconds, 15 seconds difference or something is probably enough. Um... Yeah, especially in these big games, right? Like, it's one thing if you go after SSG beats Sovereigns and you just jump straight in and everyone's just chilling. But when there's, like, that moment, just let it let it go for a little bit more, you know? Um, it doesn't need to be ages. Honestly, honestly, like, 10 to 20 seconds, it's probably really fine. Instead of hero bands, we should have player bands. That's got to be a hot take. <laughs> Some teams will be on the ropes from that one. All right. Should we get ready for North America then? Where's my Toronto base button? There we go. Wait, hold on. I need to go back a second. If I turn this one off, and then I do this. Toronto time. Yeah, I think no one's getting a... Like, it's all just a joke, right? There's, I've actually not seen a single complaint about swearing. So I think it's all just like... Uh, we should be careful not to... Complain about people complaining. If there's nobody actually complaining. You know? <laughs> yeah. Perfect winners predicted. All according to plan, was it, Crimzo? <laughs> I mean, I don't. The impression I get is you didn't you didn't start playing Chase with Virtus Pro intentionally in mind, but having Chase available for this type of team is such a huge advantage. Such a huge advantage compared to uh, versus Hero Pool. Crimson needed a map five for the fantasy team. I couldn't watch. Yeah, I, honestly, Peps just played better. We were having a bit of a debate about um, like comp difference or something. Um, but honestly, I think Peps just played better. They disengaged fucking everything. SSG actually couldn't get close to them. Um, I don't know what the exact answer is for the comp stuff, but. I think Peps just played better. I don't think... I, I think maybe the comp was slightly better, right? Because I think the theory... If, if a team goes Cass, I think my current thinking is if a team goes Cass, you go Venture Genji, then it's too hard for the Cass to exist and you force them onto a different hero or something, right? Um, But they actually can't... But they didn't go Genji Venture, so... Like, Zodial didn't feel like he should be under... um. Uh, under enough pressure or under as much pressure as he maybe should be against a double flex DPS comp. Um, Toronto Defiant versus TSM. So how long do I have? Is there like a bigger break now? Wait, can you see this? Maybe not. Wait, hold on. Hold on. I've got it. I'm going to get it back. Wait, there we go. We in? May play now as you just finished to... All right, I'm going to take a quick... I just want to know if I have time for a sandwich or not. You know, do I have time to make a sandwich? Always? All right, I'm going to risk it, okay? We're risking it for a sandwich. So, the interesting thing about this one is TSM were talking so much smack about beating Toronto. They think they're going to beat Toronto. And again, this is a non-sponsored opinion. But there's no way they beat... There's no way they beat Toronto, right? 
I mean, it's been a day of upsets, but that's got to be one too far, you know? One too far.
Sandwich world record. Sandwich world record. I think I did it. Load it up. Load it up on Pepsi too. Now surprise everyone. Woo! Time to spare, huh? Do you want a sandwich check? Where am I going? Sandwich check? Got two. It's a lot of sandwich. Ham and cheese. Tiger baton. Classic ham and cheese. Grated cheese as well. Of course, got to go grated cheese. Also, big one, big one to note. Notice, not a flat cut. Angled cut. Angled cut as well. <laughs> Angled cut is better. Just butter as well. Not mayo or anything. Just butter. No mustard. Just straight ham and cheese. What do you mean? One of your bites going to be 99% bread? No, it's not. Look at that. Oh my god, wait. Let me just not spill crumbs everywhere. We're filled to the brim. Look at that. Ham all the way across. Cheese all the way across. We are we're good. We're eating good. Mmm. Ham and cheese sandwich. Yeah, if I had to pick a sauce, I'd probably just do mayo or something. Maybe a bit of mustard. There's the top tier sandwich. Anyone who doesn't want this sandwich, out of their mind. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. <laughs> Why wouldn't you want a stuffed sandwich? Oh, you're really eating fancy, Arthur. A sandwich with chicken, avocado, and kimchi. Actually, an avocado hater. Wait, is my chat not working? Hold on. Hold up. I can fix this. Oh, wait. Try now. Anyone got a message? Why is it not working? No messages. What have I done wrong? What have I done wrong? Hmm. Hmm. If I go over here, it's also not working. Interesting. Interesting. Peculiar. Can I refresh it? Any refreshers? I guess you're just, you guys are just, you guys have been censored. I didn't mean to censor you, but I'm censoring you. Am I going to Stockholm? Yeah. Yeah, I should be. I should be. For anyone watching the VOD, everyone's typing loads. I've got loads of friends for real. It's not that no one's typing. I've got loads of friends. It's a technical issue. You made a sandwich today with Korean fried chicken. Oh, that sounds good, actually. <laughs> I'm not lying. Guys, I have friends. <laughs> Voices. <laughs> name them. Oh, wait. Do you want a name drop, friend? Do you want a quiz? 
you want a quiz? So I went, I went to, I went to lunch today with some friends because they were at Download Festival. Hello and welcome it's like a music back festival, to the EWC you know qualifiers here live from and Burbank. And all my We're friends are on TF2 set friends. Things up, set the stage, in fact, for the NA region. Now. One of them also played Overwatch. What? Not again. Uh, was this important? What are we getting here? A yes. power cut junk? <laughs> Jack. Ooh. Let me put the cans on. My bad. Hey, heroes. Season two <laughs> of the multi-divisional Overwatch Face It League is back. Join with your team. But can you guess who the guy was? Overwatch player. Pre-Overwatch League. Not Chris, not Smacks. Oh! Harris got it in one. Yeah. Went for lunch with Mikey. And then he even gave me a lift back to my house. What a nice guy Mike turned out to be. <laughs> we scored against Serbia. Are we winning? We're winning the Euros. We're going to win the Euros. <gasps> oh, wait. Did Denmark not beat Slovenia? How did they not beat Slovenia? What the hell? We're going to beat Serbia, though. That's good. Who scored? Jude, not too shabby. Denmark played like shit. <laughs> Don't be envious, Slovenians. A lot of Slovenians in chat today. You're Slo Slovenian slash Samoan. <laughs> Slovenia the least favourite to win, though. Mitch swore on the broadcast. What he drop? An F bomb or a shit? An S word, an F word? Who's he cussing out? A shit? <laughs> I don't think it was an N bomb. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't think it's a problem, right? Who really cares if they swear on broadcast? Has anyone actually complained? <laughs> it goes all the way to the top, does it? <laughs> yeah, because they swear on like the CS broadcast and stuff, right? Not loads, but like if it happens in an interview, but even the desk will sometimes swear on a CS one. As long as they don't, um, as long as they don't overdo it. Like they're not trying to actively swear or anything, but if it come, if it suits the moment. What's this sound? Hold on, I've got my headphones on. What are we hearing? Oh, it's just for background music. Well, what, um, what rating is Overwatch? Isn't it like a, what's the equivalent? Is it like a 12A equivalent?
It's like crickets or something. I don't know. You got a cricket smack? Is it me eating, maybe? Hmm. Mm. Uh, I think Pep's just outplayed him, honestly. It was Amalgam Mirror the entire time. I think Pep's looked really good. Yeah, they're sending me Toronto merch. I wore it on Friday, but it's it's now in the wash. It was a little renegade gap. Do you think it was due to a lack of scrim or time or prep? No, I don't think so. I'm sure they've been just playing plenty of Amalgam Mirror, right? I think every team has. Except maybe like M80. Maybe Toronto as well. <laughs> it was just a Zodio over Backbone. Was Backbone even a problem? Was it not just that all their fucking ults got disengaged? With the Echo Genji? Back when he did that, <laughs> you're just lying now on stream. <laughs> We can literally look at the numbers if you want. I feel like Backbone's numbers were fine. You counted it. Literally took six minutes, did it? <laughs> I mean, I don't think anyone on SSG played particularly well, right? I'm not trying to say he had an all-star performance or anything, but... I think he played fine. They just got... I felt like more of a macro gap. Yeah. Are you just... You're just spouting nonsense, Sondra. You just got this idea in your head, and you're just repeating it. Yeah, we can get Prince going. Oh, you mean Meta Prince? Oh, I have no idea. I have not even looked at the patch. A Doomfist Uprising. I know patch notes. If there are, I've not seen them. Oh, we have no idea. What's most likely? You think Venture gets touched? 
Malga gets touched, like tuned down. Maybe hopefully Kiri gets tuned down. You think Malga, Hog, Farah? I feel like the Farah's been re like relatively recent. Do you see... You guys will play more ranked than me. Do you get a lot of Farah in ranked? Yeah. Alright, probably does get touched then. <laughs> Milk Whip Pulp is the <laughs> with a fire in all your ranked games. <laughs> Welcome back, my Pino. England on top. <laughs> Milk has made himself the enemy of the state. <laughs> a TSM win? No. Again, non-sponsored opinion. Because um, Cap was giving it big, wasn't he? Did you, did you see Cap's interview and Rocket's interview after their game on uh, Friday? And they were like, ah, they're aiming to beat Toronto. Gonna take down Toronto. There's gotta be no way. My unpaid opinion? Yeah, unsponsored opinion? Toronto 3-0. No, they're just 3-0, don't they? Come on. I mean, it's been a day of upsets, but surely not here. I've got like two bites left. Well, we're going in. All right, Toronto gonna dive. Toronto don't like to play Malga. So it could be a little bit awkward for him. Ham and cheese sandwich. People on the Vega hate train already. That's what I mean. You guys are just Harry Maguire in people. Watch and see. Maybe you'll be proved right. Maybe you'll be vindicated. I think they're, I think they're actually pretty bad at the Malga comp Gumba. All right, but Merit pretty good at clicking on faces. That helps. Let me just deal with these problems when I'm when I'm locked in. Mm. Alright. Game volume okay? Do you want a bit more a bit more volume? I think I turned it down for uh back in music. Volume level alright? Alright, let's see it. So they're diving. No, I don't think... I think Toronto plays very little Malga. I think it's not a strong comp for him. Oh, okay, Merit. All right. Nano overclock. He clicks on the things. <laughs> That's one way to deal with a Kitsune rush. One way to deal with a Tracer flank.
Merritt probably the only player in Dallas where it actually felt like he had a good LAN compared to all, for all, compared to the rest of the Toronto players. Starts this one off with a bang too. Sugar Freak's gonna have his recall forced. Meteor Strike available for someone. Gets big punch as well, but has to... Pardon me. Merit again. Vega has a much later beat, and they are all over CJ, but someone is going to get stunned. Punches him back. Vega dies before the beat is off. Will it matter? The nade's massive. It's a huge nade from RuPaul. Oh! They're still trading out. Merit and Sugar Free still getting pocketed by RuPaul here. They can touch for a little bit longer. And now do it. Didn't even need for beat. <laughs> Didn't even need it. Warm up round for TSM. All right, now they're feeling themselves, are they? I mean, versus the Doom, I mean, the, the cage charge is super slow. And they just lost, they lost loads of those fights really quickly. But the cage charge is pretty quick, slowly, especially, the only reason you see cage as quickly in other ones is because it's just two Malgas shooting each other the entire time. Um, versus Dive, there's a lot less for Malga to do like that. All right, Malga mirror now, though. Farrakas. Boop. Forces the TP out of RuPaul. Will be okay. Icy's lost the initial tr health trade. Later Suzu from RuPaul. And they just win the front to back battle. And Merit is doing the thing. Alright. Another straightforward start. Uh, what happened in the... Yes yeah, I think Peps just played better. Peps just played better is my main... My main initial conclusion. It's definitely worth a watch again, though, so we can... All the replays are out for this, right? So we can watch it during the week. Maybe a Monday or a Tuesday type angle. All right, Susie's exchanged. Merit with a slightly quicker high noon. Oh, Rocket is... Oh, he's so low! Someone dies for that, actually. Malga advantage now, massive. Should just be able to flip point. Just have to play for time, really. Whatever touch they can get. Thought like Rocket was going to get caught there, but it's someone who gets caught. Kitsune Rush advantage now for CJ. Pep's coach said SSG wouldn't scrim them. But doesn't that make sense if they expect to play him in a tournament? Barrage over the top catches RuPaul. Didn't get a chance to use the Kitsune Rush. Couple of trades, but numbers advantage still there for TSM. Yeah, maps won and lost at the top. And again, it's only from... It's just a bit rubbish. Because it's, it's only maps from the round robin. It's not maps including playoffs, which is a little bit confusing. All right, coming back now. Support our advantage here for Toronto. Barrage in early from Sugar Free. Vasuzu just about saves him in time. They'll kill Icy off the back. Ah, oh, Chopper's high noon. It's going nowhere, surely. No boobs, no nothing. Can't find anything. We'll go back. And now someone's got a slightly quicker cage. We'll get a couple of staggers here too. Hello. <laughs> you don't have faith in the Merit Cass. You're on the full Toronto hate train here, Gumba. <laughs> Everyone went right, but Maple went left. And that's going to be a freebie. <laughs> yeah. Difficult, difficult to try and body check a giant Samoan man. <laughs> Maybe they should put me in for Magic Maple. <laughs> I know the difference between right and left. You know, I used to live with a girl. And she couldn't tell her right and left without doing this. She had to do this every time to figure out right and left. She couldn't just remember it. 
Maybe Magic Maple's like that. Oh, Barrage, single traits. Stuff is happening in the cage. TSM on top. Your mate does that too. It's wild. What? How can you, you just know right, left? You just know it, right? Might want to look for new roommates. Uh. You do it often more than not? Really? Am I getting paid to make fun of TSM? I'm neutral. Give or take a paycheck. Oh, TSM getting shit on. Unsponsored, just what's happening. Make it Sune Rush as well. Need to... Oh, it's just over, isn't it? It's just over. Who figured out that was Pharaoh was really good? Um, I think Happy actually gets the credit. Happy and Pelican get the credit. It was a brainchild of a former M80 duo. No, Liar said Happy started it. Happy started it, then Pelican copied it. Straight from the horse's mouth. Liar is the horse in this analogy. Yeah, that's a good clarification. Sapper's got it. Happy started it in ranked, then Pelican started doing it in ranked, and Pelican brought it to scrims. Uh, yeah, they're both off M80 now. I think Happy is retired? Question mark. But Pelican is just off the team. Are we really trusting the word of someone called Liar? Yeah, I mean, it, it, when you say it like that, it feels a little bit bad on the tin, doesn't it? But, you know. And Scissors perfected it. I mean, who's the best Pharaoh right now? Is it Scissors? Or is it Zira? Zira went kind of crazy, no? Is it Naga? I'm discounting... Is it... I mean, I think, I think it probably is still Pelican, but... Like, playing right now. Playing in this playoffs... I thought Zero looked so good yesterday. Yeah, he sang did look really good of a major, but if we're talking just just these playoffs, NA and EMEA. Might be Zero, maybe. Lubda? I mean, uh, Lubda didn't play in the playoffs, to be fair. I mean, Lubda is good at Farah. But... I don't know. Can't get into the team. Zero or Naga? Yeah, zero or Naga. Maybe a scissors a close second. <laughs> the best rank play yet, maybe, I guess. Ugh. Today, Naga. Yeah, we're not going to see zero today. We will see scissors, though. Against M80. I mean, Spectra's Farrah looked pretty good as well, right? I think that's the first time I've seen Spectra play Farrah. Who would play Farrah on SSG? Probably Psycho, right? Psycho's Echo is crazy, though. I don't think I've seen too much of Psycho Farrah, though. But I presume it would be him. I've not really seen Backbone play it either, to be fair. Psycho, uh, Psycho's Echo is... Actually, I think Psycho's the best Echo in... In the West? Yeah. Psycho best Echo in the West. Tap played well. Oh, yeah. I mean, Tap's even like... Because even though mostly what we've seen Tap play recently is... Tracer. Fa that was his original number one hero, right? Tap on Farah. What's my sponsored opinion? <laughs> it's, pro it's probably someone on Farrah. We've seen someone play the most Farrah in the face it round robin so far. So someone might be the uh, best Farrah. <laughs> Every time I say the word someone, the fucking, it, just, it just lurches out at people. They can't resist the dad joke. They just can't. They can't resist it. They can't resist it. <laughs> An overwhelming urge. <laughs> Did he not see someone's Farah? He was pretty good on it. I forget who it was against now. It was on Iconwold. Yeah, I don't think Farah's 
Yeah, it's a bit of an awkward meta, I think, for Sugar Free. Um, because I don't think Genji or Farah are really on the same level as his Tracer. But obviously, those heroes or even like a Echo or Adventure, they all seem like they're better in this. So Hollywood next. TSM's map pick, right? Yeah, he actually played. Yeah. <laughs> if you watch any of the Toronto Face It Round Robins, what you would often see is map one, the full squad turn up business as usual, win the first map. And then second map, we get some Merritt Winston and <laughs> we get some someone Farah. A bit of Vega Kiri. A bit of Vega Cass as well. Vega had a 50 elimination game in on Cass, if you can believe it. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was against Citrus Nation, maybe? In the round robin. I think it was against Citrus Nation. You can believe it? <laughs> maybe he's wasted on Lucio. Imagine losing to Citrus. I mean, nobody would ever... You'd have to be a real client to lose to Citrus, right? Imagine if it happened in back-to-back -back tournaments. That would be wild as fuck. <laughs> yeah, and if one of them was a reverse sweep, that'd be a disaster. That'd be a real disaster. <laughs> All right. Now, this is, this is a Korean-looking comp from Toronto, eh? Who did we see do this? Was it once again... The the, chi the Chinese team? What are they now? LGD? I think that's where we saw it. Yeah, they did Anna Brig Malga. This is Anna Lucio Malga, which probably makes sli slightly more sense. In theory, RuPaul's life should be so unreasonably hard. But also, he should get free nades. No Suzu as well, remember. I don't know if uh, I don't know if a nade, because obviously the nade will boost for Malga's healing as well. So I don't know. Suzu probably still better though. Cardiac overdrive used earlier. Rupal was taken care of. Is that asleep? Nade coming back out as well. And Toronto holding strong. Nearly at that nano. Already at that barrage. 70% ult advantage. You think Crazy Raccoon played? I think they did at some point, yeah. I think they played it into the Sig more, though. Not necessarily in the mirror. Sugar Free's hiding. Care Barrage! Oh, they've taken so much damage. They've, they've, survived. they've survived it. They actually nanoed for Farah too. They trade Vega for Icy. I don't know how Vega dies in that situation, but the trade is, the trade is worthwhile. 4v4 on point. Vega will be back quicker. Nade on the choke forces Chopper back for now. Maple's going to die, though. So this is going to slow down TSM. Are they going to swing still, actually? There are only four here. They're coming through, and Chopper's going to get shut down. Nade onto the choke as well, and forced all the way out. If you just, if you're, if you just take the Malga trade, and you anti the other Malga... Is he just Fox? Merit is high noon in the spawn. <laughs> All right. Cage beat Barrage Nano. TSM coming back in again. Running out of time now. One minute, 20 seconds. Icy's taking more damage. Someone's still quite low, though. He's going to run into that barrage. They're going to nano barrage back, though. It's a one-for-one -one trade. Nano Farah. Only Icy to shoot. Icy's low, though. Oh, they love a nano Farah, don't they? All right. Who did Toronto drop a map to? No, it was to um, FMCL. They're now called Timeless, but the, the Seeker team. 
<laughs> you were hopeful, TSM. Yeah, TSM were giving it big before the game, weren't they? But not held up. They're going to cage in and catch someone, actually. Wait, what happened there? I was locked out. What did I miss? What's happening? Wait, can I get an action replay? What's happening? Alright, they disengage for Kirio. Cool. I've oh, only just catch him in cage. Oh, it's just a it's just like it's expensive, but it's just a good play. And then they just don't get the touch. All right, high ground hold now. Still on Vienna. Nades will be very free from this high ground. Icy's gone Sigma, though. i help a little bit. Nades still hits Chopper in the back. Pocket sugar free for all of it as well. Slowly but surely inch of a cart forward to TSM. They have high name to force it a bit further if they want. Scared to walk up versus the nade, but Toronto chooses to go first. Nano Barrage again! Gonna survive it as well, just tanky enough. I mean, it's just, it's just gonna be so hard to kill that Pharah, right? The combination of Cardiac Overdrive and the Nano Damage Reduction. Who's the best Anna? Yeah, still shoot by a mile. Maybe by a mile is... I don't know. He always, he always gets the Anna gap when you see him play that mirror. Lip is better on Anna. <laughs> Not on Anna. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Is Merit better than Lip hit scan wise? No, I think Lip's better. Yeah. I think Fielder is on Anna, yeah. On Anna, yeah. I mean, Fielder's still really good. Don't get me wrong. Oh... Nade on top, only catches Icy though. They're dropping in. Merrick wants to swing everyone, but he's got a shield to deal with, a matrix to deal with. They're just going to try and get him out instead. Will be a regroup. Someone onto Winston now as well. <laughs> oh, Merrick's going to get caught here. TSM with an opening and a high name kill. Toronto seems to have no idea where they really wanted to go with that fight. They'll get a recontest here. They'll have Nano. Someone's gone back to Malga, so probably just another Nano Barrage. So I'm going to high ground. Someone's going to position underneath. Here comes someone. Slam up top. Nano Barrage over the top. Flux comes through. Chopper still dies, though. Someone doesn't survive a bar barrage, but Sugar Free does. Tank advantage now. Icy can anchor point. Move forward. Just need to go kill some of these people. Merit will die. Oh, okay, Icy. Clean with it. Over the jailhouse. All right. I mean, it was looking like a full hold, wasn't it? But TSM have punched back. We can get a quick replay. Easy. All right, double support ult coming back for TSM. No ult's really here for Toronto, so they need to either disengage or just try and play for two fights. Someone's going to go behind them, so I think they're just a die on fight trade if they can they trade chopper they trade icy that's a lot of trades 3v3 now rocket all over merit merit trying to get the full pocket need to be careful not to let cart move too much here just rupaul and vega rupaul gets one and gets the tp out should be able to pocket sugar free through all of that so they get one of the ults out and that gives time for vega to have his beat rupaul's close to the kitsune rush now as well Want to be aggressive here as well. Slam in onto Maple. He dies. Doesn't get the beat off. That'll just be it. Someone makes the play. 
Whoa, chopper on the high ground. Oh, he's one HP. <laughs> Wait, Mabel's coming back. Rocket gets for pulse, so Vega can't match this beat. Can they give a touch? Kitsune rush. Oh, the shutdown onto Rocket. Ice is going to get another touch. It's not quite over yet, but Vega's going to be back with beat soon. Hine in from Chopper. Buy some time and space. Now the beat through. Need kills with it. Ice is trying to get a touch in the back. 5v3 now. Barrage available too. And they'll get stopped. But honestly, way better than you would have expected from TSM after how that, how that map started. So still... Still very much winnable. Uh, they play Icy all the time with the Malga meta. So I presume very much he's seen as the better Malga. Plus he has the better, the better Sig. All right, what do you think they... Do you think they keep the Ana here or they just take a full Malga mirror? Oh, no. Ice is going to start Sigma. So, actually trying to lean out of the Malga mirror now. Everyone knows Mangachu is the real Canadian goat. Well, you know what's interesting about Mangachu? And I don't know if I've told you this before, but... He actually used to play TF2, and I also used to play TF2. If you can believe it. <laughs> How many channel points? Oh, 2 4 is the worst map ever made. Worst map ever made. <laughs> Cass. Didn't Gods play TF2? Not to my knowledge. I don't remember him at least. I do know Harblu. Have I told the funny Harblu story before? I think I have. It is a good one though. All right, I was locked out, but that fight went well. Multiple times. <laughs> I did know, I didn't really know Super or know of him. I don't know if he was just an IM or something. I don't think we ever crossed paths though. <laughs> what happened here? So they won first fight. One first fight. Kitsune Rush beat coming up. Barrage coming up. Just holding on to the high ground here. Toronto will be pretty happy just to keep forcing through point. Slow and steady from Toronto. Just trying to poke back against Chopper. Keeping that cart moving. Someone's always taking so much damage here. At a certain point, they're trying to bait Icy to drop. Are they just going to go top now? No, payload's still moving. Are we going to go top now? Thinking about it. Considering their options. Here it comes. High noon coming up. Someone tanks for rock. Full shield still available. Will Matrix 2. Merit will concede for high ground again. Window was used in the back, so it's just a one for one ult trade. Gonna go back to payload now. Get payload a little bit faster. Oh, Sugar Free dies on the cross. Ice is gonna drop now to meet him. Someone's gonna try and run out. He's so low though, he gets out. He's still so low. Merit's one HP as well. CSM get them all on the chase. Oh, 
And all right, TSM in control. Struggling a bit here, Toronto. It feels like what Toronto really want to do is force Icy to drop. So come get Icy off the high ground. Then hit the elevator. Go back up. Get the high ground for themselves before Icy can get there. But Icy is not falling for the bait. They're just trying to hold the payload with their bullets. Holding close. Early Flux comes through here. Where's he going for? He's got him. Kill Sugar Free straight away. They're going to be anyway committing him for 4v5. And they just go disengage. Oh, it ends up just being a wasted beat. Gonna go back through payload. Keep it moving. Really struggling on this part of the map here, Toronto. It is a tricky one. One rocket connects. Goes for Boop. Sugar free caught again. They're gonna come up top. Boop's back. Oh, the Kitsune Rush ends up on the low ground. Oh, it's disaster after disaster for Toronto. This is not good. Oh, no. Sugar Free's gone Tracer. RuPaul has gone Anna. Someone has Cage, so we will stick for this. So now with the Tracer, they can play more free cart because they've not had any luck. <laughs> any luck at all going top here. Never doubt Capitology again. <laughs> all right. They've got the payload moving now. Sugar Free still moving it. Rocket is dropping to try and contest it. Sugar Free trying to play on the mini. Someone tries to go top bonus happens, but Sugar Free still moving that away. And Merit's found a kill onto Rocket. Now the payload is free free. TSM have a decision to make. Do they drop? The boop is good again. The window as well. They get underneath it. They might be okay. The payload is still moving away from TSM at this point. RuPaul's going to try and cross underneath. He snuck on through. RuPaul's made it to the bar. Now the cage on it. Beat comes through. Only a two-man beat and they kill CJ through it immediately. High noon in the back from Chopper, but someone ain't scared. <laughs> They've cracked it open and look how far the payload is. It's just one. It's just a one and done. A one and done. TSM threw a bunch of vaults into that as well. Desperation beat to try and save CJ, but there just wasn't enough. They needed a Sigma in the cage as well. They needed a shield for Matrix, all of this. And now it's very much in the balance, right? Two minutes left on the clock. Beat, Nano, High Noon, all available here. Sugar Free will have a Pulse Bomb to chuck in too. Oh, going to be a cancel. One for one trades there. Now the Flux coming through. Vega's 1 HP has to be early, does it? Sugar Free's got a kill in the back of a Pulse Bomb. Gets it off. All right. Clean from sugar. And now they have a nano for this final push. Or a potential final push if they can cap it here. Now I think he had to beat there because he was so low. If he doesn't beat, really high risk he just gets killed in the air. All right, where's this nano going? Just going to chuck it onto someone. Give him a little run at them. There he goes. He's got nothing. <laughs> He's... That's a C9. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, I thought someone had run at nothing. I thought he just ran into open space. But it was the perfect bait. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> it was gearing up. Look at this final fight. It's gearing up. Or oh, can they deal with Nano? Chopper nearly has high noon. Window coming. They all turn. Magic Mate Ball turns. Icy turns. Rocket turns. Because someone is like... Who is someone on right now with this Nano? Nobody. <laughs> Absolutely nobody. He goes back to Matrix here and... <laughs> <laughs> Merit and Vega just sneak it in. All right. All right. No problem, eh? Maybe the upsets are done for the day. I guess the end game didn't actually end in an upset, right?
Try to swap the key there, right? Playing free payload. Felt like TSM didn't have a reaction to it. Don't say that. <laughs> TSM right their strongest when they're at 2 0. We're 2 0 down. Is that true? Is there any historical evidence for that? Yes? Are you got Check my sheets. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Hold on. I don't need to open this right now. Um, who did they reverse sweep? Was it in the upper bracket final? Or the upper bracket, upper bracket quarters? Not really. When did they receive? <laughs> I am your sheets. All right, I'm checking fork right now. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. This is why we have the sheets. This is why we have the data. Fact check, everyone. You just got it. How did SSG lose? Just got outplayed. Really poor Esperanza for him. But word on the street, Crimson was saying that SSG were actually rolling with that comp. Um, but I think Peps just played well. Disengages were good. Macro felt good. Esperanza had a few disasters in it as well. I mean, the Icon World was super tight, right? Overtime fight. Could have gone either way. And what was the first map again? Was it Samoa? Am I remembering that? No, it was Oasis, right? I mean, Oasis, Oasis actually felt like the hardest gap, right? Um, Oasis just felt like a really big gap. <laughs> I mean, Sapper, I don't know why you're trying to bait this. If you want to blame Chris, you can just bait. You can just blame Chris, right? Like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure we'll get the, the full the full series of Copa at some point. <laughs> Why no Riker? Well, Ice, Ice's played Malga for him the entire time. And also, they swap between Malga and Sigma. So it just it really matches with um, what they believe Ice's strengths are. <laughs> A three hour cope, you think? All right, Colosseo. Is Colosseo... Is Colosseo good for Malga? Or is it better for Sigma? Because it's so slow and pokey, right? Hmm. Are it's going to sign Tread next stage? Doubt it. They're up to O if you think about it differently. <laughs> <laughs> All right. TSM reverse sweep. I'm not buying it. Not buying the stocks of a TSM reverse sweep here. Uh, yeah, so people used to like perma ban new Queen Street because no one wanted to practice. But I think especially now in this Sig Malga thing, New Queen Street is very good for Sigma into Malga because it's such a wide map. And so many long fights you have over quite long spaces. So more people are actually wanting to lean towards New Queen Street now, which is why we get a bit more push variety. What have I been playing? Um, a bit of Malga Mirror. Um, a little bit of Dive for Toronto on times on like the Cough. Malgron Coliseo. Yeah, I feel like it should be okay for Sigma, right? Just a long, slow, pokey fight. Really limited options for someone in terms of, like, where he sort of pins to. Yeah, you're going to have to run out here. Coming around. Farrow on one side of someone. Bullies in back. Sun June also in. Just on Sojin, though.
All right, nothing's happening. CJ's about to have window. A Colosseo classic. Balls all the way back. CJ's going to drop this window. Can they disengage it? Oh, needs the lamp. I see will be okay. Barrage over the top as well. Catches two. They die on the way in here. Two trade. They actually kill both backliners. Is Vega going to get away with it too? He's gotten away with it too. <laughs> Alright. Now to the slightly more exciting part of the map. Only get a few meters off that, so backline was traded. Double support up for Toronto. They can maybe commit to one of these harder pushes now. I see probably has to save in this flux to get himself out of trouble. Bit defensive, right? There's the amp. Pressure onto I see. Try and zone him off. He's so low. The beat comes through. Vega beats back. Flux comes through from I see. Catches just a high nooning merit though. Suzu is good. It's sugar free. You dies first though. They trade Farrah's. Icy is 1 HP as they keep going. Cage over the top. Rock is there, but Icy is still so low. They're all in the corner. The Matrix is doing so much. They've actually killed someone. They've survived in the room. TSM were trapped in the corner, but they push back out. Vega gets one back, but TSM have stabilized here. Oh. Thanks. I, 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 oh, I just say JP24. That makes more sense. Let's see it. All right, window coming back now. One the big alt fight previously, TSM. Barrage and window available. Sugar Free's got a barrage as well. Back to the corridor. Magnetic grenade on the choke. Barrage comes in from Rocket. That was a weird one. Oh, Sugar Free's going to get it cancelled, but not before he gets two. Where was Rocket going with that one? Did they try and lamp? I don't know. They try and lamp him in as well. Felt kind of forced from Rocket there. All right, Flux, Beat coming back. Double kits, double support off for Toronto. They're going to get Sune Rush in the spawn here. So aggressive. Beat comes back. Vega has the later Beat. Both DPS low. Someone's going to get rocked as well. They're still going forward. Now the Beat comes. Someone's going to keep going. They're going all the way into the spawn here. The cart is still moving. They kill Rocket. Sun June on the back foot. Icy nearly has a Flux to push back out with. Merit with a high noon. Might just use it to try and force Cap here. They're back on the low ground, though. Oh, Sun June's low. Now behind him from Merit catches Magic Maple. Icy still has this flux. But they have to lamp defensively. Merit is just walking forward, killing everyone. Sun June gets the trade. The flux comes through. Toronto will live. Oh, they should be able to get cap off this one. They've still got their healers. They're going to push up and get more. All right. Window coming back, overclock coming back too, but someone has it. The cage barrage could just shut these down. Sugar free coin for middle here, looking for that barrage timing. We'll just drop onto the Sigma. The lamp too late, but they actually trade both for it. So TSM get a chance to get out of their side of the map now. Yeah, I mean, they catch Icy, but the problem is Sugar free is just in front of the entire team when he does that. So, Cajun Kitsune Rush, still really powerful. Overclock really, compared to the high noon, the overclock is really not as good into the cage. So, it might just be a window window and barrage they can drop in and probably kill that cage relatively quickly. They clear someone from this corner. Thanks, Joe Mason. I appreciate, appreciate the tier one. Barrage inside for cage, but they're still all trapped. Oh! Okay, Kitsune Rush Cage deals with both DPS ults. 
Sun Tune's going to go cast now as well. I think feels much more reasonable here. Vega coming back with B. Maple has B as well. Big lead for Toronto. So if they don't need to force anything here, they don't need to rush anything. DPS ults up soon for Toronto as well. Gonna try and poke someone out here again. Coming back through. Here's the slam. Toronto want to take the fight. They go through the window and Magic Maple is not getting this beat off. Vega is though. They beat through the window. They catch everyone. Alright. Alright. Back on the front foot. DPS ults available for Toronto. I don't think we're getting the TSM upset, you know. All right, high noon swing. Going to tank the rock again, someone. Matrix over the top. They kill Merit. Just about getting that kill. They had the beat too. High noon for beat. Not the worst trade you'll ever see. All right. Okay, back in Flux, Barrage, High Noon. All up for TSM. There's the Flux, just wants to use it on the Malga. Someone's inside. They've lost Rocket during all of this as well. Someone's kind of in by himself right now. Toronto are going to win the rest of the fight, but someone is still low. He will survive, actually. Window Barrage coming back. The TSM, that is. Kitsune Rush to keep going. Toronto have been pretty relentless with how often they're going here. Into the spawn one more time. Another one for someone. Doesn't quite have the HP to commit to that, but Sugar Freeze connects in rockets. So it might not matter. Ooh, late trade by Sun June. Coming back around the corner now. Early kill on to Rocket. Someone is in deep. He's going to need help sooner or later. RuPaul is with him. Someone's going to try and go through the window. Doesn't quite catch him. Cage catches him, but someone dies for it. They're all stuck in the cage still. Can Merrick get the kills? He's got one. He's going to high noon. Barrage for Cage goes down. Baker and Sugar Free clean it up. Oh, they don't have the time to cap, though. Respawn should be here in time. They're going to try and play for the boops. Three meters. Can they deny the boops? Oh, no. Magic Maple has the rollout. And they get the kill. All right. They hang in by the skin of their teeth, TSM. Now a simple 110 meter comeback. <laughs> Into a reverse sweep. There's always a chance. But they are at support ult disadvantage here, TSM. Early beat in. They're just trying to force the play to happen. Barrage over the top. Suzu saves Icy for now, but they can't kill him. The beat is there. High noon dealt with. Icy going to get stunned here in this one. And that'll be it. 3-0. Toronto on top. GG's. All right. Yeah, it was a super early beat. Really felt force. Felt like they forced a lot of their play. Some of the barrages felt forced. Some of the beats felt forced. Um, I mean, um, no surprises here, right? <laughs> this Toronto team doesn't stand a chance against Peps. <laughs> <laughs> Pep stocks go into the moon. Uh, M80 NRG next. Yes, this should be this should be the the big one, right? We've been treated to a lot of good Overwatch matches today, but if any of them seemed like a roll, it was probably this and the Peps game. I mean, I guess technically the Peps game was a roll. Do what you in it. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Maybe not the way we expected it, but it was a roll. <laughs> Uh, so what do we got? We got M80 versus NRG Shock. Gambling time. If anyone wants to get their bets in, Hep's good mash Toronto. <laughs> it's always so funny to me. Where I feel like you, it's very, I think you get this in everything. You get it in CS as well. You get it in football. People are like. What's it called? Recency bias? I think that's the right term. The recency bias in any sort of like sport or resporting thing is massive. Like if something good has just happened, that player's going to the moon. That team's going to the moon. If this doesn't go to five maps, you'll be disappointed. The uh, M80 NRG one. Yeah, I'm. my prediction is 3-1 M80. I think it's actually a really nice matchup. I think NRG are good. They proved that yesterday by beating um, uh, by beating Timeless. But I think it's a really nice matchup. Really nice matchup for um, M18. <laughs> Pepsi is now the best team in the world. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> No way to prove you wrong, unfortunately. So I think you're right. Oh, nice replay on that sleep. So let's see. Yeah, well, Ents beat Toronto. But then... SSG beat Ents. But then Peps beat SSG. Hmm... <laughs> Did they say player of a match? It's probably Big Merit, right? Big Mero. He was certainly clicking on the faces at the required times. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I did also predict NRG to lose their previous game. You're right, Beanpot. But this one, this one, they're definitely losing. <laughs> um, do I think MAC have leveled down with their new roster? Or do you think they'll benefit? I think, I think this roster might actually be better for MAC. Cool. Thank you, Dip. I hope you had a good stream. Thank you for the raid. Oh, yeah, I do. You're right. I forgot. To, yeah, I was out to do. Of course, Dip. Not a problem. Um, you need to change for raid notification. Yeah, I was meant I meant to, Wilder, but I was, I was out today. And then by the time I got back, honestly, didn't think about it until you said it just now. Do it now. Do I? Wait, what format is it so in? Let's bring him in. RuPaul, great to see you again. Congratulations well, on what the we say in RuPaul. The office, a quick uh, series. How do you feel generally about your performance so far in this tournament? Uh, I think we're doing pretty good. Uh, just as a team, I feel like we're really strong at uh, the MAGA comp, which is pretty meta right now. It seems like a lot of the other NA teams have kind of swapped the Sigma, but we're still playing the MAGA and having success with it. Uh, another hero you played uh, was, of course, you flexing over to the Ana, which is an interesting pick. We haven't seen a lot of Ana so far this tournament. Um, and, you know, just trying to figure it out in the green room, of course, you lose the Kitsune Rush with a lot of players. They value that Kitsune Rush. It's so powerful, right? And instead, you utilize the Nano to instead put it to Sugar Free or even Merit, right? How did you kind of go about uh, picking, playing Ana uh, over Kiriko on some of these maps? I think we played Ana a lot on maps where we could like be really aggressive because like if we can be really aggressive with the with the Ana it means that they can't get to me um and if they can't get to me on Ana I'll do so much like I can all right I think I got really it free to do what I want whereas like Kiriko it's like kind of more safe but Ana's ult is like super strong as well you can we did a lot of Nenofera and it, it literally like uh, it's for next game Emily so next you game value the sleep dart and the bio a lot in this meta we'll just wait for the raid yeah. Wait for the raid, Wilder. Have to let it happen right. organically. 
sex for all of the actors. I mean, the sleep dart yes. against the Farage, for example, or like, you know, a lot of play couple shots into Farah. Yeah, it's well. A lot of playmaking. So I'm curious, Rupal, you guys just qualified to the Esports World Cup. I know that's probably not a, a surprise for you guys. I think that's probably pretty much par for the course <laughs> in terms of what you expected here. Uh, but, but how are you thinking about Esports World Cup, about competing on the international stage again? What does that opportunity mean to you, um, especially after Dallas? Uh, after Dallas, we're like really looking forward to that because obviously we had a pretty poor showing in Dallas, um, especially because that's just not the team that we were. Like it felt really bad to lose uh, the way we did. So going into going into that, like this past week and next week as well, we're practicing really hard. Um, so obviously to show we're the best team in NA, which we did before, but we're going to be practicing even harder the next month because uh, we're really excited for the Esports World Cup. Right on. Well, currently you're looking untouchable, which is... No, they did it for the Ents game as well, Super. Long, so it's great I think they're only doing it for, like, the closer Rupal, series. Us, it's already very exciting, very like... Much. Imagine you go into Toronto's comms. Toronto uh, thank you, C-Word. Also, Sugar Free. Hi there. Sneaking in. But imagine you go into Toronto's comms after this. And it's, it's, they're just going to be chill as fuck, you know? There's going to be no hype or excitement. It's going to be like... So what do you want for dinner now? Anything else to do? <laughs> they did it for Peps. Yeah, but Peps was a massive upset. You, like, we heard when we went into the Peps comms, right? They're fucking cheering. Yeah, it was a crazy upset. Everyone's cheering. Everyone's going fucking crazy. Do you think Toronto celebrated to the same extent for beating TSM here? <laughs> Merit's high nooning and spawn and shit. <laughs> Yes, it's been, <laughs> might have been slightly tamer. Yeah, you think they were? <laughs> Fucking fist bumps. Kasaurus is flipping over the table in the coaching room. Screaming. Screaming in Danny's face that they finally did it. <laughs> they finally did it for the 18th time. <laughs> Breaking the yeah, edge. Just <laughs> losing their shit. Going crazy. Just being a coach that hosts a podcast being upset seems like they're all underperforming. Yeah, it feels like I might have been the only one who had a good week, unfortunately. Or uncoachable. Oh, it was 3-0 fate. 3-0. Alright, I'm going to grab some more water. We're going to do MAT versus NRG. I feel like... I feel like... My feeling for the viewership is you, you're you all actually quite, um, you're NRG heads. But do you really think they can do it against M80? I think this M80 might be better, you know. I think they might be better than the previous one. But I'll be right back. Heroes, this is your game, your team, and now this is your league. 
This is your community's future, and this is your prize pool. Win your matches, battle for your progression. Go far, go further, even as far as the Esports World Cup. It is your time to shine. Build your team, register your team, go the distance with your team. Face it, Lee. Powered by you. I'm back. Oh. Did we reach a conclusion? What are we saying? 3-1 free one, free one to who, Corey? To M18? 3-2 NRG? Turmoil. Don't sway the chat. I'm an M80 believer. PG's going to go 85 and 2. <laughs> Just swayed for chat. Wait, have we got the predictions up? What are the predictions saying? Ooh, 43% NRG. And that feels a little bit high, actually. Infect is going to put him? No. I've been 100% on Preds today. I've been... What did I get? One out of three? <laughs> I, wait, I got... Wait, 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 wait. You know what I have got right? You know what I have 100% record on today? Scores. I just got the teams wrong. Because I, predict, I predicted 3-0 SSG. All right, the score was right. I predicted 3-2 to VP. All right, team wrong, but skill right. <laughs> and then 3-0 to Toronto. Now when I got perfect. So I'm actually 100% on scores. So it's definitely going to be a 3-1. Definitely going to be a 3-1. It's just who, who the 3-1 is too. <laughs> Why don't you believe? Because you've literally never come close to these teams before, Tread. <laughs> Every time you play Enzo and SSG, you just get smashed. <laughs> but today, you were the smasher. You've gone from smashy to smasher. <laughs> Mm. Did you nearly beat Ents in groups? Oh, back in uh, back in stage two. Back in stage two. Yeah, that was like two months ago, though. Tread for sure a smasher. <laughs> oh, Jake is an NRG believer. Tomathan? <laughs> Streets are saying kills nine per fight here. 
<laughs> Brian had a bit of a hard time with BGE's name there. But he kills nine every fight. All right. I've never known Tomofen to be wrong, so I guess we'll have to believe him on this one. Tread was your captain in fantasy? Oh my god, that's an unbelievable captain, are you? A... Fuck. Wait, did Reinforce go soggy as well? Oh, double sog believers. You picked Sparker and he didn't play? Oh, yeah, I bet, I bet loads of people have been, uh, been tricked by that one. Spark was, uh, Spark was your captain. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Is there a lot of money on this one? Let's see. Ooh, a quarter of a mil on M80. Who's got 50k? Uh, Ymir is a prediction god, no. Ymir's always got money to burn. 15k the most anyone committed to NRG. Oh, wait. Should we see the map pool? Um, where are we going? Back. Upcoming. CCM Timeless. Do we get it? It's on hold. Wait, I'm on the wrong one. Where is it? M80 NRG. There we go. Busan Hollywood. New Queen Street. New Junk City. Junker Town. So, when we were speaking to Cal yesterday, he was saying very much the... Um, Whoever that the reason they played Sigma so much yesterday was go stream. The reason they played so much yesterday or so much Sigma yesterday was like an anti an anti timeless thing. Nan is infected gonna ball? You can sense it. I mean NRG do have wait no M A T F map pick advantage don't they? Yeah, the teams are just on the other side. My pred is 3-1-M-80. 3-1-M-80. Because I actually... Are NLG going to play more Malga here? Because the way Cal described it, it made it sound like they actually scrimmed mostly Malga, but they prepared for Sigma particularly because they didn't want to take the Malga mirror against Timeless. Are watching the match? The England match? No. I saw we were a goal up. Are we still a goal up? Hope so. Still a single goal up. All right. We'll take it. We'll take it. Ten minutes left. We'll be all right, surely, right? We don't fumble from here. All right, downtown. All right, they're going dive. 50-50 Preds right now? Fuck. Kaluj getting a happy Father's Day. You don't think M80 can do it anymore? I think they can. PG's gone Widow. Tomofen promised me nine kills per fight. We're currently at zero. They've got the high ground. M80 are in a tricky situation here. Lamp has been forced. Lamp is down. They're trying to... They might be able to sneak cap here. Kalu just going to sneak the cap. They try and swing out. Scissors gets one. Scissors gets two. They still have control of point and Kalu has killed Rack. Oh! Cow is on point! They trade it. Anyone else to touch? Lion wants to touch. Oh, he's gone for the kill. They've gone for the kill instead. They get infected. And they get the touch. And they come back. Tree's got two. How did Kaluj kill both supports? <laughs> How did Kaluj get in that situation? PGE well below the, uh, the promised average. All right, high ground now for PGE. No real way to dislodge PGE from this high ground except for just trying to click on him. 
Dynamite Dive comes in. Primal is taken. Ultraviolet is in the corner. He's got lamps still, but they cleared Infected. Infected. He has to run. He has to run all the way out. They survive the dive. They hold on to point. Uh, Spectra is in North America, I believe. Yeah. All right. Nano Dive comes in. Infected on the back line. Trays for tree. Nade is good as well. In fact, it's got the back line. Nade Nano connects here. And they'll clean up point. All right. Needs to be a perfect hold from here. NRG fans back. Still waiting for PG to get these nine kills per fight. Otherwise, we're gonna never we're gonna, never going to be able to trust Tomathan again. <laughs> All right, rally nearly up. Bob nearly up too. Difficult to clear these high grounds. Kalooj is poking his head out. Can't connect for rock. Kalooj and Tree trying to walk up. Pulse bomb, good. Now the beat comes through over the top. They're going to focus infected. Rack has rallied back. Pulse bombs a whiff from scissors. They're trying to walk forward here. Infected dies. Trying to get back. Goal side. Now the flux to finish it. Looking for the back line. He's got cow. He's dodged for sleep. He's finished him. Do they get another touch here? PG has Bob if they can get the touch. But yeah, Infected's gone ball. I think Infected has to get the touch here. Oh, he's not making it. M80 with the first round. And in theory, that should have been the hardest matchup, right? Playing the, the Sig comp that M80 likes to play into dive should have been the hardest matchup. But didn't feel all that tricky. Ready for battle. Where are we going now? Malgo, we on Mecha Base? Uh huh. Alright. So if you're M80 here, you want distance, you want distance, you want space. Cow going Anna? No? Okay. I was going to say, we did see a bit of Crazy Raccoon play Anna Malga into the SIG comp. All right. It's for Falcon's comp. Genji, Venture, Malga, time to go hard. M80 going to give the space. Try and make these engages from Infected as hard as they possibly can. Early damage is the key here. Scissor's going to burrow in. Deflector already used by PG. They take a back step. Oh, Quatch actually. And boot back in. Kalooch will stabilize. Can they swing out here? Infected's lost so much HP. They can catch him. Walk all the way out. Still trading. Fair mate in control of the high ground, waiting for the sun burrow. Kaluch just anchoring point again. I feel like Kaluch is actually playing so split in some of these situations. Same was true on downtown. But he's not getting punished for it at all. Just taking the whole map. <laughs> Can infect to get back on his hotspot. He needs the hotspot buff. But Genji E. Back to Malga now. Back to Farah for scissors. And it's a Sig mirror. You got a fancy Kalujo, right? Trying to come from both sides here. Lucio and Sojin on the flank here for NRG. Pockets in, then through. Barrage over the top. They avoid it. They get two, actually. They deal with the engage. And M80 are fleeing towards point. Full rail available for Tree. But he is pinned in a corner. They've lost Kaluj on point now. What's for trade? PGE gets away. Can Cal be the new Will since he's retired? Sure. Yeah, well, I think they were supposed to get Bliss, but they didn't in the end. Bliss is going to stay on... Um, what are they called now? Fnatic now? 
Um, wait, is it Fnatic? Which way round was it? I always forget. If it, so many new walls. I forget which way round it was. Yeah, he's just stuck on the bench behind um, Iziaki and Lee J Gong. All right, Flutzing catches Infected. They beat through it and they lamp. They window back. Kitsune Rush doesn't get all that much. They still have beat coming back though. Lyo with a big advantage. Coming in now, Spectra. Echo, really one of the heroes he made his name in Overwatch League on. And now Tree with the overclock, he's going in. Once more, has he gone too far? They're all so low. But Cal can pocket him through all of this. Rock from Kaluj trying to keep this backline contained, but he is outnumbered. Forced back to point, but Infected is so deep. Oh, they walk into the barrage. They're going to lamp Scissors too. Scissors has done it. Wants to push for more. One rocket, two rockets. They're so low. Cal finishes it. All right, Scissors. Tree thought they could get all the Saga kills, but they weren't really with him there. Now coming back, Infected has Flux. PG has Overclock. Difficult retake. Matrix and out for choke. They've got a bit of space here. Spectrum only has the copy. There's the Flux. Thank you, Rasmus. Flux comes through, catches Spectrum. No chance to copy. He was 96%. Oh, they're not touching this. It's just over. 1-1. One, 1-1. One. One, one. All right. Infected Sigma. <laughs> Good flux. Got the perfect target, really. And where are we going? Sanctuary now. Unwavering Soggy fans. One if he never wavered. Any unwaverers in the chat? <laughs> NRG, NRG, NRG. Very different type of match now. It's a Sigma Mirror again. A Soldier Mirror too. People love the Soldier on uh, on Sanctuary. Couldn't even edge to it. You sogged everywhere. Great. Thanks for sharing empty. <laughs> Everyone just vying for angles right now. Tree's going to swing out. It's double hit scan as well. But how is, how is Infected killed for BAP in this situation? M80 is just going to be forced back. How has he done that? <laughs> All right, retake now. Going to take control of the dojo first. Might be a happy Father's Day for Infected. <laughs> oh, PG with a pick as well. All the picks. Going the way of shock. Another rail onto UV. Makes his life hard. Spectre going to swap onto the Sojourn now. Overclock nearly ready for PGE. Window for Cal. Rock hits Liar. He'll be alright though. 55% and counting. PGE's got his overclock ready to go soon. Might well be a window trade first, but PGE is on the flank. There's the overclock. Happy to burn through the Sigma. Infected pushing at the same timing. Window back, but here comes PGE. No lamp available. He dies for it, but the damage is done. M80 going to get one more shot at this. PG's gone Widow on the respawn 2 here. Spectre's gone back to Tracer. 
Probably need Spectre to help with the touch a little bit here. Oh, body shot only on UV. Wants for Tracer to peek him. Wants somebody to peek him. Anyone wavering yet? There's it. Window back against it. It comes through. Tree catches right. Tree catches cow. Outrageous visor value from Tree. And then 80. Cling on for now. Crazy tracking. <laughs> All right. Flux, beat, visor, all of that coming back for NRG. We just saw the 2k visor. Has he got it in him? No, no ball at the start of the point. It was a Sig mirror in this whole round. Now the Flux comes through window infects. Got everyone. Well, he's got a Sigma. Rock, beat comes back. If they lose Spectre again, they're trying to go. Kaluge wants to turn it with Flux. But beat visor comes back. They don't find anything. Liar's dead. Scissors is on the flank. Tree's weak. Kaluge is pinned in the corner. He's hit by a rock. It's over. Energy are taking it. Energy are taking it. Map one to shock. Oh. No, we can take a look, but I don't think the Flux hit anyone. Yeah, just onto Kaluge. They lamp and they beat. Seems a really reasonable beat. <laughs> then Flux back from Kaluge. Yeah, I, mean, I don't think anyone will die because Rack's dropping the beat anyway. But he's just missed everyone, no? Yeah, just a, just a whiff from Kaluge. Ooh. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's a Sigma classic, right? You try and hit too many people, and then you hit up no one. Just pick a person and kill them. Put someone in the center of it. The England game finished, 1-0. Oh yeah, are they streaming as well? We might have missed it. We might we've been too slow on this one, I think. We can get him going. Where's Where's Wacky Racky? Go on, take one, take one. Oh no, we still have time. Beating, beating, beating. I'm booped out. Lewin, Lewin, Sigin, Sigin, Sigin too. I'm on point, I'm on point. Can you go point? Can you go point? Yeah, we can force point. I'm with I'm with PGE point. Just don't die. Just don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Look in the toilet. Give me the toilet. Give me the toilet for his Ohio. Look in team chat. Guys, look in team chat. Cow's posted the answer in team chat. Good job. Did you see that window? Evan? Zoom our energy off the charts. <sighs> Should we do a scoreboard check as well? Let's see what we're doing. Anyone have any of these players in fantasy? Lost to iPad babies. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it crazy that CX is the same age as me? It is crazy. You have Tree and Infected. Ooh, 15 and 7 for Tree still. Not the worst you'll ever see from Matt they lose. PG 19 and 7. Maybe Cal the biggest winner there. 18 and 4. 11k healing. Lights are a little bright. <laughs> One zero victory, one zero one nil victory. Whoa! Thank you, Beanpot. Thank you for the tier one. Boom! 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 boom.
All right, I'm locking back in. Ben on the shock this time. What should we do? A map pool check as well. Hollywood. Diveable, right? But they actually lost the dive map, didn't they, NRG? Downtown, they lost. Serbia was really pushing. Not a strong showing at all. Mm. I mean, I feel like England's group stage is always mid as fuck. You just bet your daughter's college funds on NRG? Uh-oh. What do we got? NRG, the heavy favorites. Oh, MAC have got to be an unbelie unbelievable value bet. They did win the dive mirror previously, right? Oh, but they're starting. It's going to be a Sig Mirror then. Sig Mirror. No, but I think I think if they can play dive maps, in theory, the Winston into the Sigma is a really nice one. All right, Sig Mirror. few seconds left. Maybe second point, so hard. Ooh, M80 listening. Maybe go trade the second point if we have trouble. Yeah, Sigma. Maybe said Echo, second point. All right, yeah. Okay, I don't know. I'm playing with you. I'm playing with you. Yeah. I cast. I'm a little Do you want to go for a? Oh, I'm in. Never mind. Okay. okay. Just two in the corner and hard shoot their Sigma. And when they back up point, just try and take some space. Yeah. So you can run through this corner of shield, ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Okay. I'm hindered. No E. We can three, two on next corner too. Yeah, 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 three, two on next corner. We're all low, we're all low, sure. Yeah, yeah. You guys ready? Yeah. yeah. Three, two, one, speeding. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, we got that foul, just stick here. Just stick here. I need yeah. heal, I need heal. Hey, they have one door first, they have one door first. There. Hey, do you stick one down? Yeah. Hey, look at Andy, look at Andy, look at Andy. Wait, 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 heal, heal, heal. You guys yeah, go yeah. meet me and Trigo right one down, okay? Yeah, okay, okay, okay. You guys Three? ready? Three, yep. two, one, more main. Hmm. Rock Catch is infected, but he's just around the corner, so he gets away with it. Cow now coming back with window. M80 take the space. Was Kalush not calling the peaks, or was it Liar calling him for him? Was that Liar's voice calling it? That's weird. Hiding back now from PGE. Everyone de-peaks it. Earlier flux for Kaluj here. Got a barrage to throw in with it too if they want. There's the flux. Beat. Forces beat. Liar doesn't quite have beat yet. Hiding back. Yuffie's caught scissors though. Barrage on the stairs. PG can't get up the stairs. Now will be first point there. <laughs> you swear to God, if you see Kaluji eating a salad, that push you over the edge, would it? You can't handle the Kaluji salad. Oh, he's won. Tree can't finish it. All right, back to the choke. Payload moving. This is the part of the map team struggle on the most. We saw Toronto struggle here for ages. Car pressure normally the way through a lot of the time, but without a cast. Without a cast, it can be a struggle. Without a cast, sorry. Without a, without a tracer, it can be a struggle. Just having Kaluj move point for now. PG going to peek as well. We'll get poked back. Kaluj just happy to keep this one moving. Has some Matrix now, though. He is, oh, Kaluj is actually so low. <laughs> M80 going to have to take a second here. Do they want to come top? All right, Kaluj is up now. Liars looking for a boot. They come up. They get boot back. Flux now. Tree is really quite in this one. They have to beat for it. They all survive. They actually window back here as well, but the window's going to get nothing. A 
still trying to move cart here. Scissors has a barrage to throw in. And matey gonna come top now. Swing out, high noon trade. It's a standoff. Four PG's half. The lamp helps about PG's one. Needs for full pocket. Cow's peeking, but infected sort of air. Kaluch is taking all the space. Infected's here now. Kaluch goes gets pooped off now. Now infected can take all the space, but they're just man moding it. Tree's not scared. Barrage behind him though. Only gets one. And then matey will keep this point moving. Free on point. Full speed ahead. Will be a full recontest here. Be available for Rack. The only old NRG I'm really close to. PG trying to swing top. Ooh, damage by Spectra forces him back. Coming out top left. Cow's looking for peak. Magnetic grenade hits. But Scissors has... Scissors and Tree dominating the high ground right now. Oh, sorry. Spectra and Tree. Oh, PG in trouble. Pick advantage now. Now the barrage doesn't find anything from Spectra, though. Well, they just got them all anyway. Just infected an M80 on the front foot. You don't have to thank me. Didn't even get a chance to use that beat there. How's it going? Hello. Now we're going to get a couple of minutes left. Two minutes, 37. All the ults coming back online now. Will be a big ult trade. Beats available for both fluxes. Windows gonna get thrown in there too. Window back. In fact, it's quite far back though. He should be okay. Just a full disengage. Cal gets Spectre on the corner as well. And maybe you have to go back. Oh, 4v4. Now the flux comes through. Avoids the cancel. Forces the beat. Oh, did they have to beat there? The beat feels rubbish. Now Lion wants to push with beat. They're all over Infected. He's low underneath it. Infected can't flux. I don't know if they had to beat that. Now, they're on the verge, right? On the verge. High noon to finish it. Infected coming back with flux. High noon now. Making it hard for Infected. It's only collusion for Flux. He gets all the shields. Damage underneath the lamp. Magnetic grenade onto PGE. Will get pocketed through it. Kaluja's just pushing it though. Tree swings. Only a meter. Misses the rock. Infected low is Matrix in now. Now able to shield Kaluja's also one. Will Matrix back. Infected has no cooldowns. No HP. They're going to force it over the line. Cal gets one trade. Is it enough? No. Kaluja's still on point. Kaluja's cleaned everyone up on point. And it's a full cap with a minute and 12 to spare. Has any window gotten value in this game? I don't think so. Actually, you may be not wrong. Any on Busan? Yeah, I mean, Tree's really good. Tree's really good. I mean, that's maybe not a surprise for everyone, right? Kid's been hyped up for forever. But honestly, I think like Spectra and Tree is actually an unbelievably good DPS line, really. In most metas. What can't they play? What Spectra and Tree? I don't know. Like they're both super flexible players. Double flex. Now, tree, tree can play those heroes as well. Chunk Bastion. Good shout. <laughs> yeah, Tree can play everything, really. Tree's like a hyper flex. Should you pick uh, Tree over Sugar Free? I don't know. Needs to be proved. Obviously, bear in mind when Tree is only just of age, right? So uh, he wasn't an option for Toronto. All right, full cast Faramira. 
SSG Peps was close. Um, Eichenwald was close. The other maps weren't close. It was actually a Peps sweep. Very much the better team. All right, Boop comes in. UV catches that rocket. Getting boxed in by scissors right now. Infected trying to swing on point, but down to half health. We'll have to slow it down for a sec. <laughs> Bleach finds the rock. They have to give up a tick. They give up a tick, but yeah. Only because you trolled more than your gods of trolling. Keen for a catch, but can't find anything. Taking a step back now. All right. So that was a window to lose for fight. Everything else coming up for NRG, but Kaluch is quite far ahead on the flux. We'll have it imminently. Window just started and oh! There's that window value we were all looking for. That one will do it. That one will do it. Only a window two, so it's gonna be an gonna be an eight ultra right now. Everything but windows in play. Might just be a high noon swing to start. Maybe a flux to follow from infected from NRG here. They have the beat. They're gonna flux for high noon. Might cause UV more problems. They beat back. Beats have been traded. Barrage is still available. Both teams maintain their position. Now the flux from Infected. High Noon comes back. Have to DP that. It's a sailmate again. Infected decides to lose a huge chunk of his HP. <laughs> Didn't need to, but it's fine. More healing for Cow. Another window. Window advantage. Kaluj in trouble. Lamp is good, but Kaluj is still in trouble. Manages to get out for now. Barrage in the back. Spectra only gets one, though. Kaluj is coming back. Oh my god, Scissors. Rack will finish that one for him. Again? Oh, if he'd hit that. If he'd hit that. Because <laughs> if he hit that second one. Oh, my God. It was still good. Gunshot right. <laughs> Is that... That's Pendulum, right? My friends were at... Um, Is it Nova Rock? In Austria this weekend. They got to see Pendulum. Maybe I'm misremembering the song though. I'm pretty sure it's Pendulum though. But I've, I've been wrong before. Why do they pick up Wamone? Oh, the double flex ones, right? Double flex comps if it's a hard double flex DPS meta. Like Tracer Echo Maps, for example. Have you seen PG Echo? I have. And if you've also seen PG Echo, then you know why Ramon was picked up. <laughs> oh, Light takes loads of damage. They have to lamp him out. Barrage comes through from Scissors 2. M80. Oh. They nearly survive, but they don't survive a high noon. Gonna die on point here. Couple of trades to make it a bit messy. UV is still darting around, jumping and diving. He's gonna kill Scissors. <laughs> Free trades in the end, so they'll get the cart push. Barak's gonna have to go taxi the team. Battle to lose to the greatest showman. Well, with Unter as coach, there's no way you can lose. <laughs> I don't know if M80 will drop out, though. We'll have to wait and see. Alright, payload moving up. Infected's gonna start this one with Flux. Coming onto the high ground. Flux is traded. Big Flux is all round. Cow just about gets the B and the lamp. The window's the wrong way, though, from Cow. Oh, he pressed the button too many times and now he dies. M80 will stabilize off the back of that. They have to go wait for Cal. Watch 
And now one minute left on the clock. NRG looking a little bit short. Barrage on window to try and cross versus. It's only scissors with Barrage. They're going to take so much damage. Kaluja's dropping on him too. Wants more. Infected's trying to make a move to point. Infected's a little bit split right now. Rack will go with him. Trying to peek out. But they're getting marked. Oh, Hinder comes on top as well. Infected's just going to die before the fight. 34 seconds. They have time to reset. Just about time to reset here. Any sag? Oh, fuck. The payload's really far. In the end, Fector's going to go ball. All right, they're going to have to improvise and clutch this one. Infected's going the long way. Safety first from Infected. Coming through. Rack with Infected on point. They're moving this forward. Window of a high ground. Lyra and Yuvi are going to drop to help point. Slam onto tree. Tree's massively out of position. The lamp doesn't save him. Winnable for shock. Scissors wants to make his way in. Barrage Vet just wants for Sigma. It's Kaluta's one. It's enough for the trade. Spectral with it back. PG's in the back line. PG needs kills here. That'll do it. Just two alive. NRG are going to extend it. Woo. The boop on tree. The boop on tree off the high ground was what set it all up. Infected going Malga now. Any swaps from anyone else on NRG? Scissors already out. <laughs> drawable. Is drawable. Yeah, I presume the boop was scissors in the end. Didn't see, but yeah. Yeah, Tree's going to go Ash. He does this a lot against the Malga. If they feel there's somewhere they can just put their Ash where they'll be okay. Infector's going to run through. Takes a lot of damage. Honestly, on this version of the matchup, I feel like I do have M80 favoured. Tree's going to catch Rack. So no beat in this one. It's going to be a reset. And it's going to have to be another final fight clutch. Oh, PG gets one. Doesn't help loads, but it doesn't hurt. Double support ult coming back. And they're going to go Winston. The emergency dive. Farrah, Cass, Winston dive. World first. Uh, not in playoffs, Warm. No, no Nero sightings in playoffs. It's been all Spectra. All right, drop into point. Infected sounds to half HP, though. Trying to poke about pressure on Rock on top of Infected. He needs the beat, maybe. Kitsune rush through, they stabilize. PG in the back, gets pocketed around the corner. Flux comes through. PG won't get the beat. The scissors will get Liar. Liar had beat as well. Surely NRG can't keep doing it in overtime like this. Kaluta's 1 HP. Kaluta's down. The dive in the back, the rockets are connecting. Bob is out, the barrage is out. It finds two, but it's not enough touch for point, Bob. Oh. NRG. <laughs> NRG in an overtime situation. Fuck. You can't stop them. Scissors again, right? Is it just Scissors and all these clutch moments? Was it Scissors who found the boop on tree on second? And then Scissors finds the barrage on Liar in that final fight as well? Oh, was it a ball rollout second? Was it not a was it not a boop? Alright, we got time to watch, I think, maybe. If we're quick. Oh yeah, he goes round here. Oh yeah, it's an infected clutch. And hits for slam. Sets it up for scissors. Are they just complaining about Jazzy Lucio? <laughs> Do you want it in the... Oh, because I'm leaning the other way. That makes sense. There we go. Is that better? Good call. I'm leaning the other way. I'm leaning in. Oh, 
I'm locked in. I'm leaning in. Good game only. Cast Faramir again. Matrix use first for Infected here. Spectra laying in the damage. PG's got that full rail. 30 seconds left. Any pick will be massive. They find Rack. It's Spectra with the pick. Lap's been forced now as well. So low in the back. There we go. I move up. <laughs> Tarek would never. Yeah, I should lock. Why don't I have that locked, honestly? Which side do you want to see? Left or right? Do you want to watch it again? Do you want to watch it again full screen? <laughs> it was just a spectra opening pick, honestly. How does he find Rack in this situation? Infected is 1 HP. PG's 1 HP. Oh, Rack just... Oh, he fucking catches it. This is head, double headshot. By Rockets. Nah, it's just easy from there. You want to watch it upside down? Yeah, seems reasonable. Wait, I need to unlock it first. I need how Australians can watch. Do you, see, do you think this changes anything? Oh, it's, imp it's always important when reviewing Overwatch to look at it from different perspectives. <laughs> All right. Rocket's coming in. It's really unnatural where the kill feed is. And where the HUD is. My eyes are used to going up rather than down. Infected is one. Oh, Rack, yeah, just two on the head again. The gun on the wrong side is what's causing you brain. <laughs> Where's my transform? Where is it? Transform. And we're back. Why is it like what will? <laughs> you have motion sickness. Can I wait? I don't think I can. Because I have to. I have to have this, but I can rotate it live. Like some kind of happy-go-lucky spin. <laughs> Now, this is the only way to watch Overwatch, I think. So, again, always important to look at Overwatch from different perspectives. But we've gone too far back, too far in the past. All right, so now let's watch this fight. How fast is too fast? Can you still see what's going on? If you're good at Overwatch, you can keep track of everything still. This is what it's like to play ball. <laughs> are the games boring? No, the games are fine. We're just in between games right now. The games have actually been mega today. Oh, and there we go. The Spectrum with a pick. Just like that. Just like that. That's how Jumbin watches VODs. <laughs> it's actually made you throw up. <laughs> I 
I'm used to seeing Overwatch like this after getting home from a pub. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ten, pi ten pints deep. Time to do my placements. Oh, yeah. The Toronto one was rubbish. Um, first map, pretty competitive, but... NRG really dominant on Sanctuary. One with a double hit scan, Sigma. Just had to pick every fight, right? PG one fight, infected for first fight. Um, it was actually the dive match that M80 lost. But then here, Sigma Mirror. Still competitive, but honestly, NRG had to clutch to even make that close. Now we go to New Queen Street. Is it... Oh, pardon me. Malga really... Malga really hard on New Queen Street, so I think we're going to get a, more of a Sigma mirror. Wait, SSG got 3 owed. What did I miss? Peps just played better. Peps out on top. Peps out on top. Get a scoreboard for that one. Hollywood. 32 and 7 for Spectra. 34 and 7 for Tree. Surely some of you lot must have tree in fantasy, right? Did I see Chase's tweet? No. You got the hook up? Well, we might have to go quick. Are we starting? We can we can take a quick peep. The Ukrainian player getting beat up. <laughs> Chase starting beef. Chase gonna fight this guy. Yeah, Peps are now Korean level. All right, new Queen Street. Let's see it. Let's see it. Isn't Virtus Pro Polish? No, I think that are they not a Ukrainian? A Ukrainian? No, a Russian org, but they had a Polish Counter Strike team. Or did I make that up? They're American. Org is Russian, but their 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 like most famous Counter Strike team was mostly Polish, right? If I'm not mistaken. Do you just have to start panhandling to get channel points? You just got to double down on gambling. All right, more of a Sigma. Are we in HD? Sometimes it doesn't feel like we're in HD. Armenian, not American. Somebody said they were Russian. More people said they were Russian. Which one's the truth? You lost all of the ends match. Founded in Russia, but they're now in Armenia. Is that it then? Oh, okay. Thank you, Urcha. There we go. I see. Thanks, yeah. Okay. That's why we have a different, different piece of information flying out. Yeah. All right, so Sigma again. Baps are plenty. Tracer Sojourn instead of a uh, versus Pharah Sojourn. All right, there's the window. There's a full charge body shot. One for one, though. Cow with the response. As they say in America. Coming back. Oh. Didn't see exactly what happened, but losing players is bad. As they say in Armenia. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, okay. It was to avoid the Russia ban. I see. Sneaky. Do M80 have the right number of trees? Yeah, M80 only have two trees right now. They have the Sigma tree, and then they have tree the guy. Oh, barrage of the back takes cow. Oh, that's a big barrage, actually. Woo. Easy for Spectra. M80 rolling. Is it looking like a free one? Spectra. 
Spectra 8. 4 plus 4. <laughs> Is the Tracer worth it here? I'm not necessarily convinced. I don't know how far it is on this map, though. But Spectra's honest, obviously Spectra's making it work, so maybe it's fine. Okay. Rock's avoided by both Sigmas. But Tree is getting up close and personal with Infected here. Overclock to keep chasing. Tree is in. Switches the angle, but Infected gets to the other side of a bus stop. They still manage to force the kill. What's <laughs> Is Tree okay? <laughs> the aura not resonating right now. Oh, he's just photosynthesizing. Oh, of course. Sorry. Very Treeist of me. All right, gonna retake from the high ground here. The robot's slowly moving away from them, but Spectre will slow him down. And I guess this is what if you do if you have a Pharah, right? You just float around in this middle bridge bit. And you just be annoying as heck. Stay on mate now. Cal has the earlier window. Lion nearly has beat, but not in time. Peachy looking for that Pharah, but Spectre is elusive. Could just drop this window and move point, honestly. Am I gonna go top with it? Doesn't find anything. Tree finds the rail though. It's a window gap. M80 tidy with that timing, right? Get get tree a rail, just look for a rail body shot with through the window. One and two fights now. NRG had an old advantage there, and they were just slow to do anything. They could just even if they just window to move point, I think it's really fine. Are you crazy with the Tracer pick? Just not good versus Farah? I, I know. I think it feels really hard, honestly. I don't know why Scissors wouldn't just go Farah himself. Maybe if it's too... I don't know. In theory, it's a, a big open map. Like, this part where Spectra's playing now, this cap fight, I think is awkward for Farah. But the fights over middle, I think, are really fine. They're going to give a beat out of Liar. Flux back now from Kaluge. Matched by it. PG coming forward with the overclock. It's been a quiet game for PG so far. It's not been a quiet game for Spectra, though. And M80 looking good. Trades will help him here. But the cart is still moving away. Oh, Tree doesn't go down either. Uh, I get... I'm, I'm a, I'm a co-streamer, so I get um, a clean feed. What the fuck is a face-it playoff? Eat it if you want. Yeah, Tree's pretty decent. <laughs> Okay, overclock advantage coming back now. <laughs> Let's see it, Tree. Windows about to come into play as well. Ooh, coming through. Oh, catches Tree, shut down. All right. Cow's window's better right now. Window back from UV. They want to keep fighting this one. They catch scissors as well. 4v4 now. <laughs> oh, yeah, I think Spectres look really good. Rock over the top now. Infected walking in. Should be able to clean this one up. Sooner or later. Kalut is so low. Here's the rock though. They've stabilized and Tree is back and he's found the PGE kill. Oh, they're all so low. Also low. How did that? How did Kalush not die? Yeah, thank you, thank you, Fork. Never leaked it, not once in my life. M80 about to make this and potentially even bigger. Got the beat, got the flux. Scissors back on the Farah.
Go as a fraud. You a PGE head puzzle? Uh, lots of good games today, Dinosaur. Lots of good games. The NA ones, uh, the Toronto one was boring, but all the others have been good. All right, later beat now from Laya. Barrage over top. Barrage value is good again. They tried a lamp. It's a one-for-one -one trade. Now Scissors comes back. Or oh, PG with the overclock. He's doing it. They need a lot of things to start going right for themselves here. And that's a good way to start it. You accidentally Captain PG has been good. That was probably the best thing he's done so far. But it's been a relatively quiet series from PG. The reverse jinx. All right. One minute left. Flux advantage. Need to care the overclock though. Honestly, Tree's not got huge overclock value so far. A slow fight. Peachy's swinging behind him right now. Flux comes through. Who'd we get? Anyone good? Oh, I think the damage still went through. But M80 survived nonetheless. Oh, bad time to jump. Tree finds the pick. We'll get rocked. Infected trades it. It's not over yet. Farajul in the back. Infected needs help on point. PG is in the back line, though. 18 HP in a dream. And I mean, we should have learned. We should have learned by now. As soon as it gets to overtime, NRG start playing. Infected's on the ball. Surely they can't clutch this one. They clutch twice on Hollywood to force an overtime. Rack nearly has beat. Kluge nearly has flux. Rack is anchoring point. They're just waiting for the cap to go through. Infected slams in behind on tree. Tree now has full rail. Will swing with it. Overclock catches PGE. The beat comes now. They need kills with this. Tree will be forced back. Uses the window as well. Oh, Cow is so low, but he dodges for Flux. They're still getting the touch, and Cal has killed Spectra. Dodge Flux into the Spectra kill. Now Kalu's trying to anchor point, but Scissors is still there. Scissors has Barrage. Dodges for Rock. Needs Pocket. Gets for Mini. Needs more help. Kalu will finish him off. Now Lyre has the beat. This is M80's moment. Cow has Window, but he's getting swamped. PG wants to clutch. One. Two, no UV lamps. Oh, no. I mean, it was clutchable. But M80, take the lead in the series. Yeah, easier to hit the players than the lamp on that occasion. Is Tree American proper? Yeah. American child proper. All right, what were we talking about then? What was the next map? Should we get some scores on the go? Sorry, I locked out for a second, but I'm back now. We get comms on the go? So, amping heels, amping heels. Stay pushed. Really really no eat, no right, eat, no right. eat. Soldier's close, soldier's close, soldier's close. Soldier close. They're swinging, they're swinging, they're swinging. Somebody else get on. Somebody else get on. Yeah, yeah, I got it, I got it, I got it. I got it when you go. Next unit, next unit, next unit. Help me, help me, help me. I got a I'm trying to... Oh, shoot. Lulu, 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 
Not about, sorry, when I say Mauga, I meant Sigma. I was thinking Sigma, but I said Mauga. Is my brain broken? Kaluge with an 18 and 3 on that one. Liar with a 12 and 3. 21 and 6 for Tree. Nine deaths were infected there. Yeah, Kaluge won't play Mauga. It'll be a Sigma mirror again. Oh, wait, what are the Preds saying for this map? Any NRG backers? 42%. Oh, M80 climbing. People on that M80. They're feeling the momentum. Oh, it's actually swung now to 60% NRG. Oh my god. The NRG fans are unwavering. Pinfork dropping the 161 scrim bucks. Mm. Um, yeah, Spectra can play. We've seen him play Tracer, Echo, and Farah all to a pretty good level. I don't know if we've seen him play Genji yet, but I presume he has a Genji on him. PG is your biological father. God bless you. He's maze good too. People saying NRG. Oh, down to 38%. <laughs> you put your life savings on NRG. Who is the best Genji in North America? Is it Zira? It's not Necros. It's not Soup. <laughs> Unbelievable that we get just multiple Super answers in this one. It is Super. <laughs> you think it's Lenny? I think Zira looked better. It's not PGE. I don't think Sugar Free's bad at Genji, but he's just, like, he's just okay at it, I think. So Chungus pilled. I mean, he's, uh, is Zero not look good on Genji? Tell me I'm wrong. He's, no, I don't think it's Anion. <laughs> no, it's not Liar. I feel like our guesses are getting worse. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I think one of Toronto's biggest problems at Dallas was... Sugar Free on Genji and Farah felt underwhelming compared to the level of competition he was playing against. And someone's Mauga, similar story. And they need to water their tree tree. <laughs> Were there any good tweets today? I feel like I've I've locked out of Twitter. Oh, we're starting. Maybe I don't have time to look at Twitter. Struggled. Struggled but won. Nice, RuPaul. What does that even mean? Is that a league meme? Oh, we're starting. Show us your likes so we're not being problematic. I can show you my likes. I don't think I like anything interesting. My Twitter's probably actually... I imagine if I showed you my following feed... And to be fair, you, you guys are probably... You saw a bit of it then. You would probably just mostly complain it's boring. It's like football, news, a bit of Counter-Strike. All right. All in then. Malga. <laughs> all right, they're in. Scissors on the low ground. Not really where he wants to be, but they found Liar in all of it. And here comes the aggression. So I feel like... Generally, what you want is space if you're the Sigma Cobb. 
And if you have a Mauga team, you want you want corners, nice places to engage, get the slam off. Use the Genji Venture to pressure everywhere. Yeah, I think so too. I think the Ash should have a hard time. I think there's there's a couple of points, you know, point E and point D. I think they're very Ashable. Yeah, they need to sign Indy right now. They desperately need space. All right, here's the Burrow in. Forces them back. Slam comes through. We'll get forced out. Just need to go not too far here. Oh, wow. Oh, Scissors is in trouble. Scissors does not find a way out of that initial engage. Now they are forced back to point. They need to find another engage timing, but they've lost PGE. Oh, Susan wants a treat. Wait, it's not over yet. It's not over yet at all. Oh. Wait, sorry. I thought it was a clutch. I don't know why I got so excited. I think I have brain damage. <laughs> nice to be excited though, isn't it? <laughs> you think? It's possible. All right, retake. Coming in. Have to walk through the bob here, but we have to get Sune Rush. Have beat to deal with it. If they're basically are smart, they're going to get Sune Rush for Bob. Because Bob goes crazy. Kitsune Rush for Bob. It's not a great Bob. Oh, the Barrage. One for one trade. Probably worthwhile. The beat's not in time for Infected. Lia still doesn't have beat. They can go for an engage. There it is. Tree's in trouble. Scissors gets one. They're all around the place. It's a dogfight. They give the flip as well. Oh, they give the flip as well. Kaluta's going to try and clutch. Oh, you can't flux him. He's underground. Now the blade. I honestly, I think they had it. I think they had it. Maybe could have saved blade. Okay, so beat versus tectonic shock. They might have cage soon as well if infected can get this. They'll get some damage on the walk up. Cage tectonic shock. Oh, PGE. Tree gonna get a bit more space now. Pressure on him again. Beat keeps Tree alive. Now we're gonna turn on Infected. And they will kill him. Ooh, sorry. So we were talking about the Ash a lot when MAT plays Shikigami. And the question was really, should the Ash live? Or should she just be perma-dead? And it felt like versus Shikigami, the Ash lived. And here as well, we were thinking, what if a better Mauga team does the same thing? This on me, this on me. But Tree's Wait, living. First on the right, first on the right. Might as well listening. All right, all right. Yeah, she's the uh, bigger. Uh, you guys go right, you guys go right. Can somebody go right, guys? I can't go right, I'm burning, I'm burning, I'm burning. Just, okay, just, I'm coming from you left, from I'm going to pin in. You can go through, yeah, I'm going in. Three, two, one, I'm going in, I'm going in, I'm going behind. I can look for it. three, two, one, shot in. I'm caging. Cage Lou, Cage Lou, Cage Lou, Cage Lou, Cage Lou, Cage Lou, Yeah, Infected's young. They uh, messed that Sagger up. And they just over -altered. But props to Rack. Care Barrage. Did you hear it? Care Barrage. You know how many uh, how many people got barraged? None. Shame it cost them their three big ults. And honestly, sometimes... Uh, this is this could be like a multiple point swing here for an 80, honestly. Walking in. Window comes through. Oh! Tree clean with it. Here comes Scissors, but he's kind of in by himself. Cow's going to TP with him too. Oh, and there's the barrage. Are they flux too? <laughs> oh, come on, Kaluj. <laughs> that one was a sitter. That one was a sitter. <laughs> we could have really padded. The, we could have padded, padded the accuracy. 
We didn't need to flux, but we at least could have padded the accuracy. <laughs> God damn it. All right, so now we have Bob coming back. Double DPS ult coming up for NRG, though. Still a long way away from those big support and tank ults, though. Oh, wait, Liar's going to get caught. How has Scissors done that? He's just found himself alone in a room with Liar. They're going to Bob to try and get out of this one, but Shotgun just disengage and go again post-Bob. Do you want to try? They go and try and just play through point now. Infected's going to get rocked. They're dropping on him. Infected is awfully low. DPS ult's still available. Tree on the high ground. They're making their way up. Dynamite catches most of them. Tree is still safe. RPG is one. Infected is one. They're all so low. Scissors is underneath. Now the blade's in. On the hunt. UV still has... Does he still have lap? Oh, Lai has beat the boop. M80 deal with it. No drama. Apparently like PG was in by himself there. Couldn't find the kill. They still kill Spectra. Not over yet for NRG. They might win it yet. Yeah, window back on point. They get the flip. Well, I say flip the first cap. They all managed to de peek the window and it's, it's messy. It's chaotic. It's hard. It's tricky. But NRG get the recap. PG going to go on to Sojourn now. Cohen out here. Infected wants to go in. Barrage though. Infected will die to that one. Why did we rush to fight outside when we nearly had cage? Weird to... I don't get it. Rush of blood to the head? I don't know. So I may get the retake for free. Force ults? I still like feel you feel you still feel force more ults if you force them to walk in. Then cage them. I mean, they have kids doing rest cage still for this retake, so it's still super winnable. Can play through point, cage whoever drops. There's the cage just onto the Sigma though. Infected slow. Kitsune Rush comes through. Bob is there. Bob will get shredded. Flux comes through as well. Oh, they're all in the air. So much damage for Spectre and everyone. Ah, I needed a higher value cage, really. Just ignore the Sigma and just cage everyone else. The Flux hit. True, true. Got to give him credit where he gets it. Infected is now on ball. They want the retake here. Rack has beat coming back, but Lai has beat to match. Might just not even commit beat here, necessarily shock. They might just try and force an ult out. But they've got this ball well and truly under control. Infected has to get out. The beat in from Rack. They're trying to force more. Liar will just match it. PG with the overclock too. Pressure onto Kaluj. He's half HP. They found a the pick, actually. They've been good in clutches before. Need another one here. Oh, now do it, PG. Another. Oh, drop down. Yuvi's coming back, though. No, Yuvi's got the kill. Shocker just fighting all over the place. It's just for supports now from M80. Liar's going to get full pocket. Oh, can't get through it. 1v3. Huvi's considering it. Considering it. He has lamp as well. Where is it? <laughs> yeah, didn't have time to roll out again. So just try to, just try to live. But NRG, they're going to take the lead on Flashpoint. And all right, NRG in the clutch, eh? Hey? NRG in the clutch. Infected staying on the ball on mind. So I guess he can go with inf if Scissors, right? It's a bit of a weird comp now. Kind of more dive than anything else. Tree's going to go cast as a result too. High ground initially for M80 here. Barrage. Infected really trying to make sure that Spectra gets value out of that barrage by rolling into him while he's barraging there. Scissors wants to double down, try and find a kill. Trias full pocket though. We'll be okay. And it's an easy first fight for M80.
Yeah, I was really worried for Spectre there. I felt like he barraged absolutely nothing. But... Uh, <laughs> infected with the... Uh... <laughs> here we go. Back on Malga. Here we go. Scissors on Farrah 2. So off Adventure. I mean, Adventure was kind of working, honestly. Spectre trying to mark point here. Slow down onto Infected. They have Kitsune Rush. Problem is, if you Kitsune Rush point, Eevee can just window the high ground. They're ready to swing top. Eevee standing quite far back. Just trying to force point here. Flux will come through on point. Catches Infected. The Spectre dies for it. Beat keeps him safe. Double support off for NRG. They're all over Kaluge. Though Lyre's going to beat back. Gets everyone. Tree finds scissors. Kaluge is still low on the road. He's 1 HP. High Noon buys Kaluge enough time to live. They're going to window pocket him as well. Oh my god. Kaluge has lived on 1 HP. He's not just surviving. He's thriving though as well. So much damage to Infected. Tree's going to get the kill. How does Kaluge not die? An M80 clean up. Send it to a final round. And they use both support ults for that as well, Shock. Yeah, the high noon into the window pocket. Woo. All right, just uh, barrage v barrage, but this infected cage should push it over the edge. Uh, don't know, Barney. I think Pel Happy might be retired. Don't know about Pelican. Kaluja nearly has Flux and they nearly have High Noon. So this cage fight gets harder the longer NRG takes to make a move. Pressure now. They force it. Just going to cage for Sigma in trouble. Barrage comes back out for PG outside it. The cage helps Scissors have a much better Barrage. And it's not quite over yet. A good start for NRG. Yeah, Happy might genuinely be retired, but Pelican isn't. But we don't know. We have no idea where he's going. Whoa. Let's see it then. Double support ult for NRG. And pin. High noon swing. Oh, it's a massive stun. Kaluge gets hit as well. NRG. When the lights are at their brightest. NRG seems to be at their best. Liar. Oh, not getting out. on oh, this touch is so hard. Tree has gone tracer. Oh, it's going map five. It's going map five. Beats available for both. Is Kaluja... Gets the touch, does he? Oh, I think so. Yeah, just get the touch. Next touch is harder, though. Kaluja's trying to walk up. Spectra's going to die for it. Now they come on. Tree's dead as well. No DPS. Three man beat. It's all they've got left. Rack has the beat for the Flux. PG's got overclock to finish it soon. They might not even need it. UV is dead. And NRG are sending us to a map five. Ooh. God damn. All right, I'm going to go grab a drink quickly, but I'll leave you I'll leave you with Mr. Rack. I'm, I'm, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Here, 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 here. I'll, I'll, beat flux. Flux. I'll beat their flux, remember. All right. We can uh, do we're going to kill Squishy with it. Yeah, yeah, do it when they walk out in the open, okay? Their back lines are always fading. All right, all right. Actually, don't even force it until their back lines killable. We can move on far left, maybe. Yeah, far left looks like it. Far, 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 far. That's fine, that's fine. I, I'm gonna never call like you. Oh, they're going left. Stay going right. Stay going right. You play red side? Backline main, 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 main. Stay main. Stay we're right, we're right. I'm stomping, I'm stomping. I stopped that. Nice, walk, 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 Oh, nice. I got him, got him. We, we hold here. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Tracer, tracer, tracer has to tracer. 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 Just mark Trey. Just mark Trey. Don't go too far. They might be one. Lucio might be with them. Only, only, no, no. Only Trey can touch. Only Trey can touch. I have the reflex. Where's Trey? Where's Trey? Trey touching. Trey touching. No re, no re. No re, no re. I'm playing point. 
I'm on sig, I'm on sig, I'm on sig. Watch the push. Four, 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 dead. Sig, 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 sig. I beat, beat, beat. I'm on sig, I beat, I beat still. Beat, 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 beat. Sig, 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 Take one. Take one. Help infect it. Help infect it first. Easy. Take him to Junkertown. Let's go. Take him to Junkertown, bro. All right, we're going to talk about the ball carry, though. I need to pee. I need to pee. I need to pee. Talk about that ball carry? He just talked about that ball carry. Didn't get to play ball. It actually pissed me off. Okay, I'm not going to lie. It pissed me off, too. Let's be honest. That mines was not going to do shit. It was a good call. That mines was not going to do shit. It was a good call. I'm off it. Hey, guys. We're going to... There's no way they're picking this map if they, if they don't have a Widow play, they're definitely gonna play super fast stuff, right? Yeah, yeah they're, they're gonna play they're like... Gonna, I think they're gonna play Genji. Okay, Loki, no, they're probably gonna play Genji. Lyra is actually a, a formidable break. Yeah, Lyra's Briggs good at Flex of No, 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 like, he's he's like an opponent that would actually play Brig and, like, be yeah, alright, you know? No, he'll play, he'll, they're gonna play yeah. Brig Sig, so they're gonna, like, just copy what we Yeah, they're gonna try and super you brawl. If you need yeah, I think that right, it'll be a Sig Bat Brig mirror is my guess. Do we have time for bio? Yeah, yeah. Dude, I went through every single map. Okay, I'm gonna get a glass of juice. A glass of juice! Yeah, if they wanna play super, like, brawl shit, just make sure we open up the map and let our Widow work, because they cannot, if our Widow can heat up, they they do not have a Widow player. Hey, pass me the juice. I mean, Tree will go Widow, right? Do you think, do you think Tree will mirror? I think Tree might just have, mirror him. So I was talking to Julia. You got the juice. He's having Cheerios, and I took one. The juice. So these are these are round four. This is for New Junk City stats. <sighs> Pretty even, obviously. It was a free two, wasn't it? Twenty four and nine for Spectra. Twenty seven and seven for Tree. Pretty big damage gap across for DPS. Five k damage gap for Tree. Who goes to the Esports World Cup? Uh, five teams from EMEA. Um, two of which are already confirmed to be SSG and Ent. Three teams from North America. Toronto are the first team to confirm themselves there. And the winner of this also confirms themselves there, right? If I'm not mistaken. Let me do a bracket check to check my math. Yeah, because if you lose this, you go here. And this is these are the top three spots, right? Yeah. So Toronto confirmed winner. Honestly, win, well, I say honestly, literally, the winner of this map goes to the Esports World Cup. Simple as that, hey? Simple as that. <laughs> One map from the Esports World Cup. Junker Town to decide it. No pressure, I know, right? <laughs> I mean, the, the nice thing for both of these teams is they get one shot now to win this map. But they still have the lower bracket possibility, even if they lose, right? Obviously, it's much harder. Um, why are 80 Because there are no automatic qualification spots um, for any American teams. It was top two Western teams at Dallas got automatic spots. But those top two teams were SSG and Ents. So EMEA got all the bonus spots from Dallas. I know, I mean, NRG have clutched. But Hollywood, obviously, they clutched to force overtime. That New Junk City felt like a clutch too. I mean, the last point was pretty clean, right? But some clutches in there too. All right, so what are we getting? BAP, Brig Mirror, Sigma Mirror. DPS, is it just going to be like Tracer Widow? Genji Widow, maybe? I think Genji Widow may be the optimal version of this. Earth for Money Strick. Because obviously, bear in mind, they started, they entered this tournament before they knew they had an automatic spot. So they're still in it and there's still prize money to play for. So even though they can't gain a, a second spot, uh, they still obviously get the money. Yeah, and this is M80's map pick. M80's map pick this. No, so the seeding's already confirmed for um, Ents and SSG because they get seeding from Dallas. So SSG and Ents, it's, 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 it's all about the money. Yeah, so if you didn't see yesterday, it was another banger NRG game. 
Map five, they dominated. Oh, it's going to be Hanzo from Tree. Is he just doing it for Sonic or is he sticking it? All right. Shimada Brothers. On the go. Bat Brig, Mirror, Sig, Mirror. Genji, Hanzo versus Tracer Widow. Oh, taking the jewel tree. Scary. Grapple. Yesterday when we watched this against Timeless, it really felt like Seeker had the better performance on Widow. PG had a hard time getting it going. Takes the flick there. Tracer pressure onto tree. Just going to try and overload the front. Rock connects from Infected, though. Liar still swinging away. They're trying to bully way around this corner. Now they come in. Tree's going to take this angle top right. They force the lamp as well. Infected is so low. Tree's going to get two kills. Meanwhile, Spectra found his way onto the Widow. And that's what you want to do with the Hanzo. Have your Tracer. Have your Tracer. Oh, or you're Genji or whatever you're is. Take care of the Widow. Distract. And then use the Hanzo advantage in main. Yeah, well, the tree's not even playing for the jewel. We're going to get scissors going Genji now as well. All right, Liar. 20% ahead on, on beat. On beat, sorry, on rally. I know words. Just coming through the low ground now, M80. Going to swing out wide. Liar and Kaluj playing tight as a unit, as are Infected and Rack. A Genji duel up top. Tree can obviously go top left through this window, put a bit of pressure on if he wants, but he can't do it right now. Is he going to go up the other window, or do they all go inside? Tree going to cop a wall climb. Just to fake out. Trying to find an opportunity. But he's going to run into Rack. And he's therefore going to be attacked. M80 going to rotate all the way around to top. Now the rally from Liar. Rag doesn't have it yet, so we have to get safe. Liar is in, in. Arrows over the top. Flux back from Infected. Lamp kick from UV keeps everyone up. Bit of space. Now walls have been popped. PG can see where everyone is, but only has a Sigma to shoot at right now. Dragon through. The dragon's faster now, too. Infected gets out of it. Now the blade over the top. Rack was forced in by that dragon. PG trades one, though. Trades are good. But they do have numbers advantage. Kaluj wants to keep going with this flux. Infected is one. Liar in the back. But PG kills Spectra. Tree still coming through. It's a dogfight. Uh, M80 are winning it. But not by a large margin. But Palo did move a lot. They should get, should get a recontest here. Scissors gets the touch. It's a difficult touch by full packs coming from Rack. He's still going to get killed, though. 11 centimeters in it. Rack has to die on point two. And oh, it's a strong start. PG's on Sojourn now. The faster rally really kicked that one off nicely. Spectra's blade was good too, right? Scissors finally getting to his first blade. Since swapping from Tracer. And we'll see it. Slow and steady. Payload moving this entire time. Four minutes still to play with. Rally again from Liar. It's even further ahead this time. Rock is going to be avoided. Another bash available soon for Liar if he really wants to go. Dragon over the top. Catches one. PG in the back. Low HP. Rack's trying to push forward. Nearly has a rally of his own. They're split now. The backline's isolated. Kalu just walking on the backline. He kills one. Now he wants to kill Cow. Cow not going down without a fight. Will live. And M80 have to slow it down for a second. Payload still catching up. Oh, Yuffie's going to catch Cow. A devastating pick. No source of healing. They've got ult. They've got rally. They've got blade. They've got flux. Shock have the tools to hold on. Looking for this window. They're going to try and avoid it. Tree is caught in it. We'll be okay. Kalu just won. Oh, Kalu just won. UV wanted to greed lamp. They're going to window to turn it. No Sigma. No Sigma, no fear. They lamp through this one. 
They try and run back. Overclock and a blade. Both DPS ops being used. They're all over them. Oh, no scissors gets shut down. UV gives him the slip. From Overclock gives him the slip. DPS ops zero value. Now Rack is having to rally to live. He's one HP. Matrix to help Rack out. He's so low. The Flux comes through. The Flux is a miss. Bash on to Liar. Blade over the top from Spectra to finish it. Just cutting through everyone now. The rally as well. This is surely too much for M80. They push with both DPS ults. No kills. No kills. Look! <laughs> Kaluge loves brooding. <laughs> My old ass tank. <laughs> just can't hear. Just can't hear Flux the old fart. You know, some of you might not be old enough to realize this yet, but sometimes, once you get to a certain age, you'll realize. You'll realize sometimes the body can no longer do what the mind envisions. And maybe Kaluge is having that realization with Flux right now. Uh, yeah, I mean it's, it's not over, right? Anything can happen. Anything can happen. I wouldn't know. It's just it's just what people tell me, right? Winston Warlord. Is that what happens when you lose your hair? Well, sometimes it just happens. It just happens. Yeah, Massa is the exception. You keep missing the game, Sour? Come on! You're in time for the last round of the last map. Or potentially last round. Overtime not off the table yet. Gonna be the same comps that we finished on for the start here. Well, give or take the PG Widow. Only a body shot onto tree. Nothing on that grapple. Obviously, PG can grapple a little bit more freely versus the hands over the, rather than versus another Widow. We'll get the card to this first corner. Limited action so far. Can play slow for PG's angle. Could even just do a big old swing coast if they want, taking out part of the map. That's what they're doing. PG with a grapple. Looking for it. Everyone gets behind cover in time. Rock comes out. Dash free from Spectra as well. I think PG has space coast now. And Spectra's going to try and flank. Runs into a better mine. Another one. UV was jumping at an inopportune time. But only a body shot. We'll be okay. Spectra and Scissors stalemating each other. Tree trying to take the duel here. But oh, it's a difficult duel at this range. Getting pressured by Scissors as well. And M80 have been corralled back into the back part of this first point. They need some space. They're going to try and move out onto PG. But PG's just going to rotate now. The Rock onto Infected though. They've had to use Lamp. But they push them back. Rack won't get out of this one. Cow looking for a trade. Scissors gets one. Going to get a bit more distance off a car here as Cow. Cow's still on point. They might even stagger him out a bit. There we go. And all right, they got it most of the way. One more fight will do it. All the ults coming online for both teams. It's a, it'll be a 10 alter. No Walls will be used first. And Macy just holding this corner. You can see Scissors keen to go over the roof. Doesn't quite have blade. Flux to start it from Kaluge. Just onto Infected. Infected is low. PG's found the pick. Spectra down. No blade now. Rally comes out from Liar, but they're not really able to push with it. Rack's going to rally back, keeping that space. Now PG is full control. Has to care of the window. Wants to try and hit it, but no tree finds the shot. The Flux is big from Infected. Scissors will finish it. And the old trade is good. PG, listen to his fans. They cried, hit a shot. PG said, okay. They'll get first point. A long way to go. But they're on the road. Oh! Pick before the fight, so I made to get control of this forward hold. A 
Lap's going to be forced. They're just, they're just taking everything from them here. They turn one pick into two more. All the way to spawn. They do have Blade coming back here from Scissors. But Spectra still has that one as well. Looking to find a blade engage. Infect is going to go underneath. The cart is still really far back. Infect is just behind him. Spent, they're not looking. Since it's going to get the free blade engage, UV dies before the lamp is up. It's a one for one trade, but is it enough? Tree with a funny dragon angle, but doesn't find all that much. And M80 just felt like they were napping. And all right, the payload is moving. They've got time for a recontest, and they've got a blade with which to do it here, M80. A rally and flux coming up shortly behind, but infected flux is closer. Inf if infected can flux the blades, we'll be feeling like a hero. Then we'll just be at old rally trades on the go. If those rallies get up too, the fluxes are a little bit more vulnerable. Remember, two ba you get a bash reset on rally now as well. Infected for simple point. Infected's going to drop that flux. Who's he going for? Decisions, decisions, decisions. Just onto Kaluge. Pressure onto the high ground as well. He drops down onto Tree. Really wants to push for this kill. Can't find it. Will be repelled. But Kaluge has died. Spectral wants to clutch for Rally and Lamp. The bash is good, but Rack dies regardless. He's done enough. Lyre has rallied back. He's killed Infected. It's just from M80 backline. It's a 2v3. Bash hits PGE. Lyre's doing it for point, though. He touches 58 centimeters. Window trade out. He goes down. Another one for Lyre. He truly is White Geo. He's holding on. Scissors can't win this one. The Liar Clutch. Unbelievable. Infected's back on ball. Infected, get your ass back on Sigma. We don't have time. We don't have time. We need the Sigma mirror. Oh, my guy is on ball. Infected going in for the grapple engage. Avoids the rock. Clues will start this one with Flux. Looking for PGE. Oh, of course. Now the overclock can be popped freely here from PGE. Laying in that damage. Lamp has been forced. Lots of damage in there, but can't find any kills. Now Spectra goes down. They're all over that back line, and the ball works out once again. Maybe Infected knows something we don't. Spectra's might. Yeah, Spectra's gonna get staggered out here. Infected still on ball. He has mines. Two minutes left. It's escort, remember, so any any completion will do. Do they know where Infected is? Look up! He's above you. Trees found him. <laughs> Blade here for scissors. Just a window and a dragon, not the highest value ult from M80. Now the mines come in, but Tree finds the pick. Tree's found two. Blade from scissors only gets through the lamp. They can maybe finish the treacle. They can't. Liar's got the rally again. And M M80, hold on. But it's all Tree. How does Tree find those picks? He's getting dove. He's getting mines. He just finds all the kills. 60 seconds remaining. Rally advantage now for Rack. Still just a dragon. For M80. 45 seconds. They need the completion. The winner goes to the Esports World Cup. Window up for Shock now as well. Dragon onto here. They should be able to avoid this one. They concede for high ground. Liar wants to go for more! But he runs into a rally. They might die here. Pulse bomb. Any trades going for Spectra? No. They'll get a recontest. The cart is far enough back. And they did use rally. But now overclock window. Both available. Kaluge has the flux. Oh, Kaluge. If there's a time to hit one, it's now. Tree has gone widow. Tree's been good for picks in the past. 
Anything now would go massive. We're into overtime. NRG's last chance. Walking forward. PG wants to swing right hand side. Cal still has window. Tree is watching this doorway. They go the other way. They killed Spectra. Kaluge. The flux hits. Onto PG. He's low. They all survive for flux though. Now the overclock comes in. They're all over point. Can they find the finish? Tree on the back. UV cowering behind this window. Kaluge needs help on point. But Liar's down. Looking for more. Tree trying for a hero swing. But no doing it. NRG will cap it. And we're going to overtime. It is not over yet. Score. Three. Woo! Three. Could we ask for more today? Could we ask for more? Match. Hadi Theory, the team with less time. <laughs> Could we ask for more today? Esports World Cup on the line. NRG have been clutched so far. Is this a clutch too far? I mean, Tree's been mega as well, right? Shock on that five. You've got a death beam pointed at Earth. You want infected on ball? Oh, I was so nervous for NRG when Infected went ball. <laughs> PG going to start Sojin this time. The Widow is dead. Is he going Life Weaver? Surely not. <laughs> Alright. We'll be the same as we saw before. They'll get to first corner for free. And then it's all about that trade on the choke. Can anyone find a... Can PG find a rail swing? Can Scissors find a timing? Dumps through. PG with a bit of space. Considering going coast here. Spectra's marking it. And oh, Tree, the opening pick. There's time still for NRG yet. But they're keen to get the staggers. Two for Tree. Scissors wants a trade. But M80 saying no. They'll sag a cat out as well, but make this as painful as possible. Life is not forgiving. Peeking the spawn now. 10 seconds left. Have they got the touch of them? Scissors had to use deflect. Infected. It's gone ball. Cal is going to go Anna. It's dive time. They need a clutch. They've got the touch. No ults just yet. A big nade would go a long way. It ha hits Liar, but he gets away from the slam. Kaluge is anchoring point. They're playing aggressive. They want to put damage. Infected's trying to stay anchored to the point. They're coming in right now. Flank from PG. PG is so far behind. Rack needs help on point, though. Infected will take over. The lamp has been forced, but PG with one on the flank. Liar's trying to push, but Rack is safe. The dragon's over at the point. Tree is still looking for more. UV with the window. Infected needs help. They've dealt with the PG flank. They've rocked Infected. And oh boy, that's not a lot of distance. That's not a lot of distance. And M80 have 3 minutes and 25 seconds. What do you hold? Because obviously the, the corner where M80 is holding is the same place every team holds. Because it's the best corner. Do you hold forward? NRG find himself in a pickle here. Do you spawn hold with Rush and get only one fight or play the Sigma comp? <laughs> find out next time on the Esports World Cup. <laughs> Honestly, they are going Rush. The problem is, spawn hold with Rush. I think it's a bad call. It never, you never hold first. You never hold first on here. You always die immediately. <laughs> oh. I mean, it's a really difficult situation no matter what you do, right? A really difficult situation no matter what you do. Alright, May Sojin in spawn. Hanzo Farah is the choice. Spectra knows. 
They're holding the very door itself. What would London do here? I think we'd sick hold. I well, like if presuming we played these comps. Obviously, we'd ride in spawn because we are London. But um, I think we would go for the just one good hold. I think the spawn hold here is really rubbish. It's just for time on Junker Town. Do they? Where did the car actually get? Do they get a recontest? If they get a recontest, it's not as bad. All right, they're trying to buy time off the clock. Thirteen seconds. Time is money right now. Infected will die. Rack is 70% to beat, but Kaluj and Tree nearly have ults too. PG even gets a trade. Just die on point here. Yeah, I guess they should get a touch. They should get a touch. Free on point. Great camera angle. They'll get the touch and Cal has the earlier window. Tree has Dragon Bone. That Dragon will respond to window. They're going underneath here. You just hold the corner. Don't hold in here. The Dragon's coming. Oh, Cal windows. Window on the top as well. Rack has beat. They try and beat out. But Flux is massive right in front of the window as well. Any kills? Infected will fall. Barrage over the top. They have all the ults. M80 are going to the Esports World Cup. And NRG are going to the lower bracket. Yes. Hey guys, hey guys, this is Jake. Hey guys, this is Jake. Hey, he hit, he hit the three man flux and it mattered. I did. <laughs> I did. <laughs> hey guys, this is three boys. I did. Hey guys, this is three boys. Uh, My heroes in the, in the voice comms. Hey heroes, how are you feeling right now? Is everybody, uh, is everybody feeling oh good? Good job, guys. I'm MVP. Colin, Colin, nice job on Father's me Day. Me MVP. Nice yeah. job. Yeah, took care of the kids. Father, yeah. Father, Father Gator, 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 Gator. coming Shout in. Shout out, Keith. All right, you guys. You are qualified, though, with this win to the Esports World Cup. Yeah, they've locked it, Robo. They've locked it. it. for you guys, but how does it feel to actually secure that qualification and be going on to potentially the biggest tournament of the year? It's like a free uh, vacation. Awesome. Yeah. Free vacation. All right. <laughs> Free vacation, you know, Oof. just another day for the M80 guys. Jake once again praying on our downfall. <laughs> Wrong again. again. That's Wrong oh, again. Okay. Oh, yeah, it was not We're even spying close. on the Preds. Okay, I oh, thought, yeah, of course they is. are. Of course they are. Yeah. Close. We should have. We should have. We should have won the cost. All good though. All right, yeah. scrims are canceled next week. I guess yeah, we go from one block a day to nothing. We'll go from that. Oh wow, you guys are. Wow. Scrims are canceled. We're bags. fucking done. Hey guys, we I'll see you in Saudi. Hey, don't fucking mess with me for ten days. <laughs> Leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> Shout out to NRG, TSM, and the other uh, wh whoever else is out there. And enjoy being stressed as fuck this next week for that one spot. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Uh, should we ask one serious question? Or... That's Gator talking right now. Yeah, that was Gator who just talked. So, uh, moving forward, of course, uh, whilst you have qualified for EWC, there's still something to win in this very tournament as well. So let's hear it from you guys. Uh, up a bracket final against Toronto Defiant, who have been one of the few teams which still heavily relies on that Mogga composition. How confident are you going up against them uh, as you mainly have been playing Sigma? I think that's, I they think did, that's yeah. for Colin to answer. What do you think, buddy? That is for Colin. That's the whole, that's the whole team. That's Colin I, UV right there. Answer that. I showed up. I scrimmed three blocks before playing. I haven't played the game in over, like, three weeks solid so you know i showed up dominated i don't care if i win or lose i'm going to saudi baby vacation locked in how do you do it Kalush? uh what colin is Kalush. how were you able to maintain the energy did you get time for a nap somewhere how did you pull through uh, yeah i take power naps in between maps uh, so i just put my head on the desk you know a little somewhere you even, you're like a baby 
I'm 24. Like How old are you? You're an infant. 24. Okay. I'm older for esports. This guy is so old. This guy is so old. We're sending him to the retirement home real soon. Rafa, dear, I'm 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 36, so I'm glance over. Who do you guys Who do you guys think of player of the match? Yeah. Team vote, player of the match. We don't care what you think, but we're curious. Uh, team vote. I'm gonna have to give it to to liar. It's Trey. I mean, Liar's not a bad shout, but it's Trey. I think it is Trey. Liar played great, though. Are you it's a massive surprise. We gave it to the hitscan player. No one saw it coming. Uh, Maybe I next time, sports. I actually had the best comps ever. <laughs> well, they didn't hear him. Oh, oh, <laughs> 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 we do more less than <laughs> so maybe That's we can true. get to the back line. But yeah, uh, Tree wants more popping off, of course. I um, mean, Tree was immense. Tree was immense. Before we I'm let better. you guys go. I He's agree. Better. He's, He's better. better. All right. All right. Well, hear it. if you guys are not practicing, I mean, open invite to the desk, I guess. I haven't asked production, but feel free to, if you're not going to take it, practice anyway, so. Here we go. All right. There we go. Sounds good. Well, guys, good. thank you so much. I did it. What? Just did. No, they didn't. They did not. And that's okay. Uh, congratulations on the victory. We're going to see you again what? next week. It's going to be bans when you go up. I don't get it. Fine. We wish you best of luck in that game. And once more, congrats. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Nothing but love to the M8, hey, guys. guys. Well, guys, good. thank you so much. I mean, opening. He's better. He's better. He's better. better. All right. All right. That's well, you hear it. if you guys are not practicing, I mean, open invite to the desk, I guess. I haven't asked production, but feel free to, if you're not going to take it, practice anyway. So, here we go. All right. There we go. Sounds good. Well, guys. Good. Oh, he's inviting them on the desk. No, they didn't. They did not. And that's okay. I mean, if, so, if they're not practicing, so they're, they're allowed to come on the desk next week if they want. When you go up against Toronto oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> We got there. We got there. <laughs> uh, why didn't this qualify? So the way it works in North America is there are three spots for the Esports World Cup. So the top three teams in this tournament um, go to the World Cup. So whoever finishes first, whoever finishes, whoever loses the grand final and whoever loses the lower bracket final. So now because Toronto and 80 both find themselves in the upper bracket final, even if they lose their next two games, so say let's say the likely thing is M80 lose, then maybe they go here and they lose again. M80 still finish third. So they go to the Esports World Cup no matter what. Even though where they place in terms of first, second or third in this tournament is still up for grabs. And therefore also their seeding at the Esports World Cup. Um, for all the other teams, obviously remember this is the top three spots they're aiming for. So they have to get... So for all these four teams, they have to win two more games. And those games will be next weekend. And they have to win both of them. So NRG, Citrus Nation, TSM, and Timeless, only one of them can go. Only one can go. Shock versus TSM, who wins for Esports World Cup? What if I told you my answer was Timeless? Well, actually, you know what we need to factor in? New patch as well. New patch as well. Yeah, EU get five, Fix. EU get five. It's NRG. I mean, it was a good showing by NRG, right? <laughs> I mean, it's a new patch, so who knows? Yeah, what if it's an Arisa meta? What if it's an Arisa meta and Citrus are just back? <laughs> yeah, so... Out of all these four teams, NRG need to win two to make it to the Esports World Cup. So NRG would need to beat Citrus Nation, then the winner of TSM and Timeless. Ariel's very flexible. I think Ariel's pretty flexible. Like Ram, Sigma, Malga. I guess D.Va as well, for, for what fucking use of D.Va is in this thing. Uh, EMEA's uh, five spots. Let me refresh this. Um, so Nisu, T so Ents and SSG have already auto qualified, right? Um, but because it's five spots, there's one, two, three, four, and then there's one of these fifth spots. So let's presume, let's jump to conclusions here and say SSG beat Quick Esports, right? We'll jump to that conclusion. So if that happens, because SSG and Ents have already qualified, um, it means 
it would be a playoff between the loser of these two games. So quick esports versus the loser of Twister's Minds um, VP. Yeah, gaming, gaming already qualified. Yeah, AK Peps. Um, yeah, no, it wasn't a forfeit or anything. Peps just beat them straight up. Better team on the day. Better team on the day. Uh, the gaming gladiators are Peps. So like uh, Naga, Tread, um, Zodial, Johan playing instead of Crook at the moment, and then FD God as well. <laughs> Glad you cap you copied all your badges in there as well. GG Peps, please. Is that is that gonna stick, Tread, or is that just for the qualifier, like the playoffs? Are you gonna become the official gaming gladiators? You are gaming gladiators at the Esports World Cup. Okay. What's for what's for Kaluge tweet? Let's see it. What's my Twitter saying? Which one is he? This one? <laughs> Beating NRG. Time for Yeah to grow up. <laughs> Rulebook merchant. <laughs> um, Albert Yeah tried to block their signings. Because I think... I don't know the exact details of what rule they would believe, but Albert Yeah thought that the signings... Um, we're against the roster lock rules or limits. But clearly the face of admins disagreed because we saw Spectra playing right there, right then. There he is. He stick around for 450 an hour to make sure SRG and NRG doesn't make lands. Make it <laughs> makes it all worth it. GG's to their players. Coach, dogfight. A lot of yapping to get slapped around by a one block a week team with three retirees. Should have been a 3-0. <laughs> have a time of a 40-year-old uncle? Yeah, just just sports. Sports news, you know. Honestly, having to follow all these Overwatch accounts lately really degraded my timeline experience. Mm. That was the last game of the day, yeah. You got the tree tweet as well? Let's see it. GG's 3-2 shock. Should have been a 3-0. My fault. Keep trying to do DQ. Oh, my fault. Keep... Ch oh, it's... There's no grammar. Use a comma tree. Should have been 3-0. My fault. Oh, wait. No, it's not even there. It's my fault. Keep trying to disqualify my Korean to win, lol. Absolutely shameless. All love to the players, though. See you in rehab. <laughs> yeah, full stop would be fine as well. How many nationalists on my For You page? I think none, really. Well, they tried to block for transfer. They tried to block for, for signing, so they'd have to play with Nero instead of Spectra. <laughs> Whoa. Thank you, Evergreen. Had to sub to the common man. <laughs> I am the common man. That's what they tell me. That's what they tell me. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much, Joe Evergreen. Appreciate it. All right. Whoa. All right. What time are we on? Is Unset ever going to beat the plane with kids allegation? Probably not. <laughs> Time to get the scores. Oh, Toby's going to get the scores. All right. So what we're going to do. I'll leave you on this so you at least have something to look at. Um, I'm going to go grab a drink, get myself some more water. And then we'll come and do predictions for next week, even though we don't know the matter. Matter? Meta? Fuck. Um, no more games today, but yeah. 
I'm gonna get water. Look how I'm, I'm dying of thirst. Uh, DQ is disqualified. Disqualified. Um, I'm not doing my placements. <laughs> uh, why you always say a drink? Well, because that's what I'm going to do. I'm getting a drink. Do you? When you say you're going to get a drink, do you always specify the exact drink you are going to get? And you say drink. Why are you giving away all the details of your life? Common in Slovenia. <laughs> Going to the pub to get a pint. Yeah, you got to keep an air of mystery. <laughs> you can't just go around telling the whole world about your life, all the details. Getting a seller out of a fridge. All right, so what we're going to do... I'll run an ad. I'll be back. We'll do predictions for next week, even though we don't know the meta. And then we'll do fantasy score update. Hopefully that gives Toby enough time. And then we'll then we'll chill out for the rest of our Sunday, I reckon. Be right back. Go get your chocolate milk. Go on. <laughs> <laughs>
right. All right. Whoa. All right. You get some good highlights. Where's my bracket? Have I ever have, uh, have I ever visited Hoover Dam? No. All right. So quick predictions. This is like maybe a free one. I may still get some map picks, but you can ban around a lot of them, ban Midtown away from them and stuff. Might be a free O, honestly. Some of all of this will be met dependent. I think NRG win this. I think TSM. Am I finally out of timeless faith on a meta change? Presumably Malga getting nerfed, right? So no Malga. <laughs> what do I do with a real? <laughs> well, no Malga. The Mal my my Chungus my Chungus pill was all all Malga base. And TSM versus NRG. Uh, <laughs> just a wool for a drink. Uh, what am I drinking? Uh, mostly water. <laughs> I know how specific focus you all are. Uh, yeah, it'll be Sigma or Ram. Ram matches up quite nicely to Sigma, so we might even just go back to a Ram, Ram thing. <laughs> um. Ah, uh, TSM don't do it. It's NRG, actually, isn't it? It's just NRG. Then do they run it back? Do they run it back? Maybe not, actually. Maybe not. Maybe it's M80 again. I don't know how seriously M80... The impression you got from M80 is they're not going to be <laughs> practicing super hard. You don't want NRG making LAN. I feel like we've actually got a pretty NRG heavy fan base in chat. When's the fantasy getting updated? Toby's working on it now. So maybe by the time we're done with Preds, we might, we might have it. All right. Then here. Fuck. Going to be a meta change again. I feel like peps always take a while. Peps took a long time to warm up to this meta. Will Tread be upset if I say they get free owed? Probably. <laughs> I mean, they get, yeah, take a map. Free O, free one. You think it's crazy to call out energy for complaining about M80 getting an exception to the rules when Gala did they actually what's the actual what's the actual information though? Did they get an exception to the rules? Cause I actually don't know. I know there was a dispute, but I don't know what the rules actually were. Not to XO myself in this one. Marky Source is the only Toronto fan. Fuck. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. Did they actually get an exception? Yeah, so I think the accusation was they weren't allowed to sign players. Or you're only allowed to add two players or something, right? But I think they added Tree and Kaluge to the roster ages ago. So I don't know if that... It was 100% an exception. But, but what was... What's... What was an exception to? If you know what I mean. Like, what was, what was meant to be the rule? And then what was, what was the exception given? We're, of, we're all expert journalists here, so we need, we need sources, facts, and details. He used a full stop in Twitch chat. I trust him. 
<laughs> it was 100% not an exception. Wait, but Sapur didn't use a full stop, so we don't trust Sapur. Yeah, well, Spectre's for one in question, right? Mostly. No, it was about the time. It was about the time of signing, right? Because there was, I swear, my understanding was there was some rule that you can only add two players in a certain window or something. And obviously, in theory, they've added Tree, Kaluge, and Spectra. Yeah, Tree is North American, so it's not an import thing. <laughs> There's a 50% chance it was an exception. Yeah, because all I've all we've seen, all we know from those like tweets after the game was they were try they tried to get rule booked, but they weren't rule booked. So was it because Face It made an exception for M80? Or was it because actually M80 didn't break the rules because of the time of the signings? You're allowed two roster changes during Face It League, Tree and Kaluge. Outside of this, Spectre was added after the roster lock. He was added, I'm pretty sure he was added to the roster, because when was it? Should I just get the rule book out? Is that, that, that would, I could do my own research here. That would probably be responsible of me. Uh, 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 where are we? Teams? Structure? What do I want? I want roster. Just take me to roster stuff, please, search bar. Uh, a join is defined as a use by a user joining a league roster on the Face It League page, regardless of whether they play a match. Okay, teams should be wary when adding coaches to the roster, as they will still count as additions for the purpose of any cooldowns or roster restrictions. Okay, so anytime you add a player to the roster, that's a roster addition. Rosters will be locked from joining teams on the twenty sixth of May, and will remain locked until after the playoff matches have been completed. Players are able to leave the roster during this period, however, additions will be restricted. So that's the deadline in question, right? 26th of May. Rosters, uh, blah, blah, blah. League rosters can only have five players, three substitutes, blah, blah, blah. If a match is forfeited due to a roster requirement, it will be treated as a normally played match for the other team, i.e. forfeit for purposes of the roster. Okay. So we understand what joining a roster is. <laughs> Teams, roster restrictions. All right. All roster restrictions will apply after registration is closed. But you can have it, okay, but that's not, that's not relevant here. Okay, for lower divisions, only three players may join a team's roster in a single week once they season start. Okay, master division rosters are restricted to a maximum of two roster additions throughout the entire season. So this is the one in question, right? So maybe they were given an exception. <laughs> um, rosters will be locked for master division teams from May the 20th shall be locked from a point until the end of the season all the matches have been completed. Teams qualify into the master division which will not meet the regional requirement. Locked in Bidadu, blah 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 blah. Okay. So it's just this, it's, it's, where is it? Where's my pen? It's just this one, right? Maximum of two roster additions and they were given an exception. What are we saying? Spectral was signed pre-roster breakdown during the... Is that when he was added? Can you see it on their Face It page? Let me get another tab on the go. If I just go to M80... Are there going to be too many M80s here? M80... Teams... CSGO... CSGO... You all teams... Overwatch. Does it tell me when they joined? What if I go to the player themselves? That's probably not right. Match history. These are all just random matches, presumably, right?
Because this one's for M80 back on like the 4th of March. This is just a random team. But this one was ages ago, right? Did he leave the roster? Did he get taken off the roster or was he because you can have because you can have more people on the roster that aren't your like players submitted, right? Because you know when they were saying the roster limit is like or whatever it was, like seven players plus, or like five starters plus two subs plus one coach or something. But you you can actually have more people added to the roster, right? Yeah, I guess it's a good point, right? If any of them were added to the roster. Yeah, but there's like two versions of the roster. Yeah, yeah, no, exactly. What Suicide is saying. It's the team page on face it's site is different from the active tournament roster. But does that does it count? Is that what the rules are referring to, the active one? Is this the join date? When was this? 27 days ago. Any dates? Any dates in chat? <laughs> what was 27 days ago? <laughs> the 20th of May and what did it say it was this date here rosters will be locked from the master vision here so he joined before roster lock yeah well no one's getting rule books but NRG attempted to rule book M80 Skater online. Let's see if he responds. I don't know, it's really hard to tell from this what the actual dates in question are, you know? Is it definitely just the Spectra thing, though? Now, they tried to rule book them beforehand, before they even knew they were playing each other, so it's not like, it's not like a post thing. Um, it was all done beforehand. Like, when, when they announced they were trying to do it. Well, it's not necessarily the Spectra thing, right? I, it feels like my impression of a problem is the problem is it says there should only be two, but um, but they added three players. But I don't know if there's really a way to get the details of what we need. Now, I, I wouldn't trust the dates on Liquipedia. I mean, we can have a look, but yeah. I mean, are you sure? Because this is, this is the 20th of May. Yeah, but I... Because my, my initial question before we get to any of this is, 
they were accused of breaking the rules, right? But did they actually break the rules as per the limits and the deadlines? Spectre is not on that roster of the 20th of May. So is the, t the two limit is all season. Let me reread it again. To the entire season. And the season presumably does include both playoffs and the league together. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, it kind of sounds like they had an exception. But it also feels like no one's actually clarified what the fuck has happened or what the admin decision was publicly. At least in like a clear way. Unless I'm missing a tweet or something somewhere. Because normally what would happen in this situation, because let's say the closest version of something like this happens in CS, right? So in CS tournaments, there's often roster locked for each respective tournament. But sometimes real shit happens, right? Medical emergency for one of the players. They can't travel. They can't get a visa. And then lots of teams have stand-ins for these situations. But lots of teams also don't have stand-ins. So what will quite often happen is there's some kind of like emergency situation rule. And they can just get a ringer in for that tournament. Even if they don't, you know, like, um, even if they're just signed on like a 30-day contract or a one-tournament contract or whatever it is. Um, but normally what happens is there's some kind of, there'll be like a news article or a news post or something that clarifies, hey, this is what's happening due to the situation for whatever CS team. An exception's being made and they're allowed to use a ringer. The ringer they've chosen for this is whatever player. And everyone just goes, oh, okay, now we know what's happening. I mean, it's fair enough that they rulebook them. But it's also fair enough to throw it back in their face as well. <laughs> I think both things are fair. In terms of the actual decision. Because they still had what? Mm, who would they have had? Because they had two players. Because presumably Happy and Hawk have genuinely retired. So is that their argument? For the, because this is the problem as well. You go, well, if an exception's been made, presumably they've said, here's our case for why an exception should be made, right? Um, but what's that case? For all is behind my head. Sorry. <sighs> Can you see now? Yeah, but I don't think either side is cringe. Uh, you want to watch Twisted versus Sovereigns? Uh, if you're sub to this, you can watch on this channel. Otherwise, it's probably on the... If you go to EWC underscore Overwatch on Twitch, presumably they have VODs up as well. But doesn't this Reddit thread suggest that he was added before the roster lock? <laughs> Want to talk about luminosity? We can at a certain point, but I feel we're in the weeds of a rulebook situation now. Oh, okay. When is there a is there another thread about Spectra? Can we find when were Spectra's? So is this on back on the twentieth of March? This would have been the last... Presumably he played for M80 here, but this was in, what, ages ago? Is this in... Yeah, stage one. 
And then he played again here, but we can't see when he joined the roster. Spectre was two weeks ago. Stop telling me stuff in, so what, like, early June? Oh, okay. So was that just the thing in question then? He joined after the roster lock. Just check Twitter. Maybe we can check it. Do they actually? Do, would they? I don't know. I feel like I'd have. I would have seen this though. Uh, face it. Or like it. Like if an exception had been made. I'm going to have so many tweets. Um, Brig play, infected. Game, game. Game, 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 game. Game, 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 game. Game, game, game. Qualification for peps. Game, game. Poll. Game. Oh, the M80 socials? Oh. Um, what's the M80 handle? Go to at M80? I don't think it's this one. <laughs> I'll check this one. Uh, no announcement here. <laughs> Was this for, is this when Spectra was on the roster? Spectra on the roster. M-A-T-G-G. And when was... 16 days ago. I'll piss off. Uh, Pepsi Max is the drink. Isn't Albert still technically unemployed anyway? Yeah, I'm pretty sure Albert is like a, essentially a volunteer position. I can't remember who told me. I feel like somebody said that. All right, do you want the actual? All right. Do you want the actual scoop? Close these fucking rule books. Close these Reddit threads. Close the research. Let me just check this M80 thread a little bit more, though, in case there was any announcement. Wait, is this? Is this Spectra? Which one of these is Spectra? Is that Huck? That's Huck, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> 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 um, <laughs> blue shirt is Spectra. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, so the situation was so the rule book that was attempted, the rule booking that was attempted was that Spectra was added 
too late to the roster. But Gator had told the admins five weeks in advance that he was going to have issues with players retiring and stuff because, you know, as much as it was only announced recently internally in the team, I think it was quite clear uh, post Dallas a lot of this was going to happen and that was going to be the stopping point for a lot of people. Um, so technically Spectrum was added after the roster lock, but it was also an addition the admins were made aware of weeks in advance. So, so to answer the previous question, was an exception made? Yeah, but it doesn't seem like a massive exception, actually. You know, like, oh. I mean, I think it's fair. I mean, it's honestly, it is fair enough that NRG asked the question, right? If NRG think someone's got an unfair advantage or a rule has been broken, it's really fair that NRG ask. But also, um, doesn't seem like anything actually too amiss. Yeah, I mean, I think, to be fair, I think all of this is actually, it's all in good fun, right? Like, I don't think none of this is like, uh, none of this is really malicious. It's just, it's just banter. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, funny, right? Good tweets. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's malicious. There's money on the line. <laughs> What's that meme of like crying and seething? The one that the London, the London Spitfire account always posted it whenever we would beat teams. Oh, where is it? I don't know if anyone has it bookmarked and can find it, find it quicker. Maybe it was season five. I posted it more. Does anyone know the meme I'm talking about? I don't know if I'm going to be able to find it. You have to scroll a lot if it's a win post. Fuck you, Craft. <laughs> you got it? Nice, San. Fuck. You are coping, coping and seething. When you just get raw books. You just can't accept <laughs> but the what you're seeing. <laughs> yes, you're coping, coping and seething. The truth that is scalding. And now you are mauling and coping. Coping so hard. Yeah, it was from the 22 season. Coping and seething. I like it. <laughs> uh yeah so um nrg accused m80 of adding spectra to the roster too late which was technically true but gator had informed the admins that he would need to make these roster changes five weeks ahead of the time because he they obviously knew about all the retirements coming and stuff um so the admins made an exception on this occasion um which so the overall take i think is actually just fair all round right thing of gator to try and um right thing of gator to tell him that far in advance to try and avoid like a tm type style situation or something um but also also really fair for nrg to call them out if they think the rules have been broken and also really fine to take the to take the fucking piss back. Um, everyone should have been informed. Yeah, I think you can make that case. Um, but we also don't know if the teams weren't informed, right? I mean, I guess the implication is because they, um, because they complained, they weren't informed.
Yeah, the team should definitely know, but that's like the smallest of the um and that's like the smallest one. Did you? No, we've literally just cracked it now. We've actually just cracked it live on stream. <laughs> you managed citrus and you... Yeah, I agree the team should have known. But also ultimately that's like an ad that is that's like an administration and communication mistake. Um but it's wrong, but I think it's also like the least important thing. You know? Doesn't feel like anything uh, anything amiss happened. Yeah, well, the fucking the research didn't get us any closer, right? We were actually down the wrong track completely as well. We had multiple threads open. We had no idea which one was the correct thread. Wait, is Toby message here? Are we up to date on fantasy? We can move on from this now. Oh, wait, did I do EU predictions? Oh, no, I just said Pep's going to get 3 0 Then VP win this one. You ask A for a scrimmage, gets told, no, we're done. They made it to the Esports World Cup. Holiday booked. The Riyad vacay. Uh, so VP win this one. This is probably a 3-0. Honestly, this is probably a 3-0. Free Overwatch. Free one surely. You think they get a map? Now, I think peps are always slow at the meta. I think peps will quick free hose SSG. What if Crocs goes hog? And what, hap and what if it's dance time? No, I think they still free eye. What's the meta now? Nobody knows. Nobody knows until Thursday. I mean, honestly, we won't actually know on Thursday either. We'll just get the patch notes. And then we'll all take a guess. We'll all take a guess at what the meta is. And all the teams will hope they're correct because their Esports World Cup dreams rely on it. <laughs> you know, so a stressful situation. A stressful 24 hours. I'm praying on a Queen meta. I don't think those prayers are going to be answered. Craig, thank you. I appreciate it. I had a good time today. I was pretty tired actually when I started because I only had five hours sleep. Because I, <laughs> which in hindsight was a mistake, because I got up for the OCE Grand Finals just to watch Unter cruise, cruise to victory. Then I went out for lunch, then I came back, so it was like a, a relatively busy day for not a lot of sleep. But I had a good time on the stream today, hopefully everyone else did as well. I'm going to watch the South American Grand Finals? No. No. <laughs> Mainly because uh, none of the dads of the South American teams have uh, asked if I'm covering it, you know. So I've not, not felt as obligated. <laughs> SSG versus VP. What do you think? SSG pull their finger out? And then like this, SSG win again. Over Ents, a classic Ents SSG final. <laughs> what team from NA makes it? I think NRG actually make it. I think. Hello, it is me, Neil, off of Brazilian Overwatch. Watch our finals, please, Commander X. I will send all of South America after you. <laughs> you know, San, I, I, I'm not sure I believe your name is Neil from Brazilian Overwatch. But I would believe Brazilian fans would come after me. 
<laughs> Whenever I see, my main experience of Brazilian fans is probably mostly in CS. And they certainly seem to be a passionate folk. Why do you think ends 3 0 Because of a patch change mainly. I think if it wasn't a patch change, this game looks completely different. Um, but with a patch change, I think I think Peps will be slow to adapt. Because I think for a long time, I feel like Peps weren't actually that competitive for a lot of the face at round robin with the top teams. Guys, when is Luminosity playing for the Esports World Cup? My favourite coach, Hunter, and my favourite player, Dante, are on that team. Oh, fuck. Who's going to tell him? Who's going to tell him? Don't tell him. Fuck. <laughs> What's this? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> what if Lethal beat your team? What was the Hunter tweet earlier? It was like, this mother... F it was the fucking gif of... I want to say... I can't remember what team it was. Was it like a Packers fan or something? And it was just like, no, I, every, we can't beat this motherfucking team. We can't beat this motherfucking team. Somebody have a link? Let me find Hunter. I, don't, I think it might have been a reply, actually. Replies. Have I gone past it? It was on Discord? Oh. We cannot beat these m We cannot beat this m So the message was very much like, ah, uh, me versus Citrus, Luminosity versus Citrus Nation. We cannot beat these m We cannot beat this motherfucking team for shit! <laughs> <laughs> Need to get to sleep. Good night, San. 49. Yeah, Citrus Nation are ready for 49ers of uh of face it, as we all know. <laughs> Chris the boss in 2023. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. It can happen. And sometimes it can happen three or four times. Was it three times in the end or four times? Maybe only three. Alright, where's where's the Topster? Let me message him. He's responding. Oh, he says one minute. I can probably, I probably got another minute in me. I probably got another minute in me. Yeah, I mean, Gay has done all right. <laughs> his, entire, his entire team retires. <laughs> one week later, one week later, we're going to the Esports World Cup. No problem. No problem. <laughs> <sighs> One last ride. But why we is always the underdog? Well, you're the underdog because you were just shit for ages in Face It League, I think. To be fair, all your problems in Face It League was just not having players, which I think any team would struggle with. <laughs> so I think like as soon as you got your roster, 
I think everyone expected you to be competitive again, or at least everyone who pays attention. But Lethal didn't want to get to Portis. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Roster Mania hit you too. Who did you, you... Did Jacob retire? Is that true or am I spreading more in misinformation? He's back for stage three. He's on work term. What's that? Just like a, a short... Like a couple of months placement or something? Like an internship type thing. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, he's like, uni sets him up a placement to do for a couple of weeks. All right. Leaderboard out. All right, I'm pressing refresh. Matt Pep series might have really fucked me up. Might have really fucked me up. Ooh. Seeker getting me that extra 0 0.200003 points. 36. 32. I'm happy. I like what I'm seeing. I like what I'm seeing. I'm going to be top of a leaderboard. Oh, wait, you can't see Gala score as well. I'm going to be top of a leaderboard. Did Unter sacrifice LG so the showman can make it? <laughs> I'm 100% going to be top 10 at least off the back of this. All right. Not top, not top four, but that's okay. Criminalization. Ooh, Spectra, Zodial, Kaluge. And then, yeah, interesting, Kaluge. No, this is for Fantasy Leaderboard. <laughs> Jonas, Ymir, good at gambling, good at fantasy. Fuck. Cool guy, Evan. Fuck, Kaluge was the key. Kaluge was the key. How much does Kaluge score? 51? Oh, wait, 51 total. 26, foe? 26, pretty good for the second round. All right. Toby in fifth. <laughs> yeah, think how high... Because think how much damage you get from a Flux connecting, right? Because you do half damage to a Malga. Fuck. Imagine if he connected some of those Fluxes. <laughs> He'd have, like, another 10 points. <laughs> Stat farming on Sig. All right, Toby's still doing well. Rajaro captain. Fate doing well. Cartoon Blaze. My name's going to be here any second. Normal Tom with a Haddy captain. Probably backfired a little bit today. Where am I? Iconics, number 11. Seeker and Ariel as well. I obviously, I got rid of Seeker. JP24. Crispy. Crispy shooting up the leaderboard with a Psycho edition. Wilder. Nice. Science. Musket. Why am I not higher? Sky was number one. Oh, you're looking at 135 to 56. Juby. How's Juby speed? How am I not higher? Toby, this is broken. 32? No way I only got 93 points. Does this not add up to more? Oh, wait, latest round score. Oh! I'm an idiot. I was looking at the bottom number instead of the top number. The psycho captain fucking... Ah... Uh... I mean, Seeker, Seeker and Ariel are still good. Johan, good. 
Oh, you have a Gala and... It's fucking Gala and Psycho. <laughs> Fuck. I thought I was going to drop like a 150 score or something. Ah, uh, fuck me. I guess I, that would have at least been double to a 20, so that's like a, yeah. So what's that, like a 90 or something? Where was I? 32. Yeah, a 93. Ah, it's just a mid as fuck score, isn't it? Just two back to back middle fuck, mid as fuck scores. You think you're dipping? Good night, Ma no, good night, Mapino. Thank you for all the help. Very much appreciated. A good, a good debut, I think. A good debut for Mapino on the mod team. PG fucks you hard. Are you talking about fantasy or is this a different situation? I mean, I guess you might still be talking about fantasy. Both. <laughs> no Captain Dinosaur. Wait, is this you? Dinosaur Cola? Oh yeah, Dinosaur Cola B. Do you make two teams? Or did you have to make a new account? From 14th to 13th? I mean, that at least shows decent consistency. Is there a way to see who won round two? I guess I can just use my eyes and memory. 153 in round two. Fuck, that has to be the best score, right? Twenty-four point three. Fuck. Oh, shout out to Solex for actually recovering a hundred points in round two, having a really good round two, but scuffed from round one. Oh, a couple of high new entries who missed round one. Came in for round two, very good scores. Shiver and Tupler. PG got 0 0.5 points. Oh, it would have made no fucking difference then. Yeah, a couple, few high scores in here still from people who came in only for round two. Who's at the bottom? <laughs> All right. <laughs> no Hoona comes in. With a 19.8 round two. Oh, god damn, no Hoona. Sunjoon PGE. This person's American, right? Look at this team. 100% this person's American. American but a treadhead. Sunjoon PGE, no captain. Fuck. Fuck. Should we look at stats? Who had the big round? Twenty two for neutral. Not too bad. Twenty two point four for Chase. Twenty point seven for Kai. Maybe he doesn't quite justify his price. 26.8 for Admiral. Oh, FMCL strong. Seeker 20.1. Zero 24. Z's high score as well. FD God, good score. No way Nagger only got 12.8 points. Gutted. 17.9 for Tread. 24 for Zodial. 18 for Johan. For his price, that's actually unbelievable. Dante clocking up a 0 0.9. Thanks, Dante. <laughs> Almost a whole point. <laughs> 26.6 for Kaluge. Big one. 26 for Liar. Yeah, Spectre Tree. 28.2 for Tree. Fuck. Should have been a tree believer. 32 for UV. Oh my god. M80 with a M80 with a team to have for round two. Oh, 4.2. Infected actually ended negative.
You don't appear in the leaderboard? Drop Toby a message in the Discord and he might be able to crack it. 0 0.5 for PGE? Fuck. Rack with a respectable 7.8. 19 for dip? Nice. Wait, is for... Okay. Wait, Tama got 31 points? God damn, Tama. God damn. Twelve point nine points for the hog, the hogmaster. One point six for doomed. Ah, uh, minus two point six for Noctis. Minus five for I amazing. Total score mal. Minus three for solo. Shit. Minus five for buddy. Minus four for Dan. Minus two for dollar. Minus five. Minus five point six. Backbone with an 8. A funny Astro 7. Oh my god. Imagine. Imagine spending all that money on Astro and he gets you 7 points. Or all that money on Land and he gets you 4.6 points. Psycho actually scored the best out of everyone. Imagine spending all that money on Sparker to get 0. Now I know how Glad's felt. <laughs> Merit 26 and a half. He was going off. 23.7 for Sugar. Minus 5 for Chopsy. Minus 6 for Icy. Oh, the tanks get hit really hard, right? If they lose. 31 for Kellen. Who was calling Kellen a fraud? Who was calling Kellen a fraud when he was clearly the MVP fantasy pick? Wasn't it you? No, I was defending Kellen. Everyone was saying Kellen wasn't good. Mid as fuck, people were saying. I think Kellen's good. Uh, it's based on the Face It League, I think, or like the Round Robin, with a bit of manual tweaking as well. Nope, the number's big. Therefore, he's good, Dinosaur Cola. Do you know how numbers work? Vigilante 23? Oh, Twitter's minds are so back. Oh, 1.7 for Kanao. Fuck, that's going to that's gonna have screwed a lot of people over. <laughs> Shockwave 7.6. Oh, you got the things out, Toby? Let me have a goose. All right, I'm going to have to do a screenshot and save. Uh -uh. What's this? All right, top players, save, round two, top players. Where are my downloads? All right, can, can we all see? <laughs> all right, so top DPS players two is just for round two this. Tree, Merit, Zodial. Zero sugar free. Interesting mix that we've got some some flex EPS and some hit scans as well. Tank players, big Tama, big Kellen. Those lower bracket games ended up being quite useful. Wait, how did Tama score so many points and fucking lose? Did he just farm the fucking hog for damage the entire time? Because he was just playing Malgar into Hog, so he just gets to do a billion damage. All right, Kluge, Ariel, Chase, all seem reasonable. Chase and Kluge also got a lot of maps in. Admiral at the top, FMCL farm, or sorry, Timeless farmed. Liar as well, FD God, Crispy, Crispy Redemption, Juby up there as well, despite losing. Actually quite impressive, right, despite losing. UV a mile ahead, mile ahead on flex support. Zs and Vigilante also benefiting from it. Zerian. Actually, interesting that Zirion and Tama lost their game and are both here. But obviously, RuPaul had a pretty comfortable series too. Yuvi did so much damage. I mean, also, Kaluch just got pocketed through everything, right? Is the data complete? Where are all the SSG players? Yeah, the data is complete. 
I'm sure we'll get um the lowest value players for round two soon and um <laughs> and, and we'll see a few of the SSG players turning up on that one. Where are you, Tread? Yeah, it just outscored. Like, a lot of these players had closer series, right? More maps as well. What am I looking at? Let's have a goose at this lobby. Oh, this is a quick new H1. So yeah, let's see Tamar's numbers. So we went 30 and 3. Which map was it they won? They won... New Age won the first map only. So he went 30 and 3. Then they lost a big overtime, went 41 and 11. Then he went 17 and 5, again losing. <laughs> and then 30 and 6, also lost. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> We'll see top damage, top damage, top damage. Amalga's just normally top damage. Isn't that just... Maybe a spec... I guess he's into the hog as well, right? Especially. Especially versus the hog. We'll just top damage. Because you just get to shoot forever. <laughs> Did some insane KD saving to clutch fantasy. I mean, it's worth it, right? It's worth it. All right, Toby's cooking up the next lot of stats so we can see what we'll get there. I guess I should also consider what I want to do with my team for the next set of fixtures. Because I think I might need to kill Johan. Do I kill Johan and Seeker? Oh, yeah, you went here earlier when I do predictions, Tread. So just in case you're having a good day, I think you get blown out by Ents again. Post-patch. <laughs> Obviously, you, you might be inclined to disagree with me. If, so my, my running theory is, and you... You'll have to you'll have a better idea of this, so you can maybe correct me if I'm wrong. But my impression is it took you lot ages to get quite good at this meta. It felt like there was like a slow cook process. So then if a patch changes the day before some of the matches, or a couple of days before some of the matches, you're gonna be stuck slow cooking. And you won't have time. We play the meta. Maybe a week or two. What were you playing before? Just all the RAM stuff still? Oh, sorry. Tired. Played Malga, mostly RAM though. All right, should we take a look at this one too? Other stuff you cannot say. I know. My gambit is Ents win that. All right, so best value players. Fucking. Fucking Tama. Yuvi obviously just scored so high. Admiral and neutral for budget options. You could have actually just had this entire team, I think, at these prices. Yuvi and Kellen. Maybe you could have actually just had this entire team. Worst players. Fi, Shaq, Try Amazing. Buddy, Icy. Best budget players? Is this right, Toby? Surely Icy can't be both of these. Toby exposed. 
Maybe. <laughs> but these ones look reasonable, right? Because I think Admiral Z's Aerial Zero all under 20, maybe? Or around 20? Oh, yeah, under 20. I mean, Icy is under 20 cost. I don't know if that was Icy's total score, because Icy did very well in round one. And then worst players, Rocket, fucking the, the fucking goose egg from Vesta and Spark. And then, yeah, Scissors and Landon. Fix, it's Tama. Oh, yeah, that makes more sense. I mean, it's it's mostly just timeless, right? Mostly just timeless. <laughs> All right. So, what's for play? What's for play for next week? What fixtures are we looking at? So, we need to do we need to do a lot of thinking here, right? Because round three is going to be four games. Right, so these four games, and these four games, yep. <laughs> so who's going to farm? SSG are just going to farm the fuck out of this lower bracket. Actually, maybe not. They play VP, right? So it'd be close. Maybe they just play dive and it's okay. I mean, peps, I mean, if I think peps go lower bracket, or do they just lose both? I'm actually such an unbelievable Peps hater. Sorry to any Peps players who happen to be in chat. <laughs> but I think SSG, SSG has to be the money play here. So I keep Psycho. Guess I would see you on the plane as well. <laughs> you might. <laughs> and then who's the play here in the lower bracket? Weatherspoons before? I'll see you there. Meet at the same table as last time. Oh, you weren't. Oh, sorry, you weren't there last time. <laughs> but it's, I just forgot, Tread. It's my bad. Who's for who is for play here? I don't want any of the TSM players. I think. But do I necessarily want the timeless players? I've only get two transfers, right? So I need to kill Johan and I need to kill Ariel, but they're both too cheap. So do I keep Ariel? Get a shock player. You think TSM make third? I think it's TSM NRG. Just keep Johan and hope he doesn't go negative. Is Garda... <sighs> yeah, do I... So do I have... I got two budgets, so I could go up to 23 for Seeker as well. If I just accept Johan. Ariel will go neg. Do I change for tanks then? So if I kill Seeker and Ariel, I just full... I full ditch TSM. I'll then have, what, 21, 31, 39, 41 points to work with, right? 41 points to work with. You can get... Tr <laughs> Why is everyone so keen to suggest PGA? If I get anyone from... Um, Treads 21, so I get 20. 
If I get anyone from NRG, surely I get scissors, right? How much is scissors? 22? Fuck's sake, scissors. How much is Dante? I'm not signing Dante. Not signing anyone from Quick. Definitely not signing anyone from Shikigami. Or Sovereigns. Can I get an SSG player in? Not and also get a reasonable... What have I got? 41 points? Or what if I gamble that backbone still playing? Oh, but I don't know what the meta is. I mean, I, I'm not going to do the transfers now. I'm going to wait and see what the patch is. So this is all this is all hypothetical. So if I had 40, what did I say? I had 41. So I have 26 points. If I got backbone, I'd have 26 points. I could get anybody. I could even get someone. Uh, next week, you got ages. Don't do any transfers now because the patch is going to change. We're just... Um, um, just theory crafting. I don't want to don't risk any of the Twisted Minds players. Maybe not Ataraxia as well. I mean, Sauna's maybe good value because I could then get a 21 tank. But who's... Mm, or I get Shockwave. Who's a good 20 tank? You're 21? <sighs> yeah, but I'm so anti-peps pilled, you know? I feel like M80 are too high a risk because they're not going to be not going to be very locked in. What well, I've got Zodio for 22 and then a 19 tank. Who's a 19 tank? Do you think Chase still plays next week? Uh, it's really hard without even having an inkling of the patch. Yeah, I mean, Crimzo's reasoning was that they just want to reintegrate him into the roster, so we might just play regardless. Because then if I have 41 and I get Chase... The only problem with this is if, if, Ents, if I predict Ents to win, they play one game. But that might be better than Peps, because really I want an SSG player. Because I think SSG win both these games, right? They'll win out of these four teams. SSG will win both games. But SSG are just so expensive. What if I murder Gala and Seeker? And then I keep Ariel? Uh, I... I think, because in an ideal world, honestly, I'd probably just keep Gala and keep Seeker and replace Johan and Ariel. But if I do that, I get what? 33 points for two players. And there's no way I get, unless I get Backbone. But it's really hard to get Backbone because he doesn't play either of these roles. Gala plays two, Johan plays two. Ariel and Seeker most likely play one. Yeah. And they might, yeah, because if they, because the worst case is not only do they only play one, they play one and then they fucking lose it, right? Whereas at least with an Ents player, if they, or a Toronto player, if they play one, they win it, right? So it's like, yeah, I at least get good points off of that. Ents lose. You just said... You just said Johan plays two matches. Which also implies... Peps lose. <laughs> 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 
There's different rounds, though. Like, these, these four games are the next round. Then I get another two. So I get two transfers here. And then I get two transfers here as well. So you pick me for finals? Yeah, because you... Well, you might be in the lower bracket, so it might be a good choice. <laughs> Oh, wait, yeah, you're right. No, you're sorry, you're right. Johan plays one no matter what. Yeah, you're right. Good shout, Dinosaur. So it's actually the lower bracket team. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's wrong with me. Can't even let Peps have five minutes of success before trying to desperately bring him back down to earth. <laughs> <laughs> On my way to give a Swedish passport. <laughs> yeah, I should, I should let you have it. Today, today was a success story. A massive success story. Outplaying the best in the West. You think Fnatic need to win the World Cup to bring the biggest exposure? Do Fnatic have that big a reach? I don't really know what the respective org sizes are across a lot of other games. So who do I think we just... Do I just want... Uh, the thing is, if Backbone plays, it actually solves the problem, right? Because let's say if Backbone plays... Oh, no, I can't because... Oh, God damn it. What if I do this and Backbone plays, right? So then I have two, so I have 41, I use 15. That's probably not worth it. Of all these teams, yeah, Fnatic, they may not be central with 100 teams instead of social media reach, but Fnatic is a gaming org, yeah. I mean, Fnatic are a good company. They're based in the UK as well. Um, but I don't know if it will have that much swing, really. Not that I'm arguing. I'm not arguing against the idea that Fnatic are big, but I don't. I don't know if it will really shift it. Like, do many people really just follow an org rather than a team? If that makes sense. Like, does anyone actually just? Oh, I support Fnatic in every game or something. Because at Cloud Nine, we had like premium members. You could pay for a premium like Cloud Nine membership. But really, most of those people playing for paying for that Cloud9 membership were really just fans of the Cloud9 League of Legends team. All the promotional content, even though it was all C9, the whole organization, all the stuff that was given away was signed or worn by the fucking League players, never by the CS players or anybody else, you know? It'll be better media-wise and a great showman winning. Yeah, but we don't have to worry about that, I think. <laughs> Can I make a political party tier list? Not really. I don't know enough to put them in any meaningful order. The Greatest Showman will clear. Maybe this will be the launch pad for The Greatest Showman becoming an organization. Ran by Hugh Jackman himself. And maybe that's the platform for Overwatch to spring back. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, because I'm really tempted to get rid of all of these. Maybe Johan's the one worth keeping the most. Yeah, I think it's too late for The Greatest Showman. I think it's too late. Yeah, Johan, and I only get two as well, so Aerial Seeker does make the most sense, which would give me 41 to play with. So SSG and maybe NRG are the most attractive, but... Mm. Let's see, is anyone cheap here? Just with Moan, really? 
Because if I, if I get, let's say I get like a Cal or something, maybe. Um, yeah, I don't really trust NRG, but I think they've still got the best chance in this lower bracket. I think. Mm, always scary playing Citrus Nation, though. They've always got a fucking, <laughs> they've always got a few maps in them. I mean, can I get, are all of these players too expensive, essentially? Because I've got 41. So I'd have to get like an 18 something. So Because I've got Psycho already. Oh, yes, I just can't afford any of them. The same is true with Toronto. Do I really trust TSM? No. Not really. <laughs> Do I trust more Revertus Pro? Maybe. Hmm. A lot of it depends where the meta goes, because if, if something gets really dive heavy, I really trust Virtus Pro a lot less. But if it stays as something where they can play double flex in some places or Lucio based, maybe even someone like Rajaro or Shockwave, probably. The VP beat SSG though. Again, it's especially as if it's a dive meta or something, or if that's really viable, then 100% no. But I think if it's just like if it's just like a brawly mirror, um, I think it's really it's really on, you know, it's really competitive. Look on overbuff. Is that really that accurate? I mean, also, I think I've said this before. But when people predict metas, I always think it's such fucking nonsense. Because does anyone ever get it right? Except for J-Mac that one time, right? Fair play to J-Mac. He got it right that one time. <laughs> but I think that time J-Mac got it right was the first time anyone's ever successfully predicted the meta. <laughs> and even then, no one believed him. <laughs> Well, it's really hard to theory craft all these variables because what really defines the meta isn't, it's not just normally, oh, X hero got X bigger number next to their name. So therefore that hero's meta. It's always like something too down the line. You know what I mean? Like, oh, this hero is now really strong, which means this hero now can't get played. So now this counter swap that used to exist doesn't really work in the same way. So now all of a sudden this other comp can't be counted as strongly as it was before or something. But that stuff is, I feel like that's what happens most commonly, but it's really hard to theory craft all those possibilities. So I think realistically, it's just kind of pointless. At least until you have the patch notes. At least the patch notes can give you something to go off, but I think it's really hard. Um, really hard to actually read it. Zarya meta confirmed. <laughs> they can't fix Zarya. Probably don't want any luminosity players. If I get Chase and he's 20, then I have 21 to play with, right? 21 DPS. 21 DPS. Citrus Nation. No, don't trust him. Can't afford Kevil Kai. Could keep Seeker and change someone else, but I don't know if that helps anything. Um, could get Zodial. No, I can't get Zodial. Too expensive. It's too expensive, right? If I get... Because I have 21. He's one too expensive. Unless I can find a 19 tank. Yeah, but I've already got a tank. It's a DPS I need. I could get Rajaro for 19. 
And then I have 20, like, Rajaro Zodial. It's tempting, actually. But then who's the DPS? I get Tread and... Maybe I should write these down as I go. So I could do... I could do... Oh, Raj. Raj plus... Um, Exodial. Or I could do Tread. I'm not going to do Tread. Just kidding. Pep's on top. Gladiators. So I'd have 20 to spend on a DPS. <laughs> or I could do, what I could do actually, could I do, I could do Spectra. So I could do Chase. Why is my pen got smaller? Chase. Plus. Spectra. Mm -mm. I could do Scissors. This could be Scissors instead of Zodio or Scissors. But I'm not, sh not sure how can... Oh, wait, no. Oh. Chase Spectra probably best. It depends how much I trust M80, right? Because if they're just going to play Toronto, do they just get rolled? And then is Spectra a bit of a dud? I'm looking for other 21 deep. Toronto are too expensive. I can get Chopper. I just worry about how much Chopper will actually play, you know. And I think TSM potentially risky team as well. Because the best teams to get are the teams that do this. Win one lower bracket quarterfinal and win the semifinal, right? Which is why I think SSG are really good value, but they're just too fucking expensive. Unless I do like a fucking haddy lub like backbone i can't do it actually i'd have to do like backbone i don't know no it doesn't work like backbone landon or something team easy win or maybe not so easy win <gasps> you know what we should factor in as well and it might be a bonus game right what if there's a bonus game here because that's super likely right <laughs> <laughs> it's super likely there's a bonus game here. So all of these lower teams play twice. Which means Twisted Minds... Twisted Minds would get a second game. Where they should win. And they should win quite comfortably. So a TM back on the table... They could also lose twice. True. True. <laughs> but let's remain positive. Mm. Yeah, it was the same patch. It was a while ago, though. But does that mean someone like Kellen, who's guaranteed two games, becomes higher value than someone like Chase, who's guaranteed one game? Or Tread, who's also guaranteed one game? Because Kellen does always have... Oh my god, am I going to sign Kellen? Do I do Kellen plus Sauna? That's... <laughs> Kellen plus Sauna. Or Naga. No, because there's a chance there's a chance to get two games out of Sauna. Naga is the right price. I 
I did have Nagger on my team to begin with, actually, Tread. He was in my round one team, Nagger. Yeah, maybe that's for play. Maybe that's for play. All right. I'm not going to do it now because I'm going to wait and see if a patch gives any strong indication, right? Because suddenly, like, Sauna's probably not as good an option, right? If it's like a super dive heavy, heavy meta or something, for whatever reason, because of a patch changes. So we're not going to commit to everything. I think I'm going to wrap it. So who are we raiding? Who's streaming? Oh! Wait, Avril's raiding me? Avril! <sighs> Wait, did it not pop up? It didn't pop up, did it? Am I blind or did it not pop up? No pressure. Wait. Can I replay it? Let me see. Let me go this one. Wait, can I send it again? Hold on. Hi, everyone. <laughs> it's actually a very inopportune time because I was literally just discussing who I should raid. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, two seconds. I'm getting my alerts open now. I think it's because I was on the Toronto thing, maybe. Let's see. Raids, this one. All right, ready? Send Tesla. alert. <laughs> Why is it not popping up? Ah, it's just broken. It's just broken. Raid Kai Senate. Yeah, I can't get it to work, Avril. Fuck. I feel like this is... Has this been happening to you, Avril? Because I, I was watching... I was watching... Who was I watching? I was watching a bunch of other... I think Haddy was having issues with his stream alerts. I was having loads of that. Yeah, I was having... I saw Haddy having issues with stream alerts. I've been having, like, on and off issues with alerts. And then I saw, like, Richard Lewis having issues with alerts and, like, text-to-speech doubling as well. Like, some of my... My alerts just double in sound sometimes, and sometimes they don't. But I don't know exactly what is and isn't causing it or what's different about the setup one stream to another to change it. So I don't really know. I don't really know what's going on. Raid Shroud? <laughs> Where are we going? Raid Seeker or BAME? Should I raid Avril back? Do you think it will let me? Can I break the system? <laughs> raid Avril? Yeah, raid he back. Will it let me do it? What, what do you think happens if I try and raid you? Will it reject it? Oh yeah, just because you're not online, it just doesn't come up. <laughs> we'll just keep tossing the viewers back and forth. It's your weekend to look after them. No, it's your weekend to look after them. But yeah, Seeker's probably for shout, right? <laughs> Where are we going? Uh, all right. But yeah, thank you very much, everyone. Yeah, it was good, Avril. It's been a long one. I do appreciate the raid. But yeah, GG's everyone. Thank you, Avril. And I'll send you all to Seeker. Appreciate all the support this weekend. All the views, all the people coming in and chatting, hanging out. Had a good time. A lot of good games as well. Um, so we'll probably try and look at some of them um, over the course of, of a week in some way. And then we'll be same time next weekend, right? For more of the same. Figure out who's going to the Esports World Cup. So good night, everyone. Return of analysis vids. 
One day, one day, for real, for real. For real, for real. You coming to Esports World Cup? If somebody invites me, yeah. But, you know, <laughs> one bridge at a time, eh? One bridge at a time. <laughs> Not going to be coming in your suitcase. We almost went a full hour without getting freaky tread. Why would you suggest something like that? Good night, everyone. <laughs>